C-B-O-Y-B-B-N-O dollar sign. That's me. That's right. That's me. That's right. I am H-R-M. The Gen Z M&M. That's me. That's right. That's me. That's right. That's me. Damn right. Baby, when it, boy, Jesus Christ, I bet on myself, I up my price, I kiss on a toe, I ain't got no tight. 200K, got me jumping on stage, all white bands, even whipping mayonnaise. She looking at me, she wanna tip to tight. Shawty got a boyfriend, get out my face. Hey, bitch, born on smoke, you like endo, free throw, never catch me in a friend zone. Cash real green cheese pesto, eating her box like bento, I'm memento. Tech keep busting like Pepsi, Mentos, fit all money, yeah, this ain't Kenzo. Boy, dick long, money long, yes, I'm him, you spot on. I-T-B-O-Y, B-B-N-O, dollar sign. That's me, that's right, that's me, that's right. I am H-R-M, the Gen Z M&M. That's me, that's right, that's me, that's right. Bitch, I'm him. She got curvature, I'm curving her, I'm flaky, please don't hate me. Tiffany from Perth, she nice, she thunder, fuck me, ACDC. What the fuck is wrong with you? I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-
smile Is there a place that we could go And we could be there for a while Hello, hello, hello. The nerds have informed me that NASA is doing a thing. Let's do the stuff, okay? Specifically the head nerd and the chat nerd that was promised us go there. NASA Twitch. Seconds. Atlas Booster's hydraulic steering system is now pressurized for launch. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. It's nerd shit. It's nerd o'clock. Let's do. Should we should we do a quick poll? LAS prop valves are configured for launch. The propulsion valves that need to be open and the will it blow up from the pad? Is this is this right one now. of the the st it, it it's rarer for it to be just NASA, sure yeah. Poll on. Okay, I'll make a poll. Oh no, there's people inside. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, never mind. There are people on board. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> no poll. No poll. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Flight software is in ascent mode. Is now set for the uphill climb. Chat, I made a uh, pumpkin ginger soup today. It was really good. I just didn't add enough ginger, which sucks, but I'm going to mix more ginger into it later. It's just, it, it, the ginger would have to be more raw, which means I, ca I can add less, but that's fine. 159. Vehicle internal. 155. Launch sequence or start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LH2. Oh my god. Vehicle is now transferred to its onboard batteries and topping its complete. 140. Launch enabled. 137. FTS armed. OCE's armed. SCS count started. EDS ascent. Starliner, last arm to auto. Last arm auto. Roger. That call meaning if the emergency detection system on Atlas detects something. Rock report range status. Range green. 54. POP started. 
It will trigger the launch abort system on Starliner and fire automatically. If that happened, the spacecraft would push itself away from the rocket a mile up and a mile Warning. out. Atlas at flight fresh. Who's Roger? I have no idea. Okay, 30 seconds, Chad. 30. Centaur at flight press. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. Godspeed, Butch and Sunny. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas Five, carrying two American heroes. Holy fuck, that's sick, dude. Commander Butch Wilmer there calling down to Mission Control here in Houston that the spacecraft has begun rolling into the right attitude for its asset and the guidance, navigation, and control officer here in the room seeing good data on that. Holy moly! Let's go, dude! How do they still have, like, is this, is a camera, like, following it or some shit? Forces of air friction are highest, which in Sunny will surely be passing through Mach 1, but the speed is down. Starliner and Atlas. Looking good with speeds and attitude increasing as expected. Coming up in less than 20 seconds, the solid rocket boosters will run out of fuel and burn out. And then they've then 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 but now it's in a in a, it's already in a trajectory. So like the way in which um these things exit Earth, like the timing has now to be the correct. Fuel in the solid rocket boosters has been depleted. Because the they take, take a path where they use gravity the to 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 move the ships, which is very interesting and very cool. It's like we we Good we actually learned how to do calculations for it and shit like that at Good school. Back back. Call good handle from Capcom Joshua Kutrick indicating that the crew now has the ability to initiate an abort manually if needed. All looking good so far. Now two minutes into uh, Starliner's flight and coming up on the solid rocket booster jettison at the two minute and 40 second mark. I'm good. To, glad to see NASA's at least getting some fucking funding, dude. Holy fuck. Good trajectory. Oh god, no, we can see the curvature of the Earth. Yeah. Fuck, look away, flat Earthers. Oh no. The solid rocket boosters have now been jettisoned after seeing Starliner through its first 90 seconds of flight. The team on the ground here confirming that it was a good jettison. It's and the fake. The trajectory continues to look good. Look at that halo. Now, three minutes into today's flight. It's a halo of smoke. They've got a smoke screen up. It's all smoke and mirrors. Look at this reflection here. Yeah, it's a fish eye lens. Just to, just to trick you. Yeah, you can see the pixels. <laughs> this is pretty sick though, dude. This shit makes me actually excited. You know? It does just bother me, like, can you imagine, can you imagine how advanced, like, space travel would be? And I'm not saying, like, advanced in terms of, like, okay, we'd be able to, like, you know, travel at the speed of light and shit like that, okay? I'm saying, like, just in terms of, like, actual engine development and clean energy development. Like, if, if the United States put all of its fucking money that it puts into war into developing new tech... 
Fuck, dude. I just, yeah. So quiet. No! Okay, simulation time. There's no sound in space, true. But they're not quite in space yet, as far as I understand. Maybe they are, I don't know. No, okay, okay they are. Team on the ground. Decals open. You have sublimator on. Decals are back. Decals. Great. Team on the ground reporting that they saw. They saw the ascent cover on top of Starliner that's been protecting the star the spacecraft's docking system through its climb into orbit. They saw that jettison as planned. Did you, did you just see that piece of debris fall off? Was that and supposed to fall off? I hope so. Stages two Centaur engines have ignited to continue pushing a uh, Starliner into space, fueled by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The next milestone that we'll be watching for is the Aeroskirt jettison. Starliner, you had good booster performance. You're up to plus 31. Plus 31. Look, penises are very aerodynamic, okay? Atlas Control reporting booster performance offset of 31 seconds of ISP, or specific impulse, relative to its design baseline of around 450. Can you imagine if they weren't? Microplastic stored in the balls. Change country to Kerbal Space Program? No, no, we're fine. Humans are obsessed with boobs and dicks. Why not? Aren't you a human? Well, continuing to perform well almost seven minutes into today's flight. Who's talking to me? Talking as not a human. Not saying it's bad. <laughs> Hashtag drama. Yeah, this is real drama, okay? This is real drama. This is the real... Wait, no data? Live data. Okay, good. Oh, that would have been some real drama right there. Hashtag drama, yeah. If that live dots didn't come through, that would have been some real drama. Camcon Joshua Kutrick. Continuing to pass good news up to Starliner's crew. At last time reporting that uh, the Centaur upper stage remains in good condition and is performing well, pushing them into orbit. Oh, they still haven't reached stable orbit. Okay. What's this, so Freddy? Saint John. Five seconds ago. Saint John. Starliner's now oh, entering its first guided abort range, where Starliner would direct itself towards a specific location in the event of abort. Uh, in this case, oh, penis is being aerodynamic. They are aerodynamic. Capital, the Canadian province of Newfoundland Labrador. Think about the shape of them. Like, can you imagine if a penis was like a tennis racket, dude? But like solid. That 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 would not be fun. You'd have to develop so many more core muscles to like you know, populate. Starliner Miko converged one one colon five two eleven fifty two. Good perp, you're at 34 to 36 seconds. I'm not using it in the air is all I'm saying. 11.52, 34 seconds. Yeah, but like, there is literally like, 
Thank letting you. the crew know that the main engine cutoff, Miko, should happen just about on time, about 12 minutes into today's flight. Do I have to, Another good you, you know that, that okay, I'm not going to get into it. Exactly as expected. Main engine, main engine cutoff is a major milestone marking Starliner's arrival. Okay, on I got to go. Bye. <laughs> Bye, so pretty. I'll have a look at your clip you sent in a second. Still got about two and a half minutes until we get to that. With spacecraft uh, continuing to perform well, make its way towards orbit. No action, uh, Starliner on the LCL. That's just the system coming up into control. Let's play that song again. It works. Outstanding. No action. Once the main engine is cut off, the next step will be the launch vehicle separation. That's set to occur just short of 15 minutes after launch when Starliner will separate from the rocket and fly free in space for the first time. They're going to circumcise this rocket, Chad. Flight Dynamics officer reporting that to this point, Starliner could potentially make an Star abort landing off the coast of Ireland. Get to the one. And they're uh, again uh, all continuing well, so we're not expecting to need that abort. As Starliner is rapidly approaching orbital velocity, the support region is only available for just over one minute, uh, where Starliner would just continue up to orbit after that. By the way, we are going to talk about Anna Kasparian today. Sorry, I can't not. Like, fuck her. Thirty seconds, Tamika. Just thirty seconds. Well, hell, she you know, like a basic stupid now comment, but I'm a basic fucking drama-ridden bitch. Okay, I'm going to drag her, dude. Yeah, I don't spoil a woman. Some of you are really fucking dumb. Especially Anna Kasparian. Fucking grifter. She is very bitter. She's literally, like, super jealous of... ...of his own success. Chat, I have a problem. I, I literally need to, like, I think get a checklist for myself because I have to take this these antibiotics twice a day, but, like, I have to take and it every 12 hours, which is insane. Uh, and I always forget off. if I take it in the morning. Uh, and I feel like I've taken it twice this morning, but I don't actually know. But I actually think I've only taken it once, and it's one of those things where I'm just, like, very confused, and I need to actually keep a checklist, uh, International Space Station for rendezvous tomorrow. Count them. That, Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams returned. There are 84 of them. Extremely experienced astronauts. I'm taking them for six weeks. Do you have the medication app on the health part of iPhone? I use it. Oh my uh, God! Is there actually that thing? The combined total of 489 days in space between them. Starliner is also the third spacecraft that they've launched in. Both have traveled to the International Space Station via space shuttles and Soyuz, and are now well on their way to repeating the journey via Starliner. It's also worth noting that Williams' role as pilot marks the first time that a woman has crewed a flight test of an orbital spacecraft. Uh, just a Where's few seconds ago, you heard Capcom Joshua Kutcher calling up to Butch and Sunny. Set up medications. Uh, with uh, the expected time, Starliner will separate from Centaur. Thank you, Sakura. 14 minutes, 52 seconds into flight. Uh, just under two, two minutes from now, or one minute from now. That is actually the last major milestone for Starliner's ascent. All the hard work is done, but we need for Starliner to be flying on its own before it can begin heading towards the International Space Station. There's a slight pause in the action here while Centaur repressurizes and does some attitude control. We'll get into the right orientation to send Centaur on its way and then jettison it and move into the right orientation for the orbital insertion burn, which will come about 31 minutes into the flight. 
Oh my god, this is insane. I'll take it at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. No action on the cabin. Plastic pill organizer? I, d I don't like those. No action. Oh my god, this is sick. And about oh my god, you could choose the colors of what the pill looks like too? What? Oh my god, it cut off! LV Sep confirmed. Oh, whatever you say. And now that Starliner has separated from this Centaur upper stage, we have a big Okay, thank, thank you, Sucker Girl, that's lifesaver. Uh, providing Butch and Sunny a smooth ride. Uh, to space. Something like this. That is not the end of today's. Uh, no, it's fine. Don't worry. Activity, I, though, the I know what a pill thing works like. I just don't like them. Thirty-one minutes after flight. The, so the phone is all I need. It's away now. Um, Sunny Williams and uh, Bitch Wilmore will be uh, getting their tablets out and doing a few other activities to get uh, Starliner ready for that. Uh, and that will be one of the, uh, that will be the first in a series of burns that will set Starliner on its way to the International Space Station. Look at all this nerd shit, dude. <laughs> it's sick that it just turns into this tiny little capsule. It's a little house, dude. It's a little space house. I love Let's Donk Praise. Starliner with uh, Astronaut Zenodo. and Sunny Williams on board. Launch from Florida to Cape Cavanaugh. Penis. Cape Holy Cinebro moly. Space Force Station, Launch Pad 41 at 9.52 uh, a.m. Central, 10.52 a.m. Eastern today, and they have now Starliner, made it into orbit. Starliner, your Cavanaugh Tedra show MDL is active. You have good targeting for a while. Good targeting.
In Botswana is Okavango Delta. Okay. But right now, in Botswana's Okavango Delta, there's an extraordinary lion that's rewriting the rules. A perfectly ordinary male lion, complete with a characteristic mane. Right? Actually, no. Despite appearances, she's definitely female. Let's fucking go, dude. But right now... <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. Holy money. Okay, okay. Let's do the dolls. Let's do the dolls. Let's do the dolls. Let's do the dolls. We're gonna do the dolls. We're gonna do the dolls. It's doll day. It's 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 the dolls. It's time for the dolls, chat. Hold on. There are other meds that I need to take. Chat, take your meds. Take your fucking meds. Okay. I guess it's always pride for lions. Okay, that's sticks posting. You don't have any? Okay. That's fine. You don't need to have take meds if you don't have any. Um, okay. Let's see. You want a dollar or two dollar lighter? Dollar lighter. A dollar? Yeah, appreciate it. Alright. Yeah. Hey nah, no, this is a pink light, man. Let me get something better than that. Some better or some like some better than that. Right, some better than. I just asked you, sir, if I could have some better than that, man. You want a better lighter or you want a? I want a better color. Or a better, a better color, lighter color than pink for a man. So you get stuff like that. To oh, there's new librarian vids because the boulders returned from like a vacation. Finally, fuck. Okay, all right. Finally. Anyway, let's just get some music going. By the way, it is raining in Cape Town right now. Zach Fox did a set. Oh, we can't put this on loop for like, you know, two hour, uh, an hour, but seems pretty good. He said I found some good qualities the elevator set. Huh. Interesting. Maybe he's up and coming, but the elevator set was really good. Anyway, we'll just keep with the nice, uh, calming, relaxing Nintendo music with the rain. Okay, it's Wordle time. I can't be bested by any of the New York Times games today. I'm, I, I'm, it's war. I won't be bested. I will not be bested. Um, okay. Wars. No, that. Okay. <laughs> what about where? What about a whale? Okay, we got an A. What about could? No, we already got an L. What about count? There's a tweet I saw about, like, this person who's like, I cannot, like, whenever I get a haircut and I, I, I show my queer friends, this is the response. And I was like, oh my god, uh, uh, androgynous Ringo Starr, um, <laughs> like, 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 it looks like you're serving medieval cunt, ye old slay the boots house down. And it was so funny, I wish I'd saved it. Because <laughs> they just got a bob cut. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was funny as fuck. Um, no, don't don't stress. You don't have to. It was really funny though. <laughs> um, what about NATO's? <laughs> this can't be. This is no okay. Um, um. What about polar? Polar. Well, we'll just we'll get. No, we won't give it a placement. No, no okay. We 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 use other letters. Okay, it's probably an R. Um. Ray. Rave. Rave on. Raise on. Is that a that mu just give me a re reason let's just see resin resin okay it does it does help us a bit okay what an n okay the n goes there e s i there's no s or i okay it's probably a n like o a n like o a n like like grown Groan is a good one. Let's go. Groan. Okay, we're getting there. Organ. Fucking got him, dude. Nice, kind, sweet, sort, ring stick, type wing, style, tender, drift, cool, point, message, stick, sick, idea. Sort, type, kind. Style. Easy clap variety. Okay, variety. We like this. We like this. We're, I'm a variety streamer. I don't even know what really variety means. I think it just means you do a lot of different things. But like, everyone's like, like when 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 people say they're a variety streamer, it's like, yeah, I I I I talk to my chat too, and then I play games. You know? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I guess a lot of streamers just play one game. You know? Oh, you found it? Oh, yeah, gay people can't... Okay, you found it. Okay, so no, found it. Yeah, gay people can't just say I like your new haircut. <laughs> oh my god. Non-binary Ringo Star. I like it, though. It's giving medieval cunt. He all boots the house down. <laughs> the house down. <laughs> this is so good. Average queer experience, TVH. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> oh, God. Group house founder? What? <laughs> Drift, wing, ring, cool, idea, sick, message, point, got a good point, got a good idea, got a good message, got a good tender, I don't know, tender, uh, nice, hmm, stick, sweet, Sweet, cool, sick, nice. Okay, that, there we go. Oh, 
Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Tender drift. Driftwood. Wood. Stick wood. I deal. Okay. Um. Wing. Drumstick. Chick chicken wing. Tender. Chicken tender. Chicken wing. Chicken stick. Chicken ring. Uh, it must be. Uh, you, you don't get a chicken message. <laughs> No, it must be drift. Point I chicken ring. Fried appetizer informally. Chicken rings. <laughs> Ch chicken idea. <laughs> drift. Oh, catch your drift. Catch your, your message idea. Okay, I get. It. Okay, I see. The gist, yeah. Okay, okay, I see. I see you. I see you. White Castle makes chicken rings. I I think chicken rings sound sick. Although it does sound like like they have used Okay, look. I will say something. And this is controversial. Okay. And I think this will offend a lot of Americans. I think McDonald's uh like chicken nuggets taste like absolute fucking shit like i think it is literally one of the the things on their menu that tastes literally the fucking worst it, it like straight up like fucking cardboard and i don't know why people are so into it no but like there's a whole sort of, you see you got you get one there's one like, like for me, it's it's literally it's so processed. It's not like much left at all. But the thing is, like, like a McDonald's burger is tastier than a fucking McDonald's uh 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 like chicken nugget. It's nostalgia. It's the sauce. Yeah, but you can use the sauce on other things. It's because they are children. Nostalgia flavors it for them. <laughs> Anyway, I, I was saying today I made a soup, which I'm going to be having later for my supper. I made a uh, pumpkin ginger soup, and I'm a little bit upset because the ginger flavor did not come out through. Oh. I have no idea why you got um, timed out at all. Oh, I know. I know why. Okay. No, it's just... It, it, yeah, okay. I know why. Misspelling of chicken. Yeah. Yeah, the misspelling of chicken is a slur. Um, that's why. Controversial, but I hate all McDonald's offerings. Um, basically, like... <laughs> Look, I will say, uh, the one thing about McDonald's which is, like, really bad... Is the... Uh, no, it's fine. Don't worry. Hybrid uh, Vega. Don't stress. Don't stress. You don't need stress. This happens sometimes. It wasn't even as if you just said it like ad as it is a slur. Like the slur was just included in the word. Okay. Um. Um. No, don't stress. Don't stress. You don't need stress. It happens all the time. Um. What did I want to say? Oh, Ch McDonald's fries taste really good, but they are just like, like that is the, they are the most unhealthy thing for you. I think in like a tiny portion, there's like 500 calories, which is just insane. You know? I once said the name of Z Dan's lead vocalist in high school and was banned by Bernie Bo Bo automatically. Yeah, stuff like that happens. But yeah, like, I, I do like the burgers. Like, they're just the small ones. But I don't like the cheese. I don't have it. And I take off the singular little piece of fucking pickle that they put on there, dude. When they put on one single piece of pickle? No, thank you.
This weeb shit is trending for the worst reasons. Bro, I don't want to watch this. I can already see what's happening here. I, like, yes. I'm fine. I, I know exactly like what's going on here. How about the breakfast or the McChicken? I have never had a McDonald's breakfast. I've never had a McChicken ever. I've had, I've never had anything other than the chicken nuggets, the burger and the fries. And I like McFlurries. Oreo McFlurries are really good. I know, I take off the pickle every single time. Does salt have many calories? No. I heard you got jumped in Gay City to save a straight man from twerking. <laughs> I love the McDonald's breakfast and, chi and McChicken uh, over nuggets for sure. I'm just like, I think I can count on my hands. I mean, I haven't had McDonald's firstly in like two years. Because there's just better options here. KFC in South Africa is really good, by the way. It might suck in America, but KFC is like a hundred times better it than McDonald's here. Like, it literally is insane how much better KFC is than, uh, than, um, I haven't had fast food since like 2019. That's good. Anyway. Hungry Lion clears KFC so hard. I haven't had the Hungry Lion yet. It's pretty new, isn't it? Where a masseuse might work. A spa drops the ball. Dogs. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably wrong. <laughs> Uh, anti-anxiety drug whose name is a palindrome. SSR eyes? No. Um. Xanax. Uh, Harvard's rival. Yale, right? Birds and the Bees topic. Sex! Speak with, uh, folded hands. Pray. Desi, I love Lucy Co-Star. I have no idea. All items must go as sale. Crossed out. X's. Um. Eris? Last letter in London. N? O. Eh, what? Nens. No, it'd be N. Okay, I'm confused. Uh, Eris? I, I, the thing is, I can't get it. Desi? I love Lucy Coaster. Okay, who's this, who's this, uh, thing? What is, who's this person? Just, I know it's not Nen. Stop. Just, who is this person? Because I can't, I literally can't get it without it. You could tell me, chat. I never, like, care about the integrity of fucking the New York Times crossword. R, R, Naz. Zen? R, what? What? Is it gonna be Zed? Mm. 
Last letter in London? Fuck off! Oh, Jason was stuck on that for like five minutes. Okay. Very cool. Free petroleum. Petroleum gas. Cars. Hmm. Cars, we've got fillet fish as well. Poultry meat concentrate milk bovine. Sugar beer yeast. Rice! E, okay. I say Z. What is Tradle? How nerdy are you getting? Bro, I've always played Tradle. What do you think, Vegetable? Okay. I think this is in Asia. Add this to your rotation. Lolden. No. I've never. No. I've never played League. Ever. Hey, RC Pinto. Uh, I think it's somewhere in Asia, and I'm trying to think of like a good place where this would work. I don't know if Cambodia's got oil. Maybe Myanmar? No. Maybe Bangladesh? I don't think so. There'd be more textiles. There isn't money. Maybe Pakistan? I doubt it. There are cars though. I'm gonna go with... Maybe it's the Philippines? Luna Songhai. Um, the bot just uh, trying to... You can do it yourself, but don't give answers in the chat. Because then I can't use them. Because I'm trying to do it myself, okay? Maybe you don't know. But uh, yeah, Keith, don't, don't answer in chat. I try not to look at chat, but sometimes I look over. Um, no. Maybe it's the UAE? I feel like the UAE would make more money. Let's go with the UAE first. No, we're going down to Africa. Okay. Um, making cars. Must be car parts. I recently learned that like all cars in South Africa normally are made in South Africa, which is very interesting. Um, even though there are no South African car brands. At all. There's not one. I don't think this is South Africa though about oil and it's down by like a eighth of the earth's circumference down from is this tanzania i doubt it but we'll, we'll go for it okay Angola. Oh, 
The Ivory Coast? Nigeria? Cameroon. Yeah. But that's like... I mean, it could be the DRC, but it must be Cameroon. Confusing. I'm just fucking it all up. Okay, so it is, in fact... It's the, it's the Republic of the Congo. Okay, we're dancing around Africa with this one. There we go. What? It was Equatorial Guinea? It's tiny! Fuck. You did really well, Arun. I loved it. Well done. I, w I would be amazed if anybody got Equatorial Guinea, by the way. I'm just saying. It you were sick. Well done. No, it's gonna be mad I showed Hassan Love Charger. Bro, I remember you got mad at, at 64 Square Poet for posting that in this chat. Because you were like, you can't just send this in Little Bear's chat without the context. <laughs> you got really mad. <laughs> I remember. Anyway. It was great, Arun. Well done. And Hassan was really interested, and I think Hassan learned a lot. Like, um, I have been trying to get Hassan to watch that that uh, India fascism video, and I still think he should. But he was shocked by a lot of what you had to say, which was great. Like that he finally, I think he he's understood a little bit more how insanely fascist India is. So you know, in politi in political terms, you know. Anyway. I know what this is and I can't remember. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Let me think. 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 Fuck, 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 fuck. I know what this is. I know what it is. Is it the DRC? I think it might be. No. But I know that I I know I recognize the shape. Ah. Okay. 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 Let me think. It's not like Myanmar or anything. It's not like Bangladesh. Um. Not Pakistan. It's none of the stance. I think it might be the DRC. Okay, but it's like definitely something like I know this shape. I'm looking at it right now and I'm like, no, this is like this is a shape. This is a this is a known shape. I've had this one before. Okay, where is it? Okay, South America. It's not Colombia. It's not Peru. It's not... Washed Gesser. Okay, is it Guatemala? Gets down. This is Venezuela. I don't think so. Is it Colombia? It 
It is Columbia! Fuck. Okay. Ah, it's such an interesting shape as well. It's got like symmetries and shit. And his weight is like a mushroom. A permanency that gives it away. Yeah, but you, you're just, you have that level of like, you, you have that, that whatever it is that makes your brain work that way, where you can recognize shapes like this. This way it kind of looks like a bull snack with a small t a bull <laughs> a bull snack I said <laughs> a bull sack with a small dick <laughs> a bull sack snack <laughs> oh, okay more than three hundred Olympic medals population over ten minutes okay there's two countries it's two countries maybe three but it's the U S and China that's it in North America. Population over 10 million in North America. It's, it, once again, it's two countries. A member of the European Union, population over 10 million. Surely 10, more than 10 million people live in Poland. Remember the European uh, uh, Union ends with A. Okay, let's think about that. Uh, Bulgaria. I don't know if Bulgaria, Romania, no idea actually if either of them. Belgium, Macedonia, Greece, Serbia. Serbia is probably one. What? It's not part of the EU? Fuck. Croatia. Okay, we got Croatia. Is Serbia Muslim? Holy fuck, Euro Europeans are so racist, dude. Is Serbia actually a very Muslim country? Yeah, that's why the USA volunteered to bomb it. <laughs> In North America, ends with A. Guatemala, Nicaragua, uh, uh, El Salvador, Belize. Okay, we go with that one. No, Serbia isn't. Okay. Oh, you. St I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Oh, okay. Serbia, Bosnia. I mean, like right next to one another. Uh, end of the A. More than 300 Olympic medals. Fuck. I think Canada as well. Okay, we got an epic there. This is tricky. The more than 300 Olympic medals is tricky. North America borders wants two countries. Belize. Rare, okay. Remember the European Union borders wants two countries. Finland? Is Finland in the EU? I don't think so. Uh, Macedonia. Macedonia borders more countries than that. Um, ah, Croatia borders a fuck ton of countries. Bosnia. I mean, you could just go Spain and just be like, yeah, fuck it. I said Spain. What of it? What? Denmark. Yeah, okay. Okay, now the other ones I've got three left. So I'll stick away from the medals. I'll say in North America, population over 10 million. Uh, Guatemala, maybe. 
like, I don't know, Guatemala. We could just say Mexico. Common, okay, lots of people said that. Member of the EU. My version of 10 million. Okay, now we're just going for cheap shots. Okay, now we're just going for like basic bitch shit. Um, Ireland. Everyone forgets about Ireland. What? It doesn't have a population over 10 million? What? Oh, and it's on door front. The Irish people are in the diaspora, LB. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, well, we really fucked this one up today. China was rare? I thought everyone would answer China. I need to use China more often. Most people probably went with the USA. Oh no, most popular answers were actually that. What was USA was rare was, was where okay, most people said China. Legendary was South Korea, okay. Legendary North America ends with an A. That's stupid that no one said the US, okay? It's just because everyone said the US here. <laughs> Okay, if okay, let's see, let's see. Border, borders wants two countries. It could be UK, Sweden, South Korea, Netherlands. Fuck. You have to remember that geography nerds trying to do rare countries that do this. Sometimes USA, US, UK is rare. True. I love that. Like, like, um, I mean, it's interesting that Austria. Okay, Austria. Yeah. Yeah, but these are still basic bitch countries. Like, people know about all these countries, you know? I'm glad I got the- like, this was epic. See, I've got Belize, I've got- I've got interesting things going on here, okay? I mean, I've got the basic bitches here. And Croatia can get thrown in there as well, but these, these are interesting. No one thought about Denmark. Who would ever be thinking about Denmark? Okay, hold on. Um, let's get edge open. We can do foodle. When do Olympics counts too? Okay, go to beef tomato sauce, liver spread, liver spread. Potato, carrots, bell peppers, onion, garlic, soy sauce, bay leaves. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it might be German though. I don't know. Germ it's not, it looks German. I don't know. Is this German? It's probably German. Maybe like Georgian or something. Let's say Germany. Ice cold. Fuck. Okay. Is it is it from Iraq? We just throw ice cold. It's called Calretta. Because Germany is pointing in that direction, so that makes no sense. Okay, is it from Brazil? Ice cold. Okay, it's derived from the Spanish word. Spain also colonized other things, like... Maybe, is it Filipino? I don't know if... if... Oh my god, it's Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> Yo!
Yo. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is British. I love these. I love digestive biscuits. I love digestive biscuits. They are the best. They're so fucking good, man. They are great. Yes, that's Beancrafts that makes those drawn illustrations. Yes, Beancrafts makes them. Well, well, made them. And they are on Instagram and Twitter. I just got my South African ID. I can vote in your election now. That's sick. A little bit late. You'll have to wait four years. <laughs> Beef, egg, noodles, potato, cabbage, bean sprout, garlic, shallots, ginger, lime leaves, lemongrass, galangal, turmeric, salt, pepper, water, fried shallots, and pink. Okay. Sambal. This feels Japanese, but I think it's, I actually think it's Indian. Hold? Okay, Japan. Cool. Vietnam. Soto Mi. Indonesia? Okay. Fair enough. Took them four months to get it to me. It's insane how long it took. Bro, you are overseas. Yeah, of course it's gonna take a fuck long time. It doesn't take that long in South Africa at all. It takes a few weeks. <laughs> nowadays. He doesn't have a lot of native noodles except for Indian style Chinese. Interesting. Okay. I live next door to the embassy though. Feel like it could have been quicker. Bro. Do you have any idea how insane the South African Postal Service is? How bad it is? It once took me three months for his song merch to arrive. You're fine. Because I have to go around the big ass mountain? No, it's just really bad and underfunded. Armenia to South Korea. Okay, I think we're gonna be going through Russia here. Yes, okay, we'll go for Georgia now. And then we get North Korea. And that should be it. Easy clap. Time to become the biggest South African landlord. You aren't ready for my reign. If you do become a landlord, can you, I like stay in one of the places for free? Like, because I know you? <laughs> I'll just pay the rate. I'm 
Okay, Jason, choose a country. South Sudan. Okay, interesting. This is Somalia. Easy clap. Hello, Mia, huh? Because <laughs> you got a little bit of blue from here? Anyway. Look, I think you have to be a flag person to know. If you know, you know. Yeah, I could only... No, it could, be, it could have been Myanmar. If, like, for example, the we didn't have that blue indication on the end. Could have been Myanmar. Um... You should check this out. It's letterbox. And I got caught by my uBlock origin. What are you doing sending fucking IV trackers to me, dude? I'm not doing that box. Letterboxd sucks. Okay, well, this was nice and easy. Wait, is it? Yeah, no, it is. I wonder what this is. Wait, what? The answer is the U.S. minor outlying islands. <laughs> what the fuck? The side is just cooked, dude. <laughs> I guess they use the same flag. It's a different flag. Why well, you? I, this is the United States of America. The flag I use. So. Uh, it, this one's uh, this one's just it's, it's not doing so well. Okay, time guessing. Vanilla to buck. Since. Tobacco. Stral Busen. So this is this is um this must be the Netherlands. It must be. I'd be amazed if it's not. I'd be amazed if it's if it's not. Hello, NL, I mean LB. <laughs> mm. 
No, it's more... Stadiums are usually not central. Well, the, the, the airport's very central too. I must say, the airport's very close to Amsterdam center. I, I hope it's the Netherlands. I think it must be based on the... Let's go here. Even though it's probably wrong. Nineteen seventy-eight. Was the Netherlands? Okay, I was off on the other thing, but it was the Netherlands. Okay, this is going to be Hungarian, isn't it? You got the double thing there? Yeah. It has to be. It's probably like old fucking early like, I don't know, let's put it like here. And make it like, yeah. There. 1904. Got it spot on and it was actually Romania. Fine. Moral plaque in count Hungarian statesman and engineer British rule in modernizing Hungary. <laughs> it was hungry at the time. Slovakia or Slovenia? It's a real question. Looks beautiful though. Slovakia or Slovenia? Neo must be Slovakia. It feels more like Slovakia. Like the, like I, I could see this in Vienna or like wherever. So I think it must be Slovakia. Bratislava. Like the old town. Like here maybe. Um... It's uh, Samsung, I think. <laughs> Look at this new green energy little bus. For the olds. Maybe 2023. It was, in fact, Slovakia. No, Slovenia, not Slovakia. Okay, SLO. Is Slovenia. I love that people can't tell them apart. Suck it, Slovakia. <laughs> really, uh, we got we got we got a check in chat who really has the smoke for for Slovakia. I wonder why, dude. <laughs> Central Cinema. Amor. This is Italiano. Amor. Right? Yeah, it has to be. Amor. This is, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not fucking, um, French. I can tell you that. Also, if it was French, it would say, like, Rue, wouldn't it? But it's also got this little weird thing here. Maybe it's Turkey. Nah. 
Yeah, I know Ruiz Road, and it would say it there if it, uh, like, like, I don't think this is France. Put it that way. No, it's not. Maybe if it is, I'm going to lose my uh, uh, hotel and more. If it's, it looks very French though. <laughs> This is not French. Yeah. No, no, no. Maybe it's like Croatian. Or something like that. Or maybe, maybe it's just like... Maybe it's in Belgium. I have no idea. Like, you got this line there. Do you get that in Croatia? Not really. It doesn't look like it. Maybe it is Turkish then. No. Maybe it's Riga. Or it could be Polish. I doubt that though. Amor? Polish? It's got the like little thing though here. Like the... Fuck it dude, let's just say it's... it's let's actually say it's just Prague, fuck it. Let's say it's Prague and be done with this. Prague in the fucking 54s. It was fucking. <laughs> it was. It was not. <laughs> and it was 30s. Okay, I fucked that last one. <laughs> I fucked that one. Okay, it's fine. Oh, isn't this Singapore? Yeah, this is Singapore. I don't know where in Singapore, but... Yeah, there we go. Maybe here. Um, and it's pretty recent. Yeah, everyone's on their phone. Maybe. It's this building here. It's like a ship on a building. It's sick. I remember it from another uh, time we did this and I was like, where the fuck is this? And then we figured out it was Singapore and I was like, okay, well, now I know like one defining feature of Singapore. I'd love to go to Singapore, by the way, just to like visit. It sounds very interesting. I wouldn't like to live there. I think it's very like uh, hyper capitalist, um, but it sounds like super, super cool. Watch Crazy Rich Asians. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't litter there or chew gum. 37,000. I'm not too upset with that. Could have been better. I miss challenging Emhard. I don't want to ask Emhard until his meds work properly. You know what I mean? It's too interruptive, disruptive. And I, I, I get it. Like, sometimes you just don't want to do that. Is Emhard live? No, I won't want- I- I'm not gonna ask today. It's fine. Um, but we've got one last one to do Bandal. And then, uh, you guys can choose what we want to do. Next. Oh, I just want to dunk on Anna Kasparian first, and then we can decide if we want to watch the Stonewall documentary or not. Thank you, Mean Boot, for the emote only mode.
Thank you, Zenodo. Good resource, it's safe for work. Don't worry about the sub name. Oh my god, you're so you're incredible. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> okay, this is like some real nerd shit. <laughs> Who is Anna Kasparian? Am I am I saying her name incorrectly? Okay, thank you for this. Um Na 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 at quarter to three Will you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm sixty-four? I don't think it's that, but I was thinking, because it's 964, so I was like, oh, Beatles, 64, why not? Some Frank Sinatra shit. I mean, it's gonna be like, 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 so it has to be, you know what I mean? Like, okay, let's see what Frank Sinatra they have. Fly me to the moon. Let me sing among. Oh my god, there we go. I, I knew, I just was like, yeah, it has to be. <laughs> Wait, why did it pause? On the stars, let me see what. Uh, da -da -da, on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, please be true. In other words, baby, kiss me. I actually don't know like that. Anyone has something for the emote extension? You mean what this chat that I'm using right here? Okay, King F uh, R F Z. And what I want you to do right now is do this. Are you on a computer right now? You must be. This is what you need to do. No, no, I'm going to change your life, Chatter. I want you to go to a website called Chatterino. Uh, dot com. Okay, now it's specifically designed to be a low maintenance, like low GPU, completely free software for Twitch experience, okay? And I want you to download the software and I want you to log in and I want you to understand why this is a really good thing to do. Now I'm not sponsored by Chatterino, it's completely free, but it's what I've always used on Twitch. Now, if you ever look at my Chatterino right here, if I click Control U, you can see all of the different tabs of chats that I have open. Now I have way more than the average person because I like to see who to, who to raid using this but then in the settings as well like you can change uh like the fonts the size all of that sort of stuff you'll have to play around with it a bit to like get something to work for you i've got like quite a i've got a 4k screen so i had to play around with this a lot but the other nice thing is that you can add commands so that like you know for example i've got a command for all of the uh, pastas in hassan's chat so you can go pasta uh distribution like a command there i just tabbed it and then it posts a link to a Google Drive to a Google document that um, has all of the uh, passes from Hassan's chat. But then also for, there's certain emotes I don't like, and they read well. There's certain highlights, so like when people refer to me, 
you know, by any of these, I do get a ping. I don't get a ping when I'm live. But I also have ignores. Like, I don't like, I got really annoyed with people spamming One Piece updates in Hassan's chat. So I changed them all to the Clueless emote, which is the I'm stupid emote. And I hated Ellis's emotes for a while. So I removed all of them. Um, and then, you know, you got filters. You can just do a lot more with it. And it's all free. And it's great. And it's really easy to use. And you don't need to install anything with emotes. And you can just have this floating around separately. But yeah, then there are, the, are other extensions. So there we go. I downloaded it and I'll try it. Thanks. The only thing some people struggle with is just the size. Just play around with the different uh, things in the beginning. The nice thing is that you can also... Um, there's a lot of settings here to go through. But the nice thing is if you... if You if you can, you can search in settings. For example, there was a time where like we couldn't whisper through Chatterino. Now you can. Everyone can whisper through Chatterino. So we used to have to change the settings in Helix, which would be like the Helix time gate for uh, whisper behavior slash W behavior, which is like uh, now it's set to always use Helix. So for, I, I can always whisper through Chatterino now. But I think they changed it so everybody can... Uh, yeah. Anyway, so just simple things like that makes your life. Alabaster Civil War? I don't know about that. Um, okay. I do want to just... Oop, what the fuck? I accidentally downloaded Chatterino. Okay. Uh, I do want to... Short, short Daily Dose, sure. But yeah, get Chatterino. Makes life easier. And when you don't have... Don't have as many tabs as I do. Uh, because that's insane. But, um... Yeah. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is why you never wake up a sleepwalker. Late! <laughs> oh god, bro, it must, I must say it must suck to be a sleepwalker. That's one thing I'm glad I don't have. Any sleepwalkers in chat? <laughs> This fake fall looked a little too realistic. <laughs> oh, the doggy freaked out! No! No! Just right before the end! Oh, these are like skates. <laughs> Please don't feed the demon river monsters. <laughs> I just found out that if you bottle feed a kitten, you need to burp them just like a human baby. They reserve the first two seats on this I'm sorry. This is like me. Now I get to like a Luddite LB mode. I do not think that we ever need opening doors or doors that open automatically ever. I'm sorry. I don't think, unless, like maybe for accessibility reasons, but like, I'm sorry. We don't actually need that. That is like completely wasted tech. You can open the door yourself. Holy fuck. I hate it so much. I hate frivolous tech. It makes me so fucking angry. Like, like, Jesus fucking Christ. Holy fuck. We don't need that. You see lady was trapped in a hot test for 75 minutes because they were doing a software update with no aircon. On minivans, they're good, sure. If it's transport for a large, for more than one person, like, if it's not a car, okay, fine have it but only also only if it's a sliding door prairie lesson i think when you have a door that can open up into traffic you need to be able to have some human control over it okay if it's a sliding door fine you can have it like work in a that's fine But like you like on cars, it is so fucking stupid just to like put it's like iPads and cars nowadays. But you know, the reason why they're doing it is because it's cheaper when than buttons, bro. They put an I I remember they put a fucking iPad in the plane. Okay, they probably still use iPads in planes and they almost crashed because they the, with the touchpad, they, they put input the wrong amount of fuel or whatever. 
That was like a fucking Emirates flight. We watched the video on it. It makes me so fucking angry, dude. Oh, we also want to see some Northern Line stuff before we watch the Stonewall thing. I'm literally a moron. I'm a moron. Updating my car. By the way, it's been updating for the past 30 minutes. It says it's only supposed to chart or update She's for sweating. 24 minutes. And when your car is updating, you are stuck in your car if you activate it when you're in here. So I did that. and This is so bad. This is terrible. This is really fucking bad. This is a fucking risk. I hate this so much. This makes me angry. And now I'm stuck in my car. How on earth are they able to sell these cars? Literally dripping sweat. Like, dripping sweat. And inside my car, it's 103 degrees. So I'm slightly freaking out. I hope I don't, like, run out of air. I can't open up the doors or the windows. Otherwise, like, I could potentially damage my car. So I'm just stuck in here. Roasting like a freaking chicken. And I'm saving dripping this. sweat. And my Chick-fil-A order has been done for 30 minutes. I'm literally sitting. This... She can open the door. There'll be this being partly debunked. I'm I, I'm sorry, but they probably say to you like they can't. In any way or any sense, she's still sitting in her fucking car, dude. Like that, the fact that she thinks she can't open it but without damaging the car is still something that like, like is I don't I need to understand. Regardless of whether or not like she can actually get out of the car, it's still like super fucking dangerous. I don't think you should need to download an update for your car. I'm sorry. I hate it. Like, I, I really think, like, we should be not turning cars into computers. Okay? ...outside. So, yeah, I will be stuck in my car until further notice. I, I hate it so much. I This makes me, this makes me really mad. <sighs> ...plane because they thought they would be the best seats. Let's go back. Two seats. They thought they would be the They reserved the first two seats on this plane because they thought they would be the best seats. And then look at this. Reject computer guards and base. Yeah, well, computer trains are fine. You know why? Because they only travel on one fucking track, okay? Or they can be moved on different tracks, and then there's communication. There's, like, like not many trains, different trains, okay? Like, that you're going to be passing. No, completely fine. All cars have computers, though. No, they... Wait, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Nearly all computer cars shouldn't exist, in my opinion, yeah. They really do? Okay. Fair enough. Like, they are going to be, like, small... But you know what I'm talking about, okay? You guys are being... EVs can't exist without software? Okay, but we can minimize it. Like, like for example, we should still, like, be able to have, like, a very tactile environment, okay? You don't want that, like... <sighs> You know what I'm talking about, okay? In the cabin, basically. Okay, my other take is I like take like this, but it's given a bad name because it's being developed under capitalism where the company's goal is to make profit rather than go profit. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing is like, raise a leaf. And what I want you to understand is the other reality is that tech existing in a world that's a straw man. This is why this tech is bad. It's the same take with AI. It's like, I think AI in many cases is really bad. Why? Because it's under capitalism. And I don't like people's argument of like, okay, but if we weren't under capitalism, it would be great. You know? Like, we're not going to exist in that world. So, at the, no, it's bad. It's bad. Right? Oh, why are you? Package thieves are starting to get really bold now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how she fills up these hungry birds as if they were jelly donuts. Why is this orangutan so nosy?
know why this orangutan is so nosy? Because it's got nothing to fucking do. This path was flooded, so these firefighters help people get across. Sorry, I hate zoos. <laughs> oh my god, that firefighter looks like Hassan. Oh my god, it's Hassan. Oh my god, we found firefighter Hassan. <laughs> I just want to let everyone know that I read your comments all the time and I love the positivity in the comment section. I'm glad everyone enjoys the videos that I put together. So yeah, bye now. A daily dose is so interesting because if you watch daily doses fear around episode he literally hates the internet he wants to literally go live in like a log cabin or like a rural farm away from anything internet related and he does he wants to stop doing daily dose eventually like he's i think he's been looking into like you know doing an ai model of his voice or whatever which is really funny <laughs> he's a very interesting character Alpha, let's say that much. Um, you know. Um. But yeah. Uh, okay, no, I did all of that. Okay, uh, I want to talk about Anna Kasparian quickly. Hold on, let me get the things up. Because I, she sucks. And then we're going to watch the Stonewall documentary. Uh, the Stonewall documentary is PBS, so it shouldn't have any... Um, it shouldn't have any... Uh, TOS, hopefully. What's the new drama? Have a look. So this happened. Now, this is just... I'm, pe I'm petty. Okay, I'm a petty bitch. All right. Um, but then... Oh, where's the denims video? Okay, but like, Anna Kasparian, like, is very open about her hate. It's funny, because Anna used to be very good friends with Hassan. But she's just so fucking... They said there's blood at 4, 4, 30. Okay, that's fine. Just... But, like, this is all that, that there is. It's just, like, she's incredibly bitter, and I think it's one of the reasons why she started grifting on the right, is because she's just not making enough money that she thinks she... She's not happy in what she does, which to me just shows that she wasn't really ever passionate about this from the beginning. Or maybe she was passionate about it, but like, you know, got caught up in the rugged individualism, blah, blah, blah. Isn't this an old clip? Nope, this is a new clip. This is a new clip. Apparently, this is a new clip. This is new. And I have a specific example of someone that worked here that has said something very similar to her. Oh, interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. it can't be your nephew because uh, he has no self-awareness. But anyway, let me continue with the rest of her statement. I saw two paths when I was first starting. And, and I have a specific example of someone They're talking that about me uh, Nepo babies. And then this, so now everyone's obviously dunking on her. It's a tiny little thing. But I just need you guys to remember this because, like, she is so fucking jelly beans. Anti-racist says, speaking of mainstream shows, Jen Cannon, did you know Jimmy Kimmel featured one of Hassan's tweets on last night's show? I know, everyone loves Hassan, he's super famous and rich, we got it. <laughs> that bitch just broke out of nowhere! No, okay. I just, I get it, I get it, I get it. Like, no, This was a year ago, salty. this was a year ago. I'm actually really happy for him, but like, I also reflect on my own career and feel like a massive failure sometimes. So I don't like and not to, that crazy. I don't want that to make you feel bad about yourself. I don't I'm not I'm not able to You think the fucking New Yorker is going to write a fucking glowing profile about me? Are you fucking kidding me? No, of course not. Of course She's really fucking bitter, dude. Like that is it blo it actually blows my mind like because the thing is, like, I, I think if you were to ask, like, for example, let's take Carter or, like, Gremlo. I don't know how long Gremlo has been streaming for, but, like, if you were to ask Gremlo about, like, the existence of Hassan, like, you know, he, he would probably just be like, yeah, I, I fucking love him because he's done so much for the left. Like, like, I think a lot of people, like, understand, like, how important Hassan has been for the online left on America. 
And I would say the left in general. Like he, I think he is right. I mean, most of you motherfuckers in the chat, hold on. Let me just do a poll quickly. Because this is important. Bring you to the left slash make you more leftist. Make you more. This is just interesting. Now, now, by the way, make you more leftist being like you could have been leftist before, but you didn't realize you were, okay? And this is a community... Right now, we've got 165 people watching, okay? No, Hassan saved my life. It sounds parasocial as fuck, but it's true. But, I mean, look, Elysium, like, you are trans, right? Like, like yeah, he, he also introduced you to a community that I think would have been very helpful for you. And also, you did say that you are an alt-right, like... Like, you were going down an alt-right pipeline, and I think a lot of people are like that. I voted no, but if I'd found a sound before Chapa Trap House, it would be yes. But exactly, that's the thing. It's like, you could have found him through through different things. I think I was always going to be a leftist, but Hassan helped me deal uh, with the men in my life, and that's how, why I owe him forever. I mean, I think everyone, like, that has empathy has the possibility to do that. But the thing is, is like... um. My boyfriend's mum is trying to break us up because she thinks I radicalized. No, he started watching Hassan, yeah. Yeah, Hassan introduced me. I mean, the reason why I'm streaming right now is because of Hassan. The reason why I, like, realize other people are like me is because of Hassan. And, and I think, I, the thing is, a lot of people, I think a lot of people have had very similar takes in their head to Hassan, but they haven't had them articulated. That happens to me a lot. Like, when I think about issues, Especially as as someone who's never read theory, like a lot of the times, like like I I have had like dr like brief thoughts about like what Hassan has said, but I haven't really connected them. And yeah, not to be known. This is not parasocial at all, by the way. I like to play a difference between like parasocialism is like, for example, I hate it when people call me parasocial because I have no desire to be Hassan's friend. Okay, like I don't want to like be a figure within his like life and that is when it gets sort of parasocial you know and that's what really annoys me i'm more like care more about the, far more about the community and i like doing stuff for the community so you know and i know a lot of hassan law but i have no desire to like like be like you know chummy with him you know and that really fucking like annoys me um because also like i think it's also because you know i've recently discovered i'm ace and i think a lot of people like assume like that like anybody you know what i mean it makes me feel uncomfortable when people assume stuff about me you know one of the best things i got from Hassan was the actual difference between liberal and left because the us is made in the same brush yeah anyway i just want to pet kaya that's okay that's not parasocial My first message in Hassan's chat were, bro, you can't say shit like this. Listen, I understand being a woman in this sphere is not easy and noticing sexism that affects your career is how much, I respect, how much respect you receive. Maybe part of her, uh, her frustration comes from seeing a man overtake by a massive margin, not trying to insinuate that's why. Well, the thing is, nerd, like, no, 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 no. You, you are right. Like, I can understand it must be annoying. But the thing is, regardless of, of whether... Um, his son was a woman or not. He's bloody good at what he does. And he's bloody good at what he does because he's he will never, ever go back on, like, the firm principles he's held. And he will say things as they are. And a lot of people want that. A lot of people want someone who's prepared to be passionate and swear about, like, matters that really matter to them and get fucking angry, you know? And and I and I think like the thing is is sometimes also it's just luck, like 
And the thing is, Anna, like, is on, is she's known in, in, in the sort of the field, but the way in which she's pivoted to try and get, like, more notoriety is to start, like, saying anti-trans statements, trying to, like, start saying anti-immigrant statements, trying to, like, be a disgusting human being in order to, like, gain... Like, as Hassan has said, like, the thing is, Hassan did drop a lot of viewership, but did he change what he talked about? No. Like, like when Hassan has seen, you know, ups and downs in his career, has he ever, like, oh, thought, okay, maybe I should start talking about something else? No. The only thing he changes up is gaming, but that's, like... But the thing is, his position doesn't change based on how much success he has. And that's how you know it's, he's, he's completely honest about what he's talking about. And, and so, yeah, why would someone want to, you know, be behind Anna if she's willing to just change her principles? I don't think it's insane for Anna to feel that way at times, but it's the kind of thing you, you journal about. Yeah, and it's also the kind of thing you go to therapy about. Like, people do get jealous, but, like, that is something that you have to like deal with on your own you don't push that out to the rest of the world okay like you know you, we've all had friends where we've been jealous of them in some sort of way but you can completely ruin your relationship like that you have with them if you, you gregory gold you gregory thank you for the gifted sub oh my like God. the thing is is like jealousy it is a disease love okay and you do need to get better. And it's your own mental health that's making you think that you're not good enough. Or like, it, it's, it's entirely based on your own mental health, you know? And it's something you need to sort of like deal with, not air out publicly to people. Because it, she goes on. And you know what she then says? Maybe I should have just played video games. Anyway, so most people here were brought to the left by Hassan. That is staggering. He has a fucking superpower. He is able to like cut through like on average 20 years of capitalist like like propaganda and and on average 20 years of capitalist propaganda that we get growing up and like drag out like the, the like and make you see the light. That is incredible. Okay? Not many people can do that. That is he uh, he has gotten his like ability to do agit prop for the left down to a T and he does it in an entertaining way. And the thing is, a lot of it's also just luck. He was very lucky in I think the the pandemic helped him a lot with his growth as well. Um I think Bernie being on the uh the politician like who was up and coming and could have been president just as he was popping off also helped him. And I also think that like I don't think like like you know being known on TYT was also helpful that brought people over, especially from Facebook. But at the end of the day, like if it was David Pakman, I don't think like uh, just go fucking watch David Pakman doing. He was doing similar sort of things like, but David Pakman fucking sucks and he doesn't seem like super trustworthy. Yeah. See, most people have like a lot of empathy, but they can't see through. And, and I think it, it, to be able to like explain to someone why they're being lied to and why like their parents have been radicalized and been into QAnon and why and why like their government is preventing them from fucking transitioning and being able to like, you know, see all of that, but still create a space where people can like share like their own suffering as well as like have fun with each other and gain friendships through that is like, yeah, you know. But this is insane. I'm going to play it again from the beginning so you can see. Uh, just be anti-racist. Speaking of mainstream shows, Jen Cannon, did you know Jimmy Kimmel featured one of Hassan's tweets on last night's show? I know. Everyone loves Hassan. He's super famous and rich. We got it. <laughs> that bit just broke out of nowhere. No, it's okay. just... I like, the thing is, Cenk himself is literally, like, far more... You can see Cenk is... Cenk is... Sorry, I always say his name wrong. Cenk is, like, more, uh, like, passionate about what he does because he doesn't get super fucking like i've never seen jenk ever like really really jealous of what hassan does ever like he's been on hassan's stream maybe he does but like he's never been like wow you know you're so much more successful than me blah 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 like he's never complained about it he's you could see at least he's passionate about what he does 
I get it. Like, no, I know. It's super salty. <laughs> I love Hoss. I'm actually really happy for him. But, like, I also reflect on my own career and feel like a massive failure sometimes. So I don't, like, and not to, that, I don't want that to make you feel bad about yourself. I don't, I'm not, I'm not able to. You think the fucking New Yorker is going to write a fucking glowing profile about me? Are you fucking kidding me? No, of course not. Of course, like, Anyway, I guess I do care a little bit about it. Oh, yeah, apparently. Like, oh, yeah. He, he, anyway. He's just, bro, look at his face. <laughs> like, he's just like, fuck. She's going off. Oh, no. How do I deal with this? <laughs> look at his face. He, the mask slipped for a second. He's just going to continue laughing. Oh, no. Anyway, like, why the fuck didn't I just play video games? Why the fuck didn't I just play video games? Maybe I'd be a fucking millionaire if I did that. God damn it. Spill my drink. Well, you did spill some tea. Let's get her some too strong coffee, okay? All right. Sorry, Craig. All right, guys. So, as you can tell, we're unfiltered and we're real. So, by the way, even though he's my nephew, no, I didn't see that. Uh, Anna keeps on top of that stuff a thousand times more than I do. Haas never, like, Haas and I text every once in a while, and we see each other at family dinners, and that's it. Stop sending me stuff about Haas, Tom Hank. Doesn't make me feel good about myself. <laughs> God damn it. I love like Haas. Shit. I love Haas's success. I, I mean, do too. I want to yeah. be successful. <laughs> Denim's is such a fucking boomer, dude, recording this. Like, you can see... She's like also on her computer. There's like the fucking like mouse there, bro. I gotta clean this up before it like causes okay. a circuit. All right, to... we're out of time. We're out of everything. Okay. <laughs> Look, media's funny, and it if it even affects us. Goddamn. Okay, man, this thing's a goddamn mess. We gotta go to Elfdire, but I, I hate saying this. I hate. Is she crying? Saying this, but. We're 20 times larger than Hassan, but since he's on Twitch and he's big there, they're like, ah, Hassan, and he's hot. <laughs> he works for himself, man. That's why. Right. Like, you, you go, oh, we got we to be a big it network, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Salt queen. Okay, anyways, apparently we got to go. The studio's a mess. I mean, yeah, his son is hot, but bro, it's <laughs> like uh, th for me as a leftist, I think it's good that his son's hot because it makes more people like want to listen to him. Okay, and he's saying good things, really good things. You know, there are very few things that I disagree with his son on. Okay, his uh, politics aligns with me in a very like it's it's very very similar. Okay. She did do a lot of good for people, but like no longer. And the thing is, Anna is very beautiful as well. Like she is. Anna's stunning. She is. Like she 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 genuinely like is incredibly beautiful. So this is why it's very annoying. Um so you know. <laughs> and this is my nephew who's built like a brick house. Ladies in LA, what where are you at? Bro, you think his son the type of guy to be like shaken, not stirred? <laughs> Back then? But as a joke? <laughs> He's got a fucking martini, dude. Like, I don't know. I just think... People, like, the, the you know what? Back to like Kendrick Lamar's, uh, 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 they're not like us. The audience is not slow, okay? Like, people can see through you, okay? There's a reason why lots of people watch us on. And Anna has been, in, like, she's basically on the right now. Uh, she's more reactionary than Jenk as well, which is insane.
And she's also known him personally for years, you know? Which is insane. Yeah. Anyway. I don't care, Cheng 2024. I'm not familiar with her work apart from her trans takes. She's had really good takes in the past. Really good takes. In fact, that whole thing about the birthing person take, um, if you go, I remember Ole, Ole like found a clip of her uh, talking about it from a year prior and she was like, no, like this is not like a, like cause she eventually was weird about like the, the birthing person. She was like, don't call me that. I'm a woman. But before she was like, no, this is just a medical distinction. Right wing people are like blowing it out of proportion. So, so she's flipped on her own takes. Okay. And it's because she's frustrated with her su own success. And, like, I get that. But, like, then you don't solve it by grifting to the right. Especially if you really care about what you're talking about. Wait, I missed the trans drama? Oh, God, I, I can't get into it right now. But it was just insane. She I thought she was fire. No, she, she was insanely based. She was. And she's completely flipped. Which sucks. I see way too many parallels between her and Bonarelli at this point. I mean, she's not nearly as bad as, as Destiny, let's be real. But yeah, it is sad. She has a habit of punishing, punching left. Now, yeah, every single time. Every single time. And what was the thing she did now? Okay, it's really, I mean, it's just like, just still like digs, throwing digs at Hassan. Look at this. And I have a specific example of someone that talking about here Nepo that babies. Has said something very similar to her. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. It can't be your nephew because uh, he has no self-awareness. But anyway, let me continue with the rest of her statement. I saw two paths when I was first... So fucking bitter, dude. I mean, on the sense that she's not happy with her success and is going right and attacking her son. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's very similar to D. 100%. This is some rent free shit right here. Yeah. I don't know, girl. Maybe you becoming reactionary is something to do with your loss of popularity. True. Like, that is way too personal, you know? Uh, that tweet doesn't exist. Uh, did you link the wrong tweet, Veggie? Doesn't exist to me. It's a natural motion, but she's not handling it right. Alec Kasparian is sending $10 super chats to right wing fucking... Streamers now? Okay, I need the bathroom. So, but let's just watch this quickly. Just to ask you a question, like that's completely irrelevant, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's like some hyper focused detail about something nobody cares about to right. just throw you into. Oh, I gotta find this thing. The the way to respond to that is just to ignore it and say, "Well, that's irrelevant." But let's move on. Mm -hmm. Uh, Anna Kasparian, thank you, Anna, for the ten dollars. Look at that. Yeah. Says uh, Anna says they engage in debates for purely selfish reasons. It's PR for themselves rather than a sincere exchange of ideas to change hearts and minds. True. True. Yes. True. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my god. She's also a mod. Oh my god. Are you sure it's really her? I mean, I'm sure they would have clicked on it to check. Was this actually her? I trust Barbarian, uh, Bar, 
Burrism critic. They don't often post reactionary shit. Like, genuinely, normally, and they don't post bait either. At first I thought it was a chat so pretending to be her, but the fact that she's modded means it's her, yeah. I mean, comparing the P- I trust that they would have looked. PFPs can change as well. Yeah, it's a different PFP, but like... Or maybe it is the same, but it's, it's, it's too small, but the thing is they would have checked. Regardless of the point, is like... <sighs> anyway, maybe it's not- maybe we shouldn't be, like, looking- well, I mean, this was three hours ago. Jesus Christ. When was the original tweet? Three hours ago. If someone wants to look into it, here's the link. I need the bathroom. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me put a northern lion. Um. Okay. This is cishet husband educates himself for Pride Month. Hopefully, there's no TOS. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Hold on. Let's go. It's ball time, and then we're gonna watch the Stonewall documentary. <laughs> Someone give it all of your bathroom. Okay, hold on. I'll be back in a second. Um, streaming is not hard. That's a given. But it's, it's kind of weird to get back in the mindset after two weeks of the opposite of streaming. What's the opposite of streaming, you might ask? Asking what we're going to get for lunch a minute after you finish breakfast and then rehearsing the phrase that you're going to say to order lunch, the three-hour interval between breakfast and lunch. So that's like very considerate communication. This is the opposite. I'm just saying like whatever pops into my head and like letting it fly, you know, full auto while also reading simultaneously at the same time. It's I, I got to get back into the I got to get back into the mindset, man. Yeah, vacation makes you acutely aware of how much work work is. OK, let's not go crazy. Um, it is mostly playing video games. Your job is probably hard. Nah, not really. I'm mostly just responding to emails. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? But that's good. I'm glad those jobs exist. I'm glad you're not working at the mud factory with your shirt off, heaving those huge pipes around, getting a couple of beers with your lads after you finish. Hey, you want to, hey, after work happy hour's over, you want to keep the party going? Sure, let me just send a text real quick. Next thing you know, it's 1 a.m. You're hopping out of the club like that uh, Balenciaga model looking for what the fuck a 1997 Toyota Sienna looks like from the Uber you just ordered. We've all been there, man. It's Pride Month. Live a little, okay? So true. <laughs> Thank you for remembering. I'm probably like the best ally in the world, to be honest with you. Any other straight motherfuckers out there, full-faced, asking their chat, hey, gay guys, do you find balls sexually attractive? No, they're too scared. I'm not scared, I'm curious. Like, because I don't. <laughs> you already did this bit? I know, but it's like, it's interesting to me. The cock I get, it has, like, maybe this is like straight brain, but I'm like, it has a an obvious function. And it, it, it undergoes a change, which as we all know from like Storytelling 101 is like the most important part of like having an impact. The balls... Ancillary, you know, they're kind of like, they're there. They do move around a little bit. But they're mostly like a little bit more like behind the scenes. It's like a stage manager versus like the play director. Mostly I'm annoyed because I've got like... My balls are kind of fucked up. Like I got a one normal size ball and then I got one that used to be huge and then I had the surgery. And now it's not huge, but it's definitely demonstrably bigger than the other one. Don't panic. It's been like that for 20 years. You got nothing to worry about. I don't have good balls. The shaft, I'll leave up to the imagination. That's neither here nor there. The important thing is I don't know what I'm doing with it. I got bad balls too. 
At least I didn't say bad. <laughs> I just, I got like the, there's a little like Forrest Whitaker type asymmetry going on, but asymmetry can be attractive in its own way, right? Tell me I'm right about that one, please. You should be balls maxing. Get it twisted. <laughs> It's so, like, by the way, I, I think this is uh, self-aggrandizing. It's so nice to still have it. Because you don't know, man. When I... Checks that crew in my messages, it was likely her. So that's the channel. Yeah, she knows them. Okay, yeah. No, okay, well, she knows them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. If she knows them, then yeah, it's them. It's her. Like, why would they have, like, a fake anarchist? But yeah, okay. Wow. Came back? The, let me just put it this way. The man who you know left, multiple times as well. Or Probably the man who came back was not the man who left. And I don't know at this point if I don't recognize the man that stepped on the plane or if I don't recognize the man that stepped off. I'm still trying to like reason that out. But the banter's still in there. And I did because it was two weeks without it. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> well, some people maybe. <laughs> oh. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've been out of the discourse for two weeks. People pop into my chat. Hey, Anel, what do you think about cishet boyfriends of bisexual baddies going to functions at Pride? And I'm like, none of these words mean anything to me. I don't know what... I'm not the guy who should be weighing in on that kind of stuff. Please tell me what you think. I'm not cool enough to ever been invited to like a pride party. I don't think people are like, he's homophobic. I think they're just like, look at him. He's not the guy you want at the, at the pride party. <laughs> Maybe if they do like a board game night or something, he'd come there and do his impression of like, you know, hey, what if Tom Hardy as Bane played Fraser Crane in the Fraser Crane reboot? Niles! I don't have a cup with me. I wish it maybe an old Coke can. Niles! You thought the Zinfandel was your ally. You merely adopted it. <clears throat> you don't want me at the at the parade. What am I gonna do? Clap? <laughs> yeah? What am I gonna do? Clap! <laughs> I wish him the best, don't get me wrong. I just, I understand why they don't invite me. I'm a boyfriend of a bi woman. Zenoda, I think we'll watch the Stonewall documentary tomorrow because we're not going to have enough time because I went live uh, much later than normal. But we'll definitely watch the Stonewall documentary tomorrow because we'll have more time then. But we've already got an hour now. Let's, let, let's just watch some NL and laugh, you know? Is this like a BYE, like, um... My wife left! My heart! Yes, yeah, Zelda today. She took the kids to a birthday party at David Buster's! Because it's expensive. Just take the money? Okay. Speaking of which, people are saying Twitch raised sub prices. I see how it is. Oh, uh, inflation is outstripping wage growth. We need to raise the uh, salaries of all workers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, not streamers, though. Not streamers. Okay, man. I mean, there is something to be said about the sub increase is like, I don't know how to feel about it because like I'm on the other side where I'm like, you know, it would be nice to make a bit more money. But like, it also is, I think Twitch prices have not increased for a long time. I think it's just bad timing, you know, it is annoying, but like they haven't, I don't think they've ever increased. You know? I'm not down for any artificial price increase. I mean... 
I don't know. Like, it is, with inflation, I think someone did the calculation, it would be $6.03. But, like, you know, it's, it's, I've been paying four nine for subs for almost 10 years. Yeah, so it's never increased. No, they increased in Turkey. Yeah, what is the natural price increase? It's all artificial. I don't know. I, I'm just saying, like, I'm on the other side. So it's just for, that's just the US. Yeah, but they're increasing. I think the main one that they're increasing is the US sub price. We the Brits have already increased for guys. I got a twenty five percent increase in like four months ago. Hmm. HBO Max just did a big price increase yesterday too. I don't know. I think it's a. Uh, it it does make things like. I think it is annoying. But it's also, it's one of those situations where it's like, I can imagine for some streamers, it's, it's like, you know, it is, it is like, helpful. Like, I think it'll make, it'll be nice for me. I'll make like, you know, a few hundred dollars, probably like an extra like $150 each month. But, you know, it's not like, um, absolutely revolutionary. It's just going to drive me to stop supporting Sension Cell, the open seals again. Netflix can fuck all the way off. I mean, like, yeah, streamer companies are different. Fuck them. Like, the, everybody's going back to piracy for that reason. You know, there was a massive drop in piracy because of Netflix and, like, all of these companies. And now, but the thing is, it doesn't work because neither of them, none of them have a monopoly. So they're doing this shit, but they, it doesn't work. People are rejecting it. <laughs> July is going to be huge for you, lol. Yeah, let's go, dude. Will people sub less to streamers due to the price increase? I think it will affect gifted subs more. You know? But the thing is with, with that is like... Twitch at the same time has allowed streamers that have like a certain amount of subs like, like get more. You know? So like, for example... Like, now at least you know that, like, you know, after next month, everything that goes to the stream in terms of just gifted and, like, T1 subs, I'll get 70% of. Which is, like, way more than you'd get on any other platform. Which is fucking sick. Apart from kick, but, like, that's kick. You know? Or, like... And, and uh, without, like, doing a Patreon or anything like that. Turbo is kind of the move. I don't know. Turbo is very expensive for South Africans, so I'm not. I won't go, go near that. But you know, it would be even better if they gave a huge percentage of that increase goes to streaming. I'd be happy if eighty cents of that of my one, well, seventy cents of it will go to would go to me like after July because I'll be getting the the seventy thirty percent split. So yeah, I mean, most streamers, most of it will be going to them. But yeah, it's frustrating. Um, Turbo is frustrating because it's not priced regionally. So it's the same everywhere. Well, it's the same, like, I have to pay US prices, which is ridiculous. Um, Turbo just goes to Twitch. Uh, no, I get Turbo money. I get, you get, like, it. it's a small amount. It's not a lot, okay? But I do get money from Turbo. But the thing is, like, <sighs> Turbo, I won't get the 50%, uh, uh the 70% split on. So that does suck. But, like, you know, it's, it's... If people prefer Turbo, if that's what works for you, it's fine. You know, as long as you're watching, it's good. Um, but yeah, Turbo in general is just like pushing Turbo is in general worse for streamers though. Um, you get the money that ad people would have watched instead, I think. Uh, it's not that much, I don't think, but yeah. So for example, each day, get, I think I get like $2 worth of Turbo. Which, you know, I don't know how many people are watching me with Turbo. Uh, <laughs> you know, so it's like, what, like $60 throughout the entire month? So I don't know how many people are watching me with Turbo, so I don't know, like, if that's a good deal or not. Whereas with ads, I'm getting, like, generally $20 from ads, uh, which is interesting. Anyway.
There aren't that many turbo used to begin with. They're growing. Fuck me, I guess. I thought we were all united, you know, in struggle, but apparently. Let's see. Yeah, I looked through this. Okay, so in the following countries, it's increasing. Hmm. Yeah, people will on sub. I also, it just sort of depends. You know? Like, I, I don't really know, like, what ramifications this will have. Apparently not. We Joker gets invited to the function. Look at, you can just tell, man. You can just tell. Just look at him. You're invited to the function. You're invited to the function. Let's be honest. This mother, that's me. He's creeping everybody out. They're like, <laughs> why are you here not having fun, but pretending to have fun? And I'm like, because I never learned how to do it any other sort of way, honestly. How much are they increasing in energy to give him the fucking inflation? He's not invited Burr. to my function either, honestly. Did you really re-roll for the bit? Okay, okay. You got me. I do have questions. And you got answers. Go ahead and ask them. I feel like a, I'm like a straight astronaut, which, as we know from Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin would probably make me one of the first. I'm going out into, like, gay space and, like, learning about it and then bringing the information back to a... To my social circles where they're like, man, why the fuck are you talking about this? We're trying to enjoy just uh, our trip to the grocery store. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm saying I have questions and I need... I need you to answer them. <laughs> it's going to be an elite bit. I don't know about that. Like, here's, here's a question I have, and I'm just being... Not, we're not, it's not about the balls anymore. That's a solved question. I'm sure it's different for every person. It's different for every partnership, etc. What's the ratio of face-to-face -face versus hitting it from the back? Same goes for straight people. I'm sure it's a different ratio depending on your, your preferences. What's the ratio? 50-50? See, that's crazy to me. And like, in a, in a curious way. Because I'm like, anatomically, I don't think I could do it face-to-face. -face. Like, does it... <laughs> I don't think I'm that <laughs> flexible. Or am I underestimating my own abilities? Pillows... Is it like a like an ankles on shoulders type of thing that changes the the I didn't know that expect that to come out of his mouth. Zion nine. No, this motherfucker will talk about no. Okay. Northern Lion is very okay with talking about sex. Okay. Northern Lion needs to do some yoga. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. See, we're learning something. Please pick a planet. <laughs> What is, why are you so intimidated by this conversation? I think it's a good question, bro. Because when I was a, like a teenager, I would have said it's 0% face-to-face and 100% back shots. Because that just seemed to make the most sense to me. But as I got older, I'm like, you know, people, you live a long life. You mix it up. I'm sure 50-50 is still, it's a surprise to me. Babysitting in Japan. Daniel, Daniel, you're just in time. Daniel Raiders, perfect timing. We were just asking the gay community what percentage of gay intercourse is face-to-face -face versus back shots. You may be surprised to find that the consensus seems to be that it's about an even split. And we didn't even get into the... Is it called cowboy in reverse cowboy? Or do you just stick with the nomenclature that, that they've been using like in the straight community forever? Like, are you like, let's switch it up and go reverse cowboy tonight? I guess that's hitting it from the back. But I'm not good at the shape rotating. So I'm like, maybe it's flipped a little bit or like inverted. <laughs> He's not good at the shape rotating.
amazing. <laughs> I'm in tears. I'm... I'm the only one asking questions that we want to know the answers to, man. Please stop. My sister's <laughs> bro is, watching. Someone in the chat said, bro is rotating dicks in his head. <laughs> Wouldn't it be way more embarrassing for your sister to be like, oh, my fucking brother is watching this dude Let's Play Balatro again. Oh, I got to dump my queens because I got ride the bus. Like, we're, this is it, man. The connection between people and the fucking insanity and the variance and the diversity in human experience, even though we're all made of the same stardust. That's what unites us, brother. Can I ask a, another question? Missionary. No, everyone is just some people saying, oh God, no. <laughs> so I'm saying no. <laughs> Most people would agree with me here. Probably considered the default straight intercourse position, which leads to it being maligned as vanilla. Is it inverted hey, Ernie. in the gay community? Are back shots like, oh, back shots again? And missionary is like, oh, like the mix or is the, is it still the default? It's personal preference. I get you're, you're saying, don't ask me what my personal preference is. Okay, so I'm not trying to like cause a problem for you or anything. Hey, I'm Gooby. just asking if you, if there was a consensus that you could glean because it's different for like, the, like I'm not trying to knock you off your high horse okay straight people could pull that card too could be like actually for some people missionary is not the default they, you'd be like shut up motherfucker it's pride month so now I'm giving you your space <laughs> there's a clip okay there's a clip for the gays he said shut up motherfucker it's pride month here we go there we go you got it there's the clip You'd be like, shut up, motherfucker. It's Pride Month. So now I'm giving you your space to talk about it and to educate me a little bit. And you're telling me, oh, it depends. No, fucking give me the magic bullet. Give me the secret answer that you're not telling people. Missionaries goaded when you want to see your partner's face. You know, it's like, it's, you're not lying, but it has the same energy as that tweet that's like, yo, water hits like crazy when you're thirsty. You're like, of course. That's what it's fucking there for, man. <laughs> like, I get it. <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong, but I'm like, you know. Yeah, Drink some obviously. water, chat. Like, food goes crazy when you're hungry. So what I'm saying is I'm probably the only honest ally. Because, like, I feel like a lot of straight people would quietly or loudly support the gay community, which is great. And then like a smaller proportion would ask these kind of questions, but I always feel like there's almost like a Louis Theroux type, like, let's see how they do it on the other side. Like, isn't that unusual? I'm coming at it because I want to know more about you. I want to know, like, because we're, we're all human beings, man. You ever been pegged? First of all, that's a fucking personal ass question. Secondly, thank you for asking me because I just. Okay, sorry for all the ad chatters watching ads. We'll wait. Ad chats and ads. You can always subscribe. Okay, it's going to go up by a dollar soon. So you can always subscribe and then you don't have to pay that extra dollar. Think about it right now. You're saving a dollar if you subscribe this month. <laughs> they can't hear you. True, true. Okay. They couldn't hear my amazing math, dude. Or better yet, yeah, use your prime. Exactly. I hear you just fine. Fuck that. Block at the router level. I hear you just fine. <laughs> I mean, it is a bad question. It could influence his opinion. Yeah, subscribe for 12 months now and save $11. Exactly. There we go. In fact, I think you save even more. You doing girl math here? Is it girl math? 
got off of two weeks of yeah subscribe now we need you <laughs> beings man you ever been pegged first of all that's a fucking personal ass question secondly thank you for asking me because i just got off i of had no weeks. idea i could subscribe for more than one month at a time oh my god orange guy Yes, you can. ...of like 7-Eleven staff being so unreasonably polite to me, which made me feel like even worse about myself. No, I want to so go back just for the ad chatters. Somebody asked him if he's ever been pegged and you need to hear it. I want to know, like, because we're, we're all human beings, man. You ever been pegged? First of all, that's a fucking personal ass question. Secondly, thank you for asking me because I just got off of two weeks of like 7-Eleven staff being so unreasonably polite to me which made me feel like even worse about myself so to have someone like really go over the top with a fucked up question you should never ask a stranger actually makes me feel like I'm at home which I really appreci appreciate <laughs> thirdly <laughs> he's like actually thank you for taking me out of my holiday bubble no but I just think like I mean I'm not that interested in the idea of it for one. And then secondly, like after I had the food poisoning incident, I just don't want to subject, you know, the woman that I love to being in that area, especially. Yeah, if he went to Japan and Korea. Never really expressed an interest in wanting to really be closer to it. So it also just for me personally, like it seems annoying to me. You could have a suction grip for tile on the back of his head and it could really hold on to it. <laughs> Good point. Man, I come in here <laughs> after a long day of streaming and people are making bald jokes. I know Oni. But Oni, like, he is just so much more, he's like balder than most balds as well, which is just like insane. Solidarity is solidarity. It's not like a ooh, gross. How do you? It wasn't. We were talking about Northern Lion, okay? Not you, Oni. You do this. It's more like a, like th it must be annoying sometimes. I would want to do like some hair maintenance back there, and it's hard to do like by yourself, because my arms aren't that long. And then like I'm sure you got to do a little prep in advance to make it safe and fun for everybody. So like I, I mean it just. Just seems like a lot of work for me to do. Bro, I've never heard Northern Lion be more like unsure of the correct words to use in any conversation, like ever. Like he has spoken about sex so many times. Holy fuck, dude, he's really trying to make sure like he doesn't lose his gay audience. Oh my God. He's just like really thinking about the correct words, dude. <laughs> What is life like on but Beach like, Island? Know. I don't know. Ask your mom. <laughs> I don't know. Her birthday's still pretty far away, but talk to me next year if she was interested in it. I don't know. For me though, I don't. I don't really see the. Uh, you're right, ectoplasm. Thank you. I don't see the appeal for me personally, but I mean, there's got to be something to it, right? People are people are doing it. Too lazy to bottom. Well, I don't know because I feel like. <laughs> I'm like way out of my depth now. In, I mean, this is these are important questions. I'm trying to interface, okay? This is a, a genuine question. L follow me from the start of the sentence to the end. In straight penis in vagina intercourse, can the woman be considered a top, or is the man always the top by virtue of being the one doing the penetrating? Because it's not because you can bottom from the top, right? <laughs> you know what I mean by that? If individual A is riding individual B, by default, I would assume that individual A, by doing the riding, is the top. But sometimes I guess you could probably be on top from a spatial orientation standpoint, but occupy the roles and responsibilities of a bottom. Oh, and you're right. Now we're in It's Always Sunny territory. 
I won't be Googling any of this because they, it used to be like, don't Google it. You might learn something that's uncomfortable. Now it's like, don't Google it. Google will tell you to drink fucking antifreeze and you'll die. I'd rather ask <laughs> real human beings who hopefully have some experience living it and then could tell it to me. And then we like, we've learned something about the world that we're in. Okay. Can we change the name to Horny Tuesday? I'm not sprung. I'm asking questions about sex. <laughs> This, that's very different than, like, horny posting. True. Like, did you notice that when I talked about straight sex, I said penis in vagina? I didn't say, like, throbbing hard cock in wet pussy. Like, there's a different... You code switch. <laughs> he's saying your horniness makes you code switch. Oh, my God, he's amazing. Depending on whether it's, like, a learning experience, like, whether you're in an educational mode or it's like you're on the job, okay? Please He's got stop. Such a you, with words, yes. You survive the coming winter. Your babies. You know that that was like a health class in the sixth grade is you walk up and pull a funny word out of a hat and then you have to like say fucking balls without laughing in front of 30 other kids your age who are all trying not to laugh while you say <clears throat> Wait, class, today we're gonna teach you that these are just words, okay? Words aren't funny. To demonstrate this, we're gonna have you do stand-up comedy saying the funniest word you're aware of while everybody in the class laughs at you. Mm. Clitoris. <laughs> no, 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 you, you guffawed. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Squirt. It's just skin, man. It fucking it's something. I don't really know what it is, honestly. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Speed, why are you suppressing your guffaw, good sir? What is it? My my mother is completely devoid. What is this? I should speed. I'm gazing <laughs> over your film right now. How come you are cackling? Speed, your manners are quite insidious. Speed, I'm looking at your film. Why are you cackling, chap? <laughs> of a house, sort of. I wish I had more questions for the gay community, but I guess I pretty much got it all figured out now. I guess, actually, I do have one more question, I suppose. In a gay marriage, who picks what you eat for dinner? Cause like in a straight marriage. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it's the most straight question that he could ask as well. Like. Try and think of like a more straight coded, like ridiculous question. <laughs> well, I guess I've never thought about it like that, yeah. It's obvious. Boom, the wife. Are you fucked in the head? Yes, but like what made you ask? Just out of curiosity. My wife doesn't always pick, we do a group decision. Fellas. <laughs> Who's gonna tell him? Oh, man. That Sounds like communism. Do. I don't know. Two is a group? That's not what I'm getting at, but there's like an element of that, I suppose. Wait, what's this? Starting today, you and your mods can use the new chat warnings feature to send anonymous warnings to chatters that are acting out of line. They'll need to acknowledge the warning before they can chat again. Oh my god, this is sick. This is amazing. This is actually great. But here's the thing, is like this is gonna not work well if people use Chatterino. Because if this only works, if this, if this only works in native chat, then... <laughs> We'll have to test it out to see uh, if it something shows up in Chatterino. 
They'll figure it out when they can't type. True. But like, for example, like, like, for example, in this chat, like, we might, we shouldn't use it for like people doing the, uh, I don't think it's be, I, it's something I probably have to activate, but, um, the thing is, like, we shouldn't use it for, like, chatters in the dolls. We should only use it, like, sparingly until it's integrated into Chatterino. You know what I mean? And I also want to know how this is going to affect other things. We'll see. This is great, though. We'll see how it works. My boyfriend always says he's down for whatever. We'll have to I test it to see. By the way, so that's how I handle it, too. But I I do think that that's probably got to be frustrating, right? Like, sometimes you're probably like, damn, why doesn't he just say, like, what he actually wants? But, like, I'm here to tell you, some dudes are just a simple kind of man. I'm always just happy to be eating. I haven't I, got me, a notification like about it yet, so I, I don't think it's color discourse. yet in my settings. Like, I don't have a favorite color until someone asks we'll me test it tomorrow. what my favorite color is. So if someone is like, hey, what are you craving for dinner tonight? I'm like, uh, nothing. I guess, like, in a literal sense, food. Like, it's a tough-ass question. If you could have any food on the planet, what would you want to have? I don't know. Something that it gets works. here quick? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's... I think that what it's happened? easy to think that someone's being deferential and disingenuous. Like, I'm sitting there like, Oh, I hope she says Indian food. I could really go for some Indian food tonight. Ask for some Amaya? reason, the hormones in my body and my endocrine system and everything is... They really want... Uh, garam masala. They do. I got a garam masala deficiency, but really, I'm just mostly like, I'm mostly chilling. I will always choose some shit that's gonna make me die young. <laughs> you know what I was craving after I got back from Japan? A salad that doesn't. Oh no! I might have killed ass. the pineapple. Am no I a pineapple? Go to your native chat. Japan. Facts. Nice. <laughs> Two. Oh, you're right. Don't add cards. Don't add cards. Thank you. Thank you. Asia does not fuck with salad. I they're they're doing it wrong. I'm sorry to say it. I'm pushing my Western ideals of salad. They're not doing it right, salad wise over there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so much corn. So much mayonnaise. It's just sometimes I can't even, man. What does North America fuck up? That's a great question. It's hard because I'm here. I'm trying to think, what would be a food that more frequently is fucked up in North America? Bread? No, see, you guys, hang on. I gotta send a message. So what's it, healthcare? Sorry, no, 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 Chatterino, Chatterino uh, doesn't have the pronouns extension. To do. I think that the, the idea that North American bread sucks is... You have to look at the native chat. A, um, I wish it did. I think it's steeped in ignorance. The bread at the grocery store that comes from like one central bakery in Wisconsin sucks ass for sure. But there's great bread like that's very easily Well, I only check native. I only check native if I like need to like see someone. You know what I mean? Like, like it would be, event it, it it would be implemented in Chatterino if Twitch implemented it. Like, then they would do it, I think. Okay. This is what it looks like. Oh. Is this from uh, Am I a Pineapple? Reason provided, love yourself more. Okay. No, it's from me. Has Am I just, maybe Am I went to the bathroom? Okay, we'll see. And it was baked by Europeans? Okay, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> I'm not fucking with Europe's bread. That's what the fuck you were doing before you got to the New World. And then we're like, oh shit, tomatoes, potatoes, like all the shit that's emblematic of European cuisine now. I'm just saying, sh show some fucking respect. The Romans had tomatoes? Listen, chat, is this real? That doesn't seem right to me pepperoni when the tomatoes I don't know where I'm, I can't even make the jokes anymore <laughs> you know when Ben Stiller meets Cameron Diaz in there's something about Mary and it plays that like why do birds suddenly appear every time we are near 
You think it's how pepperoni felt when tomato walked into the function? That's Just such like a dad me, joke. They long to be close to you. Yeah. Just chatting. You did say you were the only straight astronaut today. That's because Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were fucking and sucking each other in the lunar module. <laughs> and if I was to write a book... Freedom? Did you have to wait? Did you have to wait or something, Amaya? How long did you have to wait? And did anything show up in Chatterino? Oh, it times you up for like a minute. Okay, maybe we can we could change that probably. That's probably settings you can change. Did anything show up in Chatterino? Okay, all right. Of speculative historical fiction, it would be that Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were a gay throuple, but 1960s American society would shun them for their lifestyle choices. So the tragedy, the beauty, but also the tragedy is that the only time they actually got to live authentically to what they wanted was when they were on the moon. Fucking and sucking and jerking and I don't know. There's probably a bunch of other stuff I'd have to. I mean, that's why it takes a long time to write books. Only two <laughs> of them were on the moon. Listen, Michael Collins was on the moon. He was fucking in lunar orbit, okay? That's on the moon, as far as I'm concerned. Where else was that motherfucker? He wasn't on Earth. He wasn't on Mars. Is it harder to get a boner in space? That's a good question. Wouldn't it be easier? Unless you were... Wait, let me think about... I think if you're like... Li Wouldn't it be harder if you were... There's no question. If you're standing up, it would be easier because you're lifting less... Like, the, your, your dick weighs less. So it should get, it should be easier to get a boner. By that same logic, I think laying down on your back, easier to get a boner, because you're lifting the dick up. However, if you're in like a, like a top-down situation, like a planking pose, wouldn't it be harder? Because like, you, your dick's trying to like float away because there's no gravity. So like it gets filled with blood, which pushes it like straight down. But then space is like, give me that dick. Give me that dick. And you got to be like, no, dude. What are you talking about? There's no gravity, man. Why are you gay posting? A, it's pride. B, it's not gay to have a dick. It's sans. <laughs> You're a rich girl, and you've gone too far, cause you know it don't matter anyway. Say what? You can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. It's a bitch girl, but it's gone too far, cause you know it doesn't matter anyway. I gotta find it. You say money, money won't get you too far, get you too far. Okay, we're, I gotta find the higher octave. Just give it a second. Don't you know? So far gone on your own But you can get along if you try to be strong But you'll never be strong Oh, cause you're a rich girl And you've gone too far As you know it don't matter anyway You can rely on the old man's money You can rely on the old man's money It's a bitch girl And it's gone too far Cause you know it don't matter anyway Say money, money won't get you too far, get you too far. Okay, let's see if there are other ones. I don't want to watch a, 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 a we'll, we'll have a look, we'll have a look. Let's just see if there are any other. I, I'm, I missed the bald, okay? I really did. I really missed the bald. The Japan Korean anecdotes, okay. But that's like really long. We can watch a bit of it.
Yo, Rex Mechanica. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't. The, I wasn't waiting for that to start talking. We I demand karaoke. I the always give you karaoke. Steps involved with what has been described by some as the hardest job on the planet. You gotta go live. You we got before that. You gotta open those. Immediately goes live. Starts dunking on Hassan. Software. Before you open the software, you need to <laughs> have a, you need to download it, which requires a web browser, which requires a computer. Which requires money, which requires maybe a job, which requires skills, which requires perhaps education or nepotism if you're lucky, which requires, you know, being born in the first place. So it's a lot, a lot goes into it. It's not, uh, you know, is it only pressing like one or two buttons? Yeah, it's only pressing one or two buttons, but it took a lot to get to those one or two buttons, you know? Welcome back. How was your first Peloton, Peloton ride back from vacation? Looks like your average watts were down from your normal at 176. Bill's Mafia for life. I, I love you because you keep it real, okay? When I'm on my highest highs, you say, way to go, brother. Great job. And when I'm just moving the pedals to get it done, you're like, is everything okay? Well, <laughs> it is and it isn't. I'm, I'm extremely jet lagged right now. I, uh, I mean, I, I, so today's Tuesday. I woke up 7 a.m. on Monday, Tokyo time, which is like okay. I'm listening. I'm gonna. Evening. I'm gonna um, one, one uh, make some thank coffee you, though quickly. Thank you, chat. Manarelli, for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you, Jimbo Marshmallow as well. I appreciate. It. It's not about that though. It's not about that. Okay. Long story short, I was awake for like you know eight hours in Japan, ten hour flight. Got back to Vancouver 7 a.m. in the morning. Rode the lightning all day. Stayed awake. Mostly because my daughter slept on the plane, so she wanted to be awake when, like, she got home. Fell asleep at 8 last night. Woke up at 1 to my daughter crawling into bed with us. Woke up at 3. She was like, I'm hungry. And I'm like, of course you're hungry. This is, like, Japanese lunchtime. Fed her breakfast at 3 in the morning. She goes to sleep on the couch around, like, 4.30 or 5. I was like, I'm just... At this point, I gotta send it, man. I gotta stay awake. So I've been up for, like, six and a half hours already. Nausea is a little annoying, but uh, but happy to be back for sure. Happy to be back. He still loves us. You know the most fucked up part? I hesitate to even say this because I think it's almost too real for Twitch. After two weeks away in uh, countries where I don't really speak the language, I, uh, enough to at least say like, I don't speak the language, I'm sorry that I'm ignorant. Um, I apologize for making my ignorance your problem when you're just trying to be at work. I'm just trying to get like some spaghetti for my daughter and maybe something for myself as well while we're here. Uh, I realized that I am crazy and have been pretending that I'm sane and uh, like 100% of my self-esteem comes from being perceived as being funny online. And when you remove that from me by placing me in an environment where I can't express myself in like a, a novel and witty way, uh, the facade of, of my avatar completely falls apart and I'm like a, a worm on the sidewalk after it rains. Just, I guess, not, not really asking to be stepped on, but expecting it at any given moment, which almost breeds resentment because people in Japan especially were so nice. And I was like, you should be stepping on me. You should be, I'm, I'm in your country. I make no effort to speak the language whatsoever. Um, I order two beers and curry every single time I go to a restaurant because it's like the only thing I know how to say. And uh, I'm, I'm self-medicating. And uh, people are like, yeah, that would be awesome. We'd be happy to bring that to you. And I'm like, no, you should be like rolling your eyes and, and cursing me out to my face and blowing like cigarette smoke in my eyes or something like that. It's, you, sh you should be upset, man. You should be upset. <laughs> we love to be degraded. I just like to be treated, I think, with, with authenticity. You know, oh, and maybe, maybe the, the worm again. Japanese servers in their in their hearts, maybe they were like, I love all human beings and <laughs> is, is tourists. It, is his complaint that everyone is too nice? Yeah, that that's it, isn't it? it? Everyone's too nice. Okay, yeah. Thank you for coming to my country and my establishment and, and being a patron of this restaurant. But I kind of feel like 
I deserve to be uh, at least like treated with scorn. Maybe not open malevolence, but but scorn, perhaps. Yeah. Scorn. You'd love Boston. I'm starting to think. You know what I think is it is. I actually think that um, at some point you get cooked, and I don't mean cooked in the sense like. Isn't he from Canada? You know, burned. Like you. you yeah, but like you know, I don't think Canada is all that nice. I think that's the meme, but you know, I think Canadians can be pretty shitty to one another too. And uh, like you're you're just a waste, essentially. I think more in this in the way that like um, you know you can't alter the composition of the cake after it's been in the oven. Ten years ago, I I went to Japan for the first time and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Everybody's so nice. They're all so happy to see me. <clears throat> They're all everybody is like, my god, thank you for visiting our nation and gracing us with your presence. And I was like, this is the way that it should be in North America. And now, uh, 10 years later, after living in Vancouver for so long, I'm like, no, I need people to be a little ruder to me. I need, and admittedly, this is just customer service interactions, but I need the customer service interactions to be like short and, and curt. I need to like drop a Pocari sweat on the counter and go like, uh, and then the guy at the counter goes like, uh, and then he points to the <laughs> register and I give him that much money. And then he goes, uh, and I go, uh, I need that. Instead, every time I, I felt like I was buying something in Japan because my mind was so twisted, I felt like I was being mocked. Uh. I'm like, why does it take me three minutes to buy a Pocari sweat? It's because the, the Japanese culture and language is steeped in like, you know, welcome to our store. We're so happy to see you. Is this the only thing you'll be having today? Are you sure this is what you want? And I'm like, yeah, I'll just take the Pocari sweat, please. And they're like, is it okay that it's 230 yen? And I'm like, that's fine. And then they pass me like a little tray and I put the money on the tray. I put exactly 230 yen on the tray and I give it to them and they go, are you sure this is the money you want to give us? And I go, I'm sure it's the money I want to give you. And then they go like, thank you so much for the money that you've given me. And I'm like, I'm, you're welcome so much for the money that I've given you. Like we're adding a whole lot of <laughs> rigmarole into this Picari sweat purchase. And I, I think that I, I mean, I think I suffered like a little bit of a, of a mental breakdown, but I got out of it. I think. Bro, uh, <laughs> this is like the inverse. But you know what it, it's like? It's like the meme of like, okay, you know, young man goes to Japan, like his whole world opens up for him. He realizes how life can actually be. And I'm not just talking about weep shit. I'm talking about like, you know, healthcare and things just working the way they are. And, you know, this man from poor in his America and trains. It, the, he's doing the inverse. He's, he, he's going to Japan and it's giving him a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to Japan and he's immediately like like <laughs> he's like fuck this take me back to to the land of Canucks dude I don't know <laughs> it feels good to be to be speaking English this is all to say that like um how old is the bald? He's the same age as Hassan, I'm pretty sure. Like a year old, he's 34. I think that I, I realized while I was away that like, as much as I get annoyed with Twitch chat, Hi, Yubi. this is like, you're, you're stuck with me. It's like Batman and the Joker. We're stuck with each other. We're destined to go around. I think we could do this forever. I need your social interaction to feel normal and maybe some of you need me talking so that you can also have like a, a bastion of normalcy in oh your my life god he's well. parasocial with his chat holy fuck dude he's got the hassan virus it may be it may be twisted but it's it's honest for sure or maybe you're just here to be entertained which is great as well but yeah, I basically, I left and went crazy and was like, oh, I, I need, I need a little bit of rudeness in my life. So I, I was at <clears throat> Hello Kitty World, Sanrio Puro Land. And I want to just be clear, everybody in Japan was. <laughs> he looks so uncomfortable. He's like, I'm only here for my wife and daughter.
But you know what? Even though he's the, he's like looks like uncomfortable, you know he is like the best fucking dad and wife in this environment, okay? <laughs> he's the Hello Kitty land, dude. Come on. Super nice. Everybody in Korea was nice. The, the we we didn't have any like bad experiences on the trip or anything like that. Oh, wife. No, I'm in husband. But my brain got so warped by like some of the experiences Sorry, it's that Pride I was Month. in I got that confused. I became like a, a Dostoevsky a man -wife, character yeah. in a novel or something like that. Like I, I was starting to lose my mind. I, I became misanthropic. We went to Sanrio Puro Land, aka Hello Kitty World, to because we have a, a three-year-old kid who likes Karomi and Hello Kitty and my melody and cinema role and stuff like that and uh and while being there i think that i had the opposite of like a psychedelic experience you know how <laughs> what a way to describe it the opposite of a psychedelic experience <laughs> yeah his world <laughs> shrank <laughs> People say like when you do acid, which I've never done, uh, you can experience ego death, where you realize that what you thought was yourself is actually just one light in a, a cosmic collective consciousness, uh, where you know you and the the flowers on the ground and the trees in the forest and the fish in the sea and all of all of God's other creatures are all interwoven in this tapestry together both both made of the same stuff and uh, affecting each other and they're affecting you i had the exact opposite thing where being at that theme park for like six hours gave me ego birth and i was like you are all fake i am the only real person here i i have to be the only person in this establishment with any kind of internality and i wanted Bro, come on. again just because it's <laughs> on this platform you got to be on the nose the problem was up here. It wasn't the people around me. I'm at Hello Kitty World. Okay, so what do I expect? But I, I was losing my mind. Like when there were people there with kids and they were taking photos with like the mascots and stuff like that. I was like, that makes sense. You're here for your kids. I was giving them the look and I was saying like, we're, we're biting the curb together on this one, right? But the predominant customer was like two people in their 20s on like a date. And I was lining up you know, to take my picture with Pom Pom Perrine, which isn't even a person in a costume. It's just like a, a, a plastic statue of Pom Pom Perrine. And I'm behind like seven people that brought like- Bro, he literally is doing like anti-child advertising right now. <laughs> this is like the most anti-natalist like you could ever be. <laughs> just tell someone of this experience, okay? Like a, a, a plush toy that isn't pom pom perin and then they don't even like take the photo with the statue they just put the plushie on the statue and then they take like 12 photos and then i watch them like edit it on their phone and post it to social media like wh while we're in the next line and i was like what the fuck are we doing man <laughs> wait like i'm i was because i don't know if I, it was some batman villain i'm not sure if it was the joker or the riddler Bane, Clayface, or the one that's a fucking crocodile in jorts or whatever. But I was like, this is, this is crazy. And like, Kate was using this vending machine where you like put in a couple of bucks and then you spin a little crank and fake popcorn bubbles up. It goes like. And then after 30 seconds, popcorn pops out the bottom and you eat it. So Kate was spinning the, the popcorn and it was doing that. And then a middle-aged Japanese man like walked behind me and he observed the whole process. And he uh, just uttered under his breath, he went, Sugoi. And then he like nodded and walked away. And I was like, I cannot, I can't be here right now. I don't know what I need, but it's, it's, it's not this. And for context also, like did, I think precipitating my mental breakdown, we're going through like a, some health crises in my family right now that has me rethinking like the meaning of life and mortality and like 
What do I want out of my life? Like, what would a good life have? <laughs> this is a fever dream, bro. <laughs> With the Balladro music in the background as well. This is how you die, okay? <laughs> it's just Balladro on a loop in the background. It's just the intro Balladro music. And Northern Lion's just describing, like, like his ego birth in the Japanese Hello Kitty theme per park, dude. <laughs> Looked like if I was looking back on it. So I was on like this, this search for meaning. And in the meantime, I was in what I can only describe as like the most opposite version of that place that I've ever been to in my entire life. After like two weeks of parenting in a country where I don't speak the language and my kid is like throwing temper tantrums and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I can really only go to the convenience store. <laughs> we can walk outside and I can go to the convenience store. And then like people are pushing past me to look at like a plate with my Melody's face on it. And they're like 30 years old and they're like not even buying the plate. They're just taking a picture of themselves next to the plate. And like not, I, not buying the plate, not taking a picture of the plate, taking a picture of themselves next to the plate. And I was like, I, in a way I'm, I'm I mean, I'm getting too much out of this theme park that was essentially just like go and take cute photos with characters you've seen on TV but yeah and then like um I, I brought it back I think I feel better now I feel better after I've exercised who's your favorite Sanrio character I mean I gotta that's the worst part of all I gotta say is probably Gude Tama um and it seems like they're trying they're like phasing out uh Gude Tama the worst part of the, of the whole thing is that there, there was like one little Gudetama corner and then they're pushing like all these other Extra Northern Lion theme park librarian clip. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. characters that I have like no real interest in to be honest with you Pachaco he's, he's popping off yeah one thing I won't miss about your vacation is seeing your torso on Twitter I appreciate that <laughs> listen we had fun we, we had fun outwardly inwardly sometimes I was plumbing the depths of my soul but I was also like you know I think it was the, the good kind of like introspection. In a way, I needed like two weeks away to not be focused on surface level. Did you see this stuff on Twitter? Did, did you, exactly, did you see Chitan, Japan's crazy mascot who's trying to kill uh, all advertising and stuff like that? I, it, in a way, it was almost like a, a, a sabbatical from vanity and an opportunity to, to be um, introspective because I was like surrounded by tens of thousands of people at every single place that I went in my entire life or in my, on my entire trip. And at the same time, I was like, I can't speak with them. So all I could do is talk to myself. It was, yes. And, I mean, and trust me, the, the cycle that goes around, I'm sure a lot of you can relate to it as well, is like comical. I was like misanthropic at Disney World. I was like watching middle-aged people like line up to take a picture of a dude in a in a bunny costume and then I'm like why are they doing this and they're like it's not just a bunny the bunny was in a movie and I'm like which one and people are like I don't know fucking one of the old ones probably we yeah, dude you but then the the thing that then comes in second is that I'm like what kind of fucking idiot is like going to Disney World and then like being sad but then I was also like what kind of adult is like going to Disney World and they're like, oh shit, get out of my way. There's like a spoon that looks like Mickey Mouse. Like, and then I'm like, but that's what they're there for. That's Disney World, bro. Like to get red around the Caesar, that which is Caesar and render on the Mickey, that which is Mickey's. And then it's like self-pitying. I'm like, we're all in this together. And I'm like, we're all angels. And then the next day I'm like, we're all bugs. And then I'm like, yeah, but I'm the best bug. And then I'm like, no, you're the worst bug because you're the ant who thinks that he's the king of the ants. You're the you're the ant who thinks like man all these other ants are so stupid. Bro, but you, you, I've never seen Northern Lion more distressed than this ever. 
<laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> Bro, I hope he comes out of this being like, no, capitalism is the problem. Meanwhile, when you get hungry, you're still raiding the picnic basket just like everybody else. I also, I met a, a, a fellow Twitch streamer. You may know Alex, or also known as twitch.tv slash Alex. We met up, we had some katsu curry. I think like uh, it it also briefly like saved my life. So we went to we went to three aquariums, all right? My kid three. loves fish. First aquarium was in Korea. I was like, wow, cool fish. Second aquarium was when I was deep in the guts of introspection. The day after Sanrio Puro Land broke my brain while I'm going through this like personal family stuff. And I was like, brother, these fish are my, these fish are me. They built, the, the fish are trapped in these beautiful, ornate sceneries that give them enough, like, fulfillment and distraction so they don't notice that they're fucking trapped. And I was like, sound familiar? That's human beings. I'm watching people <laughs> walk... Oh, my God. ...over to the fish, not even look at the fish, just pose, get the hair right, take my photo next to this fish. Don't take a photo of the fish, okay? And see nature's beauty that evolved over 10 million years. Billions of years. We're starting with the, uh, the first prokaryotic organisms, right? I've made a fish that's got eyes bulging out of his head. Don't even fucking look at it, man. Don't look at the fish. Look at, And don't take a picture of me looking at the fish, which d doesn't capture the nature of beauty, but might capture the emotion of curiosity, me learning about the world around me. Instead, can you take a photo of me standing next to the fish so people know that I was at the aquarium? I was, they can fill in the blanks that I was looking at the fish and appreciating it, but mostly it's like, check out my cute outfit. So I was losing my mind. And I was like, we're the fish. They built this beautiful box. They put incredible scenery in it. So we don't realize we're being observed by the CCTV cameras in the corner, right? Not to mention the photos everybody's taken of each other. <laughs> of which oh my God. Oh my God. Bro. <laughs> I'm inevitably in the reflection of the aquarium going like like some kind of fucking moron and then had lunch with Alex had some social interaction felt heard for the first time in like a week and a half we went to an aquarium and I said oh cool fish <laughs> wow what an amazing <laughs> creature he's on a <laughs> he's on a loop, dude and not, not at a single point was I like, these, these fish are me. I'm the fish. I was just like, wow, dolphins can jump really fucking high. What I'm trying to say is that I think depression is bad, but it's also like a huge buff to internality. I was coming up with deep thoughts, the likes of which I haven't been able to scrape for like several years. Unfortunately, that's off the table because I exercise today, so all my problems are solved. Are you coming out as a fish? I'm just saying that the... <clears throat> I was losing it. <laughs> and again, can I just to add this? Because when it inevitably gets taken out of context, people are going to be like, this guy sounds like an asshole. I was being the asshole. They're just fun people. Going to the aquarium, taking a picture of the aquarium, going like this. And I'm in the corner like... But humanity is a disease. Like, I'm like, a, I'm the fucking... <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If you want to have those thoughts, you should just stay at home in bed. Yeah, no, no, no. I couldn't yap in Japan and lost it, dude. This is what would happen to Hassan if he couldn't stream. Like, if Hassan went overseas and couldn't stream for two weeks, this is what would happen, okay? This is exactly the same thing. Because I was on vacation, I'm like, I got to go outside. Then when I was outside, I was like, ugh. People documenting their lives. I, at no point was I like... I'm the only person thinking straight. There were some times where I was like, I'm the only person here not in love with Hello Kitty, but I mean, again, what do you expect when you're at Hello Kitty land? 
Evil Anthony Bourdain was a great way to put it. Eaten Kuromi curry in the Hello Kitty amusement park food court and turning into some sort of evil Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> What the fuck are they doing with the food at Disney World, man? I get like every single place we ate at in Disney World, and some of the food tasted good, but you'd go to a restaurant and it would be called like, you know, New York Deli. And then you look at the menu and it's like, we're bringing back American classics, corn sandwich and trout pizza. And you're like, corn sandwich? Trout pizza? Sounds good as fuck. I mean, some of it was okay. I just felt like, um, again, it's, what do you expect at, at Disneyland, okay? But like, I'm eating at an Italian restaurant in fucking Mediterranean villa, a fake European set in Japanese Disney World. And I'm like, what's on the menu? They're like, you're not gonna believe this. We got something called long pizza. I get a long pizza. What is it? It's a baguette with like tomato sauce on it. I was like, this ain't long pizza, bro. It's a damn, like, open face marinara sandwich. Also, like, again, and uh, I had a great time. I loved riding the roller coasters. I loved seeing the look on my daughter's face when she was riding her first roller coasters. She rode Space Mountain. Well, like, let's back it up. She rode Splash Mountain. I was worried that she was going to be terrified because the shit has a five story drop, right? She's three years old. It's at an angle. Like, we finished the ride, and she was like, that was really fun. I was like, oh, shit. Awesome. She rode S Space Mountain. I was like, how was that one? She said it hurt a lot. I was like, damn. That, she's absolutely right. That motherfucker do be rattling you. I'm, I weigh, like, 180 pounds. She weighs, like, 40 pounds. She must have been smashing her head off the fucking sides. <laughs> that shit, it rocks you, man. Did she like it? No, she said Space Mountain was not that fun, but she did enjoy Splash Mountain a lot. I was surprised you could go on these roller coasters at age three, but she was chilling. Can I also say Japan kind of based for like, um, their version of It's a Small World doesn't even include North America. <laughs> like the only part they have that has North America is that like the, the very end of the ride, like a cowboy and a Native American are like standing next to each other. But like, there's no other, there's no Canada, there's no Mexico, there's no US. This is a little weird. Well, and fucking, the one in Disneyland, if I remember correctly, the cowboy and the Native American are holding hands, which is way crazier to me. The one in Orlando and the one at Tokyo Disneyland, at least they were just like, here's like two elements of like North American history. The one in California, I was like, that's not how that shit went down, motherfucker. Also, old man's past intro. Like a... Okay, is the old man live? This is so good. We've got to continue it tomorrow. Holy fuck, that was good, dude. Okay, but it's time for Zelda. Oh my god, I, I that was great. Fuck, I, I, we went through so many emotions. I love that dude. He's so fucking funny. You want to know something? Are you going to call me stinky, Yubi? You're not stinky? Sick. Yeah, it's himbo time and Zelda time, okay? You see? Like, what the hell? What the hell? That's crazy. Um, anyone else up in Egghead? No. No one else. Don't ask questions in the chat. Okay. Don't ask because it's shout. Why not? Oh, yeah, we're at one point six problem? million as of now on the Palestinian charities. Pre Why not? Palestine. Let me ask questions. Um, 
Okay, I Montana found another stable. Babies? What? I'll turn Hasana. Yo, by the way, there's a project similar to One Pace. You can finish to use one. Uh, you can use it to finish one. It was called Onigashima Pace. Nah, that's fine. I'm uh, I'm already back on regular One Piece. I'm watching One Piece. Um. Is that 1.6 million just from your broadcast or combined? No, it's combined. Anyway, um, what the hell was I saying? Uh, personal news, personal news. Oh, went to bed early, woke up in the middle of the night because I had an insane dream, chat. Insane dream. I don't know what it is, but I, I had a dream where I was like, there was a dude in my house. And he was going to torture me. It was a nightmare. Maybe not so much a dream. And he wanted to he wanted to torture me by putting a rat inside of like a funnel and putting it on my ear and then lighting the rat like a little bit. So that the rat would like try to escape into my brain. Right? Like that was the type of torture that it was the rat was I mean, the dude was trying to do. And I noticed that like um that's a that is a real type of torture, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Anyway. Um actual medieval torture yeah so i don't have so any met anything metallic on me uh, even. i noticed it he he came to me as though he was an ally but i realized that he's like uh not an ally and then i noticed that he had a knife stuck on his back he had a knife stuck okay. on his back like a little one of those like little steak knives that you have that is like kind of ripply like smaller Okay, I remember it. So okay, lightning so weren't hit vividly, twice in the same place, it was a right? Really it's crazy fine. Dream. So I, I pushed him into the wall to like stab him further with the knife that was already stuck on his back. Yeah, it was serrated. Uh and then I turned him around, I took the fucking knife out, and I just started stabbing him. I've never actually I've never actually like killed someone or or, or had any kind of dream like that. But he had a before. dream that he killed someone in my entire life. It was crazy. We were like fighting. And I'm just like literally stabbing him and like cutting him open. And I saw like I was literally seeing all of that. Okay. If you kill in your dream, you kill for real. Well, here's where it gets even weirder. Okay. So I'm fucking stabbing the shit out of this dude. I think he's dead. I get up. Okay. And first thing I do is I'm like, oh, I don't want Kai to see this. So I take Kaya out on a walk. Okay. So I take Kaya outside on a walk. And then immediately I call, uh, immediately I call 911. I'm like, yo, someone, you know, there was a home invasion. Uh, and, and, you know, I had to defend myself. I think he's dead. Blah, blah, blah. And then I come back home after like five minutes and the body is gone. And I just woke up at that moment thinking like, oh shit, either oh. his friends came and picked him up or he didn't die. So oh. I don't know what that means. I don't know what's going on. I can't like think of anyone. Uh, I can't think of anyone being like, uh, like I can't think of a world where this would be relevant for people saying, oh, you called the cops, like typical C word. Yes. The reason why I called wasn't because I wanted them to defend me, dumbass. It was so that I don't go to jail. Like, even in my dream, in that moment, I was, uh, like, thinking, like, oh, I have to, like, immediately explain what happened here so that I don't go to fucking uh, jail. Oh. Dreaming about killing a person is about repressed anger or the desire to be free from some problem. It does not signify victory, but rather a struggle. Your desire to be freed from the influence of or pain of a person or problem. Huh. I... Oh. Kind of your content coded, to be honest, but Ayo, much fucking scary when it's mushing together and invading your dreams. What? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was about. It's just a thing that I, uh, a nightmare that I have. 
I woke up uh, in a panic, in a state of panic. You know? I woke up in a state of panic and I was like, shit, that's crazy. What the fuck? And then basically, basically the panic turned into like more so a panic about like, oh, thank God it was a dream. While also simultaneously, I was thinking like, wait, why did I start dreaming like this? What the fuck does it mean? Most extra ways to light so a fire. Switched over to like, why the hell am I dreaming shit like this? Let me light the fire. <laughs> did you eat cheese yesterday? I swear cheese leads to messed up dreams. No. Um, my entire office had bad dreams last night. It's fucking weird. Wait, what? You guys talk to each other about bad dreams? Kurshun döktürelim abi. Oh my god, my mom used to do that shit to me when I was younger. Terrifying. Oh, I've got some shines to do. I saved them all <laughs> for you guys. Anyway, um, that's it. We noticed the trend that after we all had bad dreams, people kept saying me too. So, um, but yeah, in any case, I woke up early, bright and early, went out, worked out, got my lifts in, you know what I'm saying? Got a little brolic and, um, that's it. I just got a little brolic, came back showered and i'm here did a little bit of reading a little bit of writing trying to schedule shit you know how it is <clears throat> when i was going through a lot of big changes in my life i had a lot of nightmares about death it's probably just a product of stress and anxiety in your life yeah the liberal order had us stumbling in the dark to protect itself do you eat before a workout no i work out fasted i'm still fasted until like around three as you guys know and then i eat my first i break my fast in the middle of the day on stream um no i did not have melatonin before uh, bed Okay. What's your take on creatine? I love creatine. Creatine is my favorite thing on the planet. It Why is do I only have one diamond? I should have it two. It's the greatest invention. It's not even an invention. It's just like exists in fucking red meat and shit. But like, I'm, I am so glad that it exists. Well, I love it. It is. I the guess best. I don't have it um, now. I don't understand why people can hate on creatine. It is unironically one of the best most effective supplements of all time objectively good helps with your brain helps with your fucking muscles it literally is not pre-workout for those of you who are asking creatine oh, there's is two not doggers. caffeine no creatine is something that exists in red meat okay and other meats as well creatine is literally the best thing it is probably one of the only proven to work workout supplements of all time. I've been using it. Uh, if you notice that like my, if you notice that my, my uh, body, my musculature has tr started changing dramatically. Um, it is because uh, I, ever since I started taking twins? creatine again, Aww. I kicked my shit into high gear. Do A they, do I get double the treasure? Not to use it. I don't know. My doctor said creatine is bad for you. Wait, what? Creatine happens to no. be one of the most studied, pre, uh, like most studied supplements of all time. It is straight up one of the most studied supplements of all time. It's just something that exists in nature. Oh, it's not go. like you're uh, putting chemicals in your body or anything like that. You're literally just getting it from meat but this time you're gonna get directly without having to consume copious amounts of red meat 
which would be bad for you if you did that. I'll actually take this. Rake. Are you using HCI or monohydrate? I have no idea what any of those things are. You're talking to a person whose pre-workout is literally a shot of espresso. Sometimes if I'm in the mood, if I'm freaky with it, to Advil. Alongside a shot of espresso. I take creatine pills. Okay, I'm going to go down here. I'll be back in a second chat. Um, I take... Oh, HCI or monohydrate? Oh, 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 it's the creatine. Okay, yeah, no, anyway. you're right. Mono, uh, I guess. Oh, just giving a I yawn. Guess, uh, what do I have? Get, um, what the it's just the, the pills. Bathroom. It's the green bottle of pills. It's the classic. Sports medicine is my other hyperfixation in politics. You are absolutely correct on it. There are even implications for long-term cardiovascular health from it. Actually, his doctor might just be concerned about their kidneys, which can matter if they have too much protein in their diet. Yeah, I guess like, I guess there might be some side effects. Uh, hopefully, that doesn't happen to me. Um, if you uh, have kidney issues, sure. But they overall, my shit, people and help my shit is so good, dude. Oh, of I love creatine. I will United forever States. ride for creatine. How do you prevent water weight from creatine? Uh, water weight gain from creatine usage, bro. The water, the water weight is fine. The creatine puts the water directly into your muscles. Okay, makes your muscles all fucking bulbous. Okay, like Bulbasaur. That's not a bad thing. Just drink water. Drink a lot of it. Water is good for you. Water is life. Huh. <clears throat> Where did this creatine conversation start? Homeboys can I like. I do not know. Because I actually unironically ran out of my creatine pills this morning. So I didn't take my creatine pills this morning. I'm waiting for Amazon to deliver my creatine pills this morning. Um, so... <clears throat> I'm literally, I, I was going to, I was going to take the fucking powder. I was going to take the powder uh, earlier. I don't like the powder. The reason why I don't like the powder is because I have to like put it into something and then I have too much. My protein shakes are all, uh, you know, fair life elite core or fair life 26 uh, gram, like regular fair life. If I'm feeling uh, kind of wild with it, I, I go with the elite. So for me, it's like, it's not a fucking hashtag ad. They're owned by the Coca-Cola Corporation. They will not do an ad with me. Trust me. I literally asked my manager to be like, yo, you should hit up the Fairlife people because I fucking love that shit. At least they should give it to me for free. Fairlife has microplastics. I don't care. I heard. I heard. Fair life is hella. Fair life is out of uh, out of control with his microplastics. I'm like, give me that shit directly. Put it in my ball sack. It tastes too good. It tastes too fucking good. Um, no, no, no. The 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 amount of the amount of fair life microplastics is out of control. From what I understand, it's not even like a like a oh, there's uh, microplastics in everything. It just is in the the core. Fairlife's core power high protein chocolate milkshake product has among the okay. highest levels of All right, I'm back. Fat Fatalate. Fatalate. Fat Out of any product that tested. Fatalates are a plasticizer, a chemical used to make plastic more flexible and durable and have been linked to a long list of health concerns even at very low levels. For all saying everything has microplastics, flair, uh, yeah, Fair Life definitely does have more than a lot of other uh, brands for sure, like an out of control amount. Um, I'll be honest with you though, that shit is so dank. It tastes so goddamn good. He's like, no, no, no I'll, I'll have all the microplastics. Oh. I don't care if I have microplastics in my body. You know what else is in there? Love, joy, kindness. They will take care of the microplastics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use protein powder? No. And the only reason why are you targeting 22 year old women? What? Targeting? What do you mean what targeting? I feel like I feel like that's, that's a, mud. Oh shit. That's a, that's I will a drown. Chatter who's saying that? I'm watching your new video. That's a chatter who's saying that specifically to be like 
Oh, there's Tim Pool. There's a Tim Pool quote. Oh. I'm targeting your mom, Chatter. Um. Yeah, we haven't even blasted off yet, and people are already chirping at me. Cameron Brink, my goat. <sighs> What the fuck is her deal with you? Drama alert. TYT cooks Hassan. Bro, this shit is uh this but shit is like 300 likes. Don't sing. Like I don't understand why you guys uh elevate my fucking weirdo haters. Listen, I don't care, okay? I Anna Kasparian is family to me. I've known her for 20 fucking years. I don't care what she's saying. I hope they're doing all right over there. It's ridiculous that people are trying to make drama out of this shit. We have our son is so nice, dude. I've known this person for I am an engineer fucking years, bro. It's crazy. Okay, it's crazy. I wish him well. We have our political disagreements from time to time. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter to me at all. Um, I, this is not even about my uncle, obviously, who I love. Uh, that is my family. I'm not going to, you know, I'm always going to love him. Uh, and and with Anna once again, she is like family. I've known her for 20 years. Okay No, me since I was a baby not a baby, but like, you know 12 years old so Doesn't matter uh, Well I wish TYT the very best I wish Anna the very best uh, I hope they're doing all right. I think they're doing all right. I don't know, but who cares? Who cares what she said? The yeah, moment Adam on stream when? She had a snappy so comment. So true. Who gives a shit? Also, um, <laughs> I oh, then. do acknowledge my privilege and also my nepo baby status, which is ironically what Jank was trying to bring up in that conversation before Anna shut him down. So <laughs> that's it. That's all. The, that's ridiculous. People are just fucking using like a one second uh moment well a one she's very bitter moment from anna is like uh trying to elevate the drama yeah it's very 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 silly i mean i spoke about anyway. it too Ziggy, but i did not post on twitter about it okay um Yes, I did cover it Let's, briefly. Uh, Combat train archery. About? So, you know. Oh. Uh, Hello, I drama. <laughs> <And> <laughs> so, we'll yeah, well, that wasn't actually because of the Anna stuff. I feel like I've just been... But I covered it briefly. She's just very bitter. Yeah. Um, is, and I think I'd have funny, more respect for it if she didn't grift to the, the right. Drama, yeah. But it's just not real drama at all. It's like so obviously fucking manufactured. You know who's never acknowledged their nepotism? This beautiful lady who doesn't need to acknowledge her nepotism because she deserves the world. Study your aim and fire at your enemy's head. Okay. Why, whenever anyone on the internet mentions you people okay. have to turn into drama? You people? Bro, it, it ain't my... Trust me. Drama alert is okay. not my people, okay? It, there is a very specific community and their orbiters that are dedicated to, like, any mention of me turning into, like, a much larger issue. But that's it. Um... Like TYT played a big role in my development. TYT is uh, is fire true, strong the heads. Okay, I've routinely acknowledged has played a formative role in my development in my career. Here, it's ridiculous that anyone would ever fucking suggest otherwise. I would never suggest otherwise either. I have always okay. given them fucking props. So I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. Having a girl dog is woke DEI. Hell yeah, baby. Drama is profitable chatter. People love that content. Even people in this community who should know better the to who should know better love that shit let's move on instead yeah i mean but i don't know how else people would be able to do drama 
when uh you know it's me basically saying like there's no drama it's fucking ridiculous like, oh you didn't change your game path three three okay fine yes Fan you're right is popping off Hassan, are you gay no we gay saw this last no. night okay Hassan, since you're straight you're an ally probably right no Hyrule hashtag drama. There we go. Yeah, good. Pretty good. Wait, okay. Hyrule hashtag drama. There we go. Um. Wait, do I want that? Second last yeah. day of college. Ooh, okay. Interesting, Froggy Beep. I Hope heard you, you enjoy it. Self awareness. Okay, shut the fuck up. That's what I mean, bro. This is like, honestly, honestly. Y'all are cringe and fucking annoying for doing that. Okay, you're like a 40 month subscriber, being like, I heard you lack self awareness. Like, I know you're, you're just like memeing and shit. I know you're just fucking memeing and shit, but it's like, come on, like, uh, come on, dude, stop instigating. Like, what the fuck do you want? You want to fucking farm Reddit karma? Is that what you want? Anyway, I don't even know if it's just like a joke, quote unquote, or if you're just like desperately trying to farm more karma or make it. Into I have Nachi's chat. Not. They're the best. But like, it Nachi's will turn are into like Satsumas, but I bought a whole bunch of Nachi's and I love them. My favorite fruit. Um, what were we gonna say about protein powder earlier? Yeah, oh my I mean, God, it's got a lot sometimes of. Sometimes when you peel them, life, you do uh, get so some use on your own residue in uh, your eye, and it does hurt, with... but it's okay. I mean, it's just something to be you know, worried about probably but i don't give a shit because it tastes so goddamn good it's like too good to be true it's one of those things in any case um uh God, finding a problem is so fucking stressful i hate this Oh God! I haven't even blasted off yet. Let's do it. Uh, let's go get. They lost a class action lawsuit for falsely claiming the cows are humanely treated. I don't know why they claim that. We know that they are like extra ruthless to their fucking cows, but like I think the extra ruthlessness to their cows makes it so that you can have this hyper filtered uh, milk. Is Hassan's gains from roids are all natural? Fuck yeah! I love this shit. Anyone who's actually ever taken steroids will obviously look to this and laugh at you. Uh, anyone who's even remotely knowledgeable in gym culture will look at you and laugh at you for saying that. But the fact that like normies think I'm taking steroids is fucking awesome. Oh, chat. I need to, okay. Great. Chat, not, yes, not yesterday, but the day before, because I didn't play much yesterday. I think I just went around finding shrines. Oh yeah, chat. This is the thing, and you need to understand this. It blows my mind. There's this monster that's made of gloom in this game and you fucking can't run away from it no matter how hard you try and it literally kills you and i don't know what to do anyway i'm just saying we'll come across it once but it fucking sucks dude it's like it's like eyeballs and gloom and shit anyway we'll come across it but jesus christ I w you can't even run away from it it sucks yeah yeah like hands and eyeballs yeah fuck dude and it just like randomly appears It's so scary, it's terrifying the first few times. Yeah, you can run. I tried to run. Anyway. I'm doing it. I'm doing it live. Fuck it. We're doing it live. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Let's blast off. Okay, we're going to get a heart container. Because I'm alternating. Wait, did I? <clears throat> okay, here it is. Um, oh, shit. Here we go again. Yeah. Everyone's mad at... Brandon for his right wing immigration exec order. Befriend and betray it. <laughs> it will cause a lot of damage. Has <laughs> Israel's bot farm. True. Portraying themselves. Oh yeah, I saw that true and on thing. I saw that true and on thing. 
This is also what I was talking about. Remember when I warned people like you get Israelis or Israeli bot farms that will like portray themselves as leftists and it's all bait. It's sometimes it's not even Nazi shit, dude. You know? Okay, that's a sick shirt. Um <clears throat> Did you stop playing The Walking Dead? Yeah, I did. It's called finishing the game in its entirety. It's also literally uploaded onto my gaming channel. Thoughts on Modi winning re-election in India last night? No, no more Indian politics. We did it for like three hours yesterday. Okay, we're done. <laughs> He's, he's like, fuck no. Stop it. Yeah, isn't it pretending to be anarchist? Yeah, awesome. uh, Julian Castro was popping off. Uh, no, on no more Indian politics. Shit, uh, in, in the most goat like way possible. Ihan Omar was popping off. Uh, everyone's mad at Brandon for his right wing immigration exec order. Israel's bot farm portraying themselves. As leftist exposed. Uh, what else? Oh, Brandon at D-Day. Talk about that. Wait, where the frick is my... Did you watch the new CoffeeZilla video? Your buddy's in it? Who's my buddy? That's in a CoffeeZilla video. I when people say that it's like I don't know as an outsider does anyone hate their community more than you I don't blame you to be honest what I don't hate my community I love my I love my community what the fuck if I hated my community I wouldn't be fucking oh, is it just 24 7 round the clock streaming why right do now. people why do people think uh why do people think i think maybe people think i hate my community because i yell at people all the time in here that's what it is i don't know do you think brandon actually thinks ukraine is a success or do you think he's just letting uh are people telling him that um okay like, what does it do Um, Graham Stevens is about an online bank that froze people's monies that YouTuber, uh, that YouTubers push. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Platform I mean, is marijuana, people, not true. that I yell at that are in this community. <coughs> um, like long-term community members sometimes because I have like higher expectations for them and they'll get like really rad libby and like very annoying and, and make this community look cringe to the outside world and stuff but like other than oh, that they just float. when i'm yelling at okay. somebody it's usually someone that's not in the community so yeah I'm not going to do the coffee Zilla Graham uh, Stevens video right now. Um, it's crazy. Get Bayless on Kyrie Irving. He says inch for inch. Kyrie's the most gifted player I've ever seen. It's true. Inch for inch is a little pause, a uh, little sus, a little zesty of him to say that. But I mean, it's pride month, right? So. Oh, I need to turn it on. Don't matter, Celtics in six. You wish. Everyone's mad at Brandon for his right wing immigration exec order. Israel bot farm portraying themselves as left is exposed. Okay, so that Drama. does work. And more. Get in now. All right, I don't fucking know. I'll just. Um, burr, 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 burr. Easy clap. What are you drinking? I am drinking Volant Toasted Coconut Cold Brew. It's my favorite type of cold brew. It's not a fucking ad. Don't say hashtag ad. Not an ad. Hashtag ad. They've never paid me for anything. 
I just enjoy it personally. Oh, well, now okay. it's over there and I need to bring it back. Come, follow me. All right, here it is. We're blasting I, I off, follow, folks. We're blasting off. Let's I go. I follow you, deep Let's sea, baby. Go, fam. Let's I go, Crody. follow you. Let's go, Crody. Virtue signaling, are we? Yes, I'm virtue signaling. I'm so cheese fam. I'm so cheese fam. Let's go, Crody. Why are you cheesing fam? Oh, I'm the shit, most OP dude, no device way. in the game. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to get that over there. Oh, I Never see. Never in your life attempted to Toronto. Toronto accent ever again, fam. Now this was confirmed real, will you react to it? Sure, dude. Here. Here you go. It's the worst. I'm not gonna lie. This is... Part of the reason why I did not want to fucking show this to you guys is low-key because I don't want you to develop, like... Well, one, I don't want you to just, like, have an aneurysm. Secondly, I don't want you to hate Canada that much. You know what I mean? Like, because I feel like if I open this can of worms up, it is going to change the way we view, the way we as a community view Canada dramatically. Like, I do not think that we can return from this moment. It's not even a joke. Like, you will want to do harm to Canada across the board for the crimes of Toronto and its existence. It is probably the worst thing that I've ever heard. I think it's we should hate like Canada more. <laughs> really lame because like they're like, oh yeah, it's just a joke fam. And it's like, yeah, but jokes should be funny and not like make me want to video game myself. Does <laughs> this song cross Biden's red line? This should. Yeah, let's see if this 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 thing on on iPhone will tell me to take Not my Canada. pills this is in Toronto's mess of cleanup. 20 minutes. I mean, the only benefit of this is like after this, you know, Black Quebecois is is going to fucking blast this to be like, this is the reason why we must be liberated from the Anglophones. You know, the Anglophones, they are out of control. Hey, green coat. Um, skip the one minute to get the Drake's part. It's just so bad. It's so bad. You know what? Tabarnak. Watch it. Listen to it. I'm 2,000 kilometers away, but girl, tonight you look so bad. Oh, yes, you do. Okay, I'm saving you from this. I'm saving you from it. Huh? Is it really you? Sit on, let's go. It's good to see you, my friend. <laughs> I think it's been voted on. I received word that you'd gone missing and was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired. No. To think that something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule. After this, you mysteriously work on a sky island. The sky. Could that be the sky is the link key to everything? After all, uh, my apologies. I have been wondering if those floating sky islands could be the source of all the sludge. That's why I asked a Zora historian with investigating ruined fragments and then historical documents. Ready to s okay, okay. Would Okay. You, you guys can... You deserve this then. No, this is not AI, bro. This is not AI. This is real. 
Like, he has been... Dude, the thing... The thing that... Like, Kendrick did so much damage to this man. He did so much damage to this man. In a way where, like, I think... I think... Wait, feed now, Drake? This is like... You know how Israel has a Samson option? Wait, of, this like, is new? Nuking the planet. You know, in a worst case scenario. I think that's what, what Drake is doing now. Where, like, he got so humiliated and so thoroughly dismantled everybody's fucking talking about how you know certified lover boy certified yes it was drake seeing you right now i'm gonna like i'm losing my banger. mind it just oh my god he really is and is like so now he's where have you like been trying to punish the real punish i didn't think it was this world. bad okay like i feel like he's just saying like no listen you don't understand like i'm gonna one rap on the bbl drizzy beat on a sexy red collab okay i'm gonna do a sexy red feature and I'm going to, I'm going to fucking rap on the BBL jersey uh, beat myself. I'm going to go and and do this thing with like a very obvious meme uh, guy. Um, it is, it is him trying to punish the world. I think this is Japan after World War II got turned kawaii. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is how anime begins, dude. This is how this is how Japan brought hentai to the world. This is how Japan brought anime to the world, which means maybe it'll be good. It'll it, it'll fucking um, loop back into being good eventually. I don't know. According to his fan, he's just having fun and trolling. Sheltered Rosebud, get to the news. Take a week off, okay? Stop Holy fuck, Sheltered Rosebud. Woman, okay, take a week off, Sheltered Rosebud. What is this? There's a new theory? Holy fuck, Shelter Rose, but like just saying get to the news. I can't believe that. Why doesn't she ever change? That's very frustrating. Bro, I can't wow. believe that action, <clears throat> bro. That was uh, I'm awful. just trolling, that bro. I'm just bad. trolling. That was I'm 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 just trolling. I did not previously think that this level of cringe was was something that he's we just trolling at. chat out we can turns out canada can be much worse than you ever thought i think it's honestly at this point, it's time to fucking permanently invade canada and annex canadian territory to liberate canadians they will welcome us as liberators they will welcome us with open arms it's over <laughs> it's done um yeah this is like we have to do what Canadians did to the indigenous population with the residential schools. You know what I mean? Like, we literally have to open up schools where we remove the Canuck. Like, we have to remove the. Oh, the it's Canadian one of these trials. Fuck. And just like Americanize them by force until, you know, they're just no longer producing stuff like this. I'll try it until I die. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Oh. Yeah, they must be liberated. I hate this. I hate these. I hate Majority these. Majority report. Thank you for the 400 and 
14 viewer raid hope you had a good stream sorry that you guys had to join in on uh me saying some shit about canada uh you would understand but uh oh, you are spared from seeing the nuclear levels of cringe that uh canadians whipped up in toronto fam he was okay when you guys took him not our fault do we listen to grippy yet no we're not gonna listen to grippy i don't know hold what's on. going on it feels like it hold feels on like hold Kendrick on just did things oh to people that he didn't you. even like specifically destroy like he literally left j cole out and j cole did it to himself no it's not we don't have to listen sean the black what's grippy never heard of it dude listen what j cole literally is is I don't, I don't have any food. I don't have any food. Making an argument. I don't have any food. Permanently make the Carolinas one, okay? No more North Carolina. It's all just one Carolina united for the crimes of from the for the crimes of Jebediah Cole, okay? Let me just get that Jeremiah fucking weapon, Jebediah thank you. J Cole. If I survive this, like I'm that, amazing. That in and of itself. That in and of itself, the the grippy song in and of itself is the is basically the Wagwan Delilah of Jermaine Jeremiah Jebediah Cole, okay? What happened? Damn. Like, what? why did okay. he do that? Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Why did he choose to do that? Just one hit and I got fucked, Like, dude. absolutely zero people. J. Cole was already pardoned? <laughs> yeah, but he did this after the pardon, we will do this later. I'm not doing this right now. Cole fucking personally... Now you need to see it. Those are the ones you, you do when you now have you more hearts. See it. Now you need to see it. I wasn't going to fucking show it to you. Let's just show you the memes, actually. I mean, that one Fuck seems it. easier. But just see the... What? Oh, God. This one seems easier than the others, but I'm not doing this right I now. Are you fucking Grippy? kidding me? Can you play it? Is it bad? <laughs> I, I feel That's like showing check out you Terry. Grippy right after Wagwan Delilah is going to make you want to... You know, do the sewer slide. Wait, this is real? Did Drake come out with two tracks? It's, 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 and TikTok obviously fucking, uh, TikTok obviously, uh, ripped into this so goddamn hard unfortunately a bar you guys are insane you should be tried at the hague if you think that that was a bar okay here you want to see it wait what this app has already made my name living hell now j cole makes this no that's not that's the worst this is literally the worst meme out of all of them no this this my phone with a nickname it's 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 like it's just so bad lol they're glazing and jerking in this thread about it it's just so fucking unimaginably bad what happened here Not as good as this. Doesn't though. recognize me. What? No, and we're done. Ooh. Like Wagwan, Delilah, and Grippy together is just like I guess uh, when you get nuclear fallout from the the family atomics being launched in your fucking direction. And even if you're technically not in the impact crater like Drake was, you just get hit with the nuclear fallout and you get radiated. And then you just pop off like this. The whole thing is way worse. I don't know if I want to. Grippy. 
grippy, grippy. I call her that cause it's grippy. She thinking that if she a hippie, and she thinking the lip, she gonna lick me, and she sending a flip when she. Oh my god, what the fuck's over here? When she see me, she says she gonna strip me. She gonna chew on this stick like it's Wrigley's. Believe it. Strictly dickly, dude. What a like. It's just like I think if you're 50 years old as J Cole is, like you shouldn't be allowed to be horny. I know like it's different when you're a musician and stuff, but like I just don't think you're allowed to be horny at that age. At your old ass age, man. <laughs> you are not allowed, man. Oh no, I fucked up the real car. <laughs> That's a bar, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're out of your I didn't mind. Mean I mean to. It's they said Wong just Wong hit Delilah, it. But that's not saying much. Okay. Huh. Interesting. No, you're not allowed. Like, straight up. You are not allowed. You are a 50-year-old man. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. No. No. You can't... Oh, there's gotcha. You are not allowed to be horny, dude. He's 39. Shut the fuck up. He's 39. Oh, okay. So that's fine then? What are we talking about here? What are we talking about here, man? What, bro, you cannot defend these lyrics, okay? You cannot defend these lyrics. You should not, you must not defend these lyrics. She like my kick game. And when you, and when you meet, you don't kick game. I put her uh, front row at the Nick game. Now she's in my phone with a nickname. It's, 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 mm, mm, gripping. Oh, yay. Now we've got controllers. She thick in the hips, she a hippie. She thick in the lips, she gonna lick me. And she's sending a flick when she hit me with a kissy emoji, she miss me. When she see me, she she say she gonna strip me. She gonna chew on the stick like it's Wrigley's? What? That's not how anything works. That doesn't even make sense. What are you saying? This is like, like, how are you, Jebediah Jeremiah Cole, a 50-year-old man doing NLE Choppa style fucking lyrics? What is going on, bro? What is happening? What the fuck? I wonder if I can, I can make something fly all the way up there. I don't have much battery though, so that's the thing. Mm, yeah, believe it or not, like Ripley's. She says she was gay until I slayed. Now she's strictly dickly. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hassan's losing his mind. <laughs> Bros rapping like Ned Flanders. Strictly dickly. What is going on? I mean, I guess it's age appropriate when you think about it, when you just remove what he's saying and just listen to the fucking words a little bit. Do we need Trickly these? Nickly. Like two of them. One of Jay these. Cole claims the woman he was with and like you. girls, then he, a male, somehow slayed her and now she's strictly dickly. So she only So we want now. one. J. Cole, unrelease this. Yeah, yeah, bro, he should unrelease this just like he unreleased the fucking Kendrick Lamar diss, bro. This is worse. Okay. And you. Yeah. Extra battery is needed, of course. And I need to go get some more of these. Then, here's the thing. We want to actually do this. It's just... <laughs> So we need something to like push us up. I mean, right? here, let's. And not like Ripley's. She said she was gay until I slayed. Now she's strictly. As soon as she plays, I'm on the way. And I'll be showing her quickly. On the highway, I'm doing 150. 
Let's see. Let's see if this works. Like, it, it feels like, is it in the contract? They were just like, please, Kendrick, please stop. If you, it, like, we will make ourselves look like ginormous clowns if you promise to stop releasing because you said you have 10 more okay you said you have like five more at least five plus five uh locked and ready to go I okay this is not gonna work the right humiliation ritual please don't say anything i'm so sorry for saying that there's a big three out there like i apologize it's my bad i will nope. show okay. the world i will show the world conclusively that there is no big three it's just big you like is that what's going on you don't understand rap yeah dude i know and you don't understand that that type of fucking sentiment here at the top of the hour is not going to cause you to successfully debate me okay i don't think this is gonna work chat like, I don't think this is gonna work. Like, I wanna feel like I'm touching your kidneys. Like, what? Your kids at Disney. What? What? The, the, like, the, I, I, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. It just fucked me up. It fucked me up. I talk for a living for 10 fucking hours every day, and this song has rendered me incapable of speech. <laughs> it's giving me psychic damage. I'm, I'm serving the three minute outbreak. Uh, this is one of the okay. few instances where you're probably luckier than you are unsubscribed for five dollars, six dollars, uh, come July 11th, or for free with a Twitch Prime, uh, and you will see a three minute ad break instead of this shit. Okay. People keep riding Kendrick like he destroyed both of them when it was rumored that he got J Cole to back down from the beef through Schoolboy Q. You can't convince me he was going to be able to manage both Drake and Cole simultaneously. You are literally the most delusional person on the planet while we're currently experiencing <laughs> that. Thanks, Hassan. <laughs> Here's the three minute ad break now. Bro, this song. No, that's not going to work. This song will turn people into fucking vol cells. This song will make people do the opposite. You know how the baby boom happened? Okay. If this song gets mass released, if people listen to this on the radio, no one's fucking ever again. Okay. This is going to cause people to become ace like forever. We, we're done. Hey. Western civilization falls. Okay. Western civilization falls when they hear What's wrong with being ace? When they hear J. Cole say things like, I want to hit your kidneys. I want to take your children to Disney. Uh, uh, mm, 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 sir, this is like the most Reddit flow too. Like, I don't even understand. It's got the Ned Flanders feel. I don't to know it. how to fuck to, to get got, this to like, work, chat. The, like the, um, actually, flow, what is happening? What is going on? Fuck it, maybe it will work. Maybe it will. You don't understand, he consulted Cambridge Analytica. Okay, fuck this. I'm going on foot. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm being like that. I wanna be him. Like damn, Mia, I cannot wait till I see ya. I cannot wait till I can put you on my face, love. I want like, you. Jay Cole, and and <laughs> and Drake be like, we're gonna put out the, we're putting out the worst oh music god, ever. What's this? Oh, you know, oh my god, you're not wrong. Wait, did that already happen? Oh my god. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. She's gonna she's gonna rap about poop again. She's gonna rap about how she's shitting in her pants. Oh my god. It will be 
It will be Bedlam. Ice Spice is going to come on here and talk about how she farted and shitted her pants. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ice Spice album dropping come soon. With the Dookie bars. It's over. Oh, this is going to be literally played on TikTok nonstop. Oh no, dude. Oh no. I shite. Fuck off. It's grippy. Shit on your dick. Make it kind of slippery. their pants. Slippery. Oh God. Stop. <laughs> it's very I'm complex to understand. That awesome. <laughs> you were such a hater, J. Cole ruined this, but Cash Cobain was objectively good without J. Cole. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, the Cash Cobain part of this is not bad. Um, J. Cole part of it is the worst, which is crazy uh to think about. But also, um Yeah, I just I mean it's it's not bad, it's not great, but who cares? Uh ay, ay, ay. Ice Spice is one hundred percent, one hundred percent coming on here with uh, the Dookie bars. What is this? This is a 12 minute reaction. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to hear him listen to the lyrics strictly dickly, which I suspect. Here, let me see if I can capture it. I, I want to see if I can find out exactly where the strictly dickly moment is just by judging from his reaction. Okay? I want to see if I can I want to see if I can find the strictly dickly bar just by his reaction, okay? Is it here? <laughs> she sent in a fit when she hit me with a kissy emoji. She Yo, what? Ain't no way this nigga just said. She thick in the hips. She hippie. Ain't no way J. Cole said a bar that simple. There's no way. No way. Wait. Why did, what, bro? Why did it sound like. <laughs> this sounds like some arcade music or something. Like, what is going on? Arcade music. We think about it. Arcade chat. <laughs> oh, no. Like, why? Like, what is going on? I thought I nailed it. I did not nail it. It was not the, it's not the strictly dickly part. <laughs> grippy. I call her that because it's grippy. She thinking that if she a hippie and she thinking the lips, she gonna lick me and she sending a When she hit me with a kissy emoji, she missed me. When she see me, she said she gon' strip me. She gon' chew on the stick like it's Wrigley's. Mm. Yeah. Believe it or not, like Ripley's. She said she was gay until I slayed. Now she's strictly dickly. As soon as she pays, I'm on the way. Yeah, we doomed. <laughs> we, bro, J. Cole fan, we cooked. We is cooked. Oh, Lord, the world gon' end tomorrow. I ain't no way this nigga said strictly dickly. It, he didn't say that. Hold up. This nigga did strictly not say strictly dickly. What the? I'm strictly with dick. <laughs> Yo. J. Cole, that gotta be your white side, bro. Oh, yeah, ain't no way that's your black side saying strictly dickly. Ain't no way. Huh? She said she was gay until I slayed. Now she's strictly dickly. <laughs> I do that to yourself twice. You don't have to do that. This nigga really said. Like that is straight up a Ned Flanders bar, dude. Uh, actually. Okay, okay, we're done. That's hilarious. Oh my I god. I love how goofy okay, this done, animation is. Let's get to the fucking news, bro. Let's get to the news. It's so Cole, fucking goofy. Cole, what's happening, man? What's it's so insanely on, dude? goofy, you're, you're dude. 40 years old, bro. That's crazy. 
Shout out to Shaq. He's really nice. No life Shaq. He's offline currently. Let's see if No Life Shag has ever been in this chat. Let's see. I doubt it. He has never chatted. Warned No Life. Oh, is that a new thing? He's a big Tom McDonald fan. Wait, no, he's not. No. What? Yes, he is. Okay. 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 Let's just move on from this. I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. I want to um, see, can we make let's it just there? Listen to this conspiracy theory. And then we're going to move into the actual news. I'm Delilah. Drake sure sounds silly, doesn't he? But what is it? Why Delilah? What is it? The braids? <laughs> what is it? The braids? Kendrick threatens Drake with demolition. Every time I come around, demolition might crush on these walls. You don't think these walls is about Drake yet, but you will. Drake already does. He's telling Kendrick, you can double date me if you like. You can do this routine of asking all your fans to go back and go back through time a second time and listen for the double meaning as you double down on your whole career and double down on this idea that you've got the dirt on me. But guess what, buddy? I've got dirt on you. Remember that gay stuff that you had to do at Mademoiselle, the private club? I've got intel on you, Kendrick. What is happening? Free to leak it. And by the way, I've got a buddy in a mask. He's coming for Whitney. And he's up to no good. What the fuck? But he's not ugly, so don't worry about that part, Kendrick. She'll like the look of him. Very sinister shit. No. No. Well. No. I, I, I mean, this, this this uh TikToker seems base. I mean, he's got a trans pride flag on. But I don't know what the fuck's happening there. All right, let's get to the actual news, man. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We still haven't done the President Biden's full transcript of the interview with Time. Okay, no, I'm not going to listen to Not Like Us again. Uh, I've listened to it way too much. I've officially listened to Not Like Us too many fucking times. Okay, I did not know that we could arrive at that situation. I listened to it too many times. Okay. Um... Anyway, this is crazy. Joseph Robinette Brandon is at Normandy with like age appropriate adults. Uh, it's like the most likely the last time that these dudes are, are ever going to the last time we're ever going to do like a D-Day celebration with these dudes because they're all like 100 plus at this point. OK. Um, We'll start, we'll start off with this one. From Normandy, France at the American Cemetery here on a quiet pine bluff that overlooks Omaha. This obviously is like <laughs> the only time America, pretty much the only time America was on the right side of like an invasion and military action. So like, of course you're gonna dig right into oblivion. Honestly, uh, it's, it's valid. It's one of those few instances where it's like, you know, unconditional support. U.S. military action, phenomenal work, good job. Obviously, the USSR carried, but like, you know, it's it is the good dub here. This is the one instance. It's so, it's such a glaringly obvious dub in this circumstance that like, you know, they kind of rode with that permanently to be like, remember the Nazis though? We did that shit, and then they were like doing Nazi shit all around the fucking planet. Lamal, what about Iraq, dumbass? Yeah, you're right. Another incredible dub similar wow, to defeating Iraq. the fucking Nazis was killing Iraq was one terrible. million Iraqis, dude. Oh my lord. <laughs> How wonderful. Holy fuck, dude. <clears throat> Be ah, scene okay. of the bloodiest fighting of D-Day. And we are here, of course, because tomorrow on CBS Mornings... Oh, I think I know. ...D-Day's 80th okay. anniversary. We're going to show you the events honoring all those who died here and also talk about what they saved. And a conversation as well with Secretary of State Antony Blinken about the new war now raging in Europe. Charlie Daggett will be with us at so O'Keefe as well. This. But right now we find Ed in Paris where President okay. Biden arrived just a few short hours ago to be part of this important D-Day anniversary, a delicate time for the president. Ed, good morning. Tony, good morning. The president okay. is here for five days of commemoration and events uh, designed to 
reinforce the U.S. French relationship. He heads to Normandy, where you are tomorrow. Let's see what this turbine's to gonna do. French President Emmanuel Macron, King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William, and Ukrainian President Zelensky. On Friday, he'll give a speech at Point de Hoc near Normandy, where the White House says he will focus on the future of democracy around the world. Saturday is the president's formal state visit to France, expected to include a big military parade. Why all those different things? Paris and a state dinner that evening. Sunday, he visits the cemetery where American soldiers and Marines who fought in World War I are buried. All of this, again, designed to draw attention to the American sacrifice here in Europe Why? over the course of those two world wars and talk a bit with his contemporaries on the world stage about the future. Tony. All right, Ed, thank you. This is my favorite thing, dude. This is like just a classic America move is to be like, literally any 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 global event that we are involved in with like military intervention is just like the nazis so like <laughs> obviously they've done this every single time Idiot. whether it be vietnam whether it be iraq whether it be afghanistan so uh they're they're now doing this to be like hey guys yo fuck this israel stuff okay this israel stuff is like maybe it's a little too bad maybe it's like maybe it's like uh making us look a little bad okay maybe he's making us look like we are also a social pariah alongside uh the israeli state so let's focus on the part where remember when we helped out the ukrainians that was good you know remember remember that that was sick we were the good guys there right like that was good right it's it's totally not a fucking lost cause at this point and and getting worse and worse by the by the day remember that the Russians, they're scary. They're going to fucking invade Poland uh, eventually. Remember? <sighs> Come on, D-Day. It's just like that. Please. A hero's welcome for the men who helped change the course of history. Back on French soil, saluted and celebrated, most returning for the last time. These veterans were young men, some teenagers. Do Turks celebrate Gallipoli? Yes. Teenagers <laughs> eight decades ago all here on that fateful day. What do you think, Floyd? I think it's great. Let's keep going. Floyd Blair is 103. Dick Rung turns 100 in the fall. He was just 19 on a transport boat taking tanks to shore. Floyd flew above, giving cover. To me, it looked like every ship and boat in the world was right out there. The dead bodies were already washing to shore when I got there. This was to be the longest day. June 6, 1944, D-Day. The U.S. and its allies stormed the beaches of Normandy, breaking through Nazi defenses, a massive assault that would lead to Allied victory. The number of those still alive to tell the stories of that day disappearing Pretty fast. Pretty cool scene. Their average age. I think they brought these guys specifically to be like, hey, guys, you think Bri you think Brandon's old? Look, he's he, he looks young in comparison to these guys. <laughs> now 100. Ed Berthold is back for the first time at 104 years old. On D-Day, he bombed a key bridge in San Lo. It was only his third mission. Were you scared? Oh, yeah. <laughs> as you as you approach the target, the bombs would be going off around you. I hope I don't have one with my name on it. <laughs> Along this 50-mile coastline on D-Day, more than 4,000 This sounds very dangerous. Why would I? First 24 hours. Ed wrote Why would I attach this? Dear Mom, just a few lines to tell you we are all okay. <laughs> we flew mission number 10 on D-Day. For so many of these vets, coming back is a chance to revisit the past. Dick Rung kept a journal. It, it is kind of wild. He hey, does, Fizz. He is kind of eating right now. He is kind of fucking I'm gagging. Sure, I, I, I've got a puzzle I'm figuring out. Fortitude. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of backfiring a little bit. The more I hear him, the more I hear him at his fucking um. old ass age of like 110 or however old he is, the more I'm like, damn, I don't even think, I don't think Brandon's got it like that. What's happening here? Uh-oh. <laughs> All those years ago, saving mementos. What's this? That's a piece of shrapnel. Like this tiny piece of shrapnel from a German bomb that exploded close to his boat. It's also a chance to honor friends who didn't make it home. Remembering the past with a message for younger generations. I want to learn mm. to live, yeah. 
Still okay. respect the fellow man and quit doing this stupid fight. Okay. My goat. My Dick and Floyd goat. say this will be their last trip to these beaches. What's going on, for this? Even 80 years later, they're still remembered as heroes. Yeah, no shit. And they really they are, are superstars here. Everywhere we went with them, people stopped them. They wanted to take pictures, get autographs, salute them, sometimes with tears in their eyes. And this Do they take them there just to flex that they're still here? I mean, yeah, this is literally... This Chilling? is probably the last time that they're going to be able to do this. Come I'm seldering. They're fucking 104. This trip for them wouldn't be possible without the Best Defense Foundation. They brought 48 vets over this year. That each one travels with a caregiver. They also have a large medical team to make sure that the vets are in good hands. And guys, some of the vets that you just met are going to join another elite group tomorrow, awarded with France's highest military honor, the French Legion of Honor. Oh, guys. dude, come on. Don't disrespect wow. them like that. Don't disrespect them like that by giving him some French honors bro come on now that's disrespectful honestly that, that is this that's gonna make me able to fly you shouldn't no. do that to them okay you should not do that to them they've they've seen enough mm, they've okay. gone through enough they've done phenomenal things we shouldn't be doing that uh. Oh, Kelly, Kelly so moving. Fire. Thank you very much. Like, you know, what do you think about it? I've got one of these. You know, we throw the word hero around yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Probably too much. But when you, you look at these men who were teenagers back then, who literally save the world they how did. about his advice for all of us Stop. now compare that to the one who was like it killed to... them all oh my god you're not even wrong that is literally they are the same age that israeli guy the israeli terrorist that they fucking bring around all the time to give troops morale the fucking 98 year old psycho is always like yeah you gotta pick up your arms and kill every arab in your vicinity Versus okay, this is gonna be stupid, isn't Chad, it? Like, American why? Why am I even doing this? Like, cut it out. <laughs> this cut is not. This is. This is, this is stupid. Nonsense. I'm. I'm. I'm being a dumb dumb, aren't I? Here, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Don't tell me the answer. This is. This is gonna be really stupid, Just isn't it? Or the yeah, or the Ukrainian Nazi who fucking joined the. The foreign SS brigade. Stupid fight. Yes. Yeah, we saved the world yeah. for you. Yeah. Don't break it. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't be Oh Yeah, the the Leahy guy who fucking uh Israel brings out to give troops morale. Um apparently there was an right. attempted attack on a US embassy in Beirut. This is like breaking shit so far. Uh don't know enough details about it. This happened like I think right as we went live. Um, um so you know it wasn't me, you know what I mean? I, I was here, I was live. So obviously I had nothing right to do with it. Right now a gunman is in custody after a shootout at the U.S. Embassy in Lebanon. Lebanese soldiers say that they shot and captured the suspect about half an hour after it began. The embassy is located in Aoukar, which is located just outside of the city center. Those military members engaged with the gunman early this morning. An embassy security guard was injured during the shootout. Investigators are working to determine a motive for the attack. There's been an ongoing conflict between Hezbollah and Israel mm. in the backdrop of the war of Gaza. Yesterday, a high-ranking official said Israel is ready to launch a major offensive at its northern border. Well, dude, that's what Israel needs right now. Like, we could get electricity somehow. Yeah. No, open up, like, a, a, open up a new invasion. Open up a new front. I guess this, this is a battery, so... A much more significant military. Like, not just, like, a group of dudes who are making bathtub no, rockets, what's but, a, like... It's a, it's a like motor. Like, an actual functional standing like, militia, basically. Not even a militia, but, like, a, you know, a military force. It's always a good idea. You know? So it Fuck spins. it, YOLO. This is literally just, like, <laughs> Adolf Hitlerian military tactics. So Let's go invade Russia in the fucking middle of the winter type shit. Great. Yeah. Um, you joke, but Israel's right is desperate for an invasion of Lebanon. Yes, yeah, great. Good stuff. Uh, worked so well for the last time. A, a, a fascist, uh, ideologically fascist uh, state engaged in uh, permanent war for, you know, not dissimilar reasons. Living room as they called it, Lebensraum. 
Why are they Let's freezing? bring in CBS News foreign correspondent MTS Tayeb now. He's following all of this for us from Tel Aviv. MTS, what more are we learning about the attack? Who was behind it and what the motivation was? Bro, if the answer's it? really stupid, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, wait. Can I suck I them in? You. Well, what we do know is that a Syrian national is in oh, hospital fuck, right on. now <laughs> after he was shot. Can in they can I pull them down uh, with the power of wind? Investigating. Uh, that was what, what it was last like time and it was really stupid. <laughs> uh, at the US embassy uh, just outside of Beirut in a Beirut Okay, suburb. okay, chill, I've chill, chill, this chill. Embassy, and I could tell you it is a very heavily fortified place. In order to get anywhere near the main building, you have to go through several checkpoints, several searches. Um, and so it is okay, it just very, does the same thing. How did it work Still, differently last time we made it go in reverse and... <laughs> is really begging a lot of questions now in terms of motive there's no clear motive at this stage as this makes no fucking sense dude what happened outside that very secure embassy guys well MTS, let's talk about the israel component because prime minister benjamin netanyahu says that israel <laughs> your hatred of israel is making you ignore how successful the 2006 war this is going to be stu this yeah. is stupid famous, this is uh, stupid really dubs this is stupid i promise you this is going to be i'm going to do something this is going to be incredibly stupid why am i even doing this Okay. What can you tell us about that? <laughs> yeah, pretty much since the. I know what I'm, I know what I'm about to do, and I th I think Israel I'm just saying if this is the solution to the fucking puzzle, this is so insanely fucking stupid, and I hate it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying if this is the solution, if this is stupid, and I hate it. There is that we know that there is this Israeli proposal to end the war in Gaza, which could see a ceasefire, and the concern is, is if that happens and the hostages are released, that the Israeli Prime Minister will turn his attention to the north of the border. You have to remember, again, since October 7th, 60,000 Israelis have been displaced from northern Israel as Hezbollah, uh, which is an Iranian-backed armed and political faction in Lebanon, exchanged nearly daily fire with uh, Israel. In fact, like right now, <coughs> right now is a classic back and forth, okay? Northern Israel is getting fucking shellac. Southern Lebanon is getting shellac and vice versa okay. if this is Constantly. how you're supposed to do it it's stupid the and i hate it changes dramatically if israel decides to move in troops or increases attacks or increase the area of impact all of a sudden oh my the, god this is going to uh, be the solution ascetic uh hezbollah oh my god this is going to be the solution has, like, i hate it so much with civil governance oh my fucking god this and, is the solution and and therefore is not you know, pushing in any sort of, uh, or, or not doing any sort of like serious military campaign is forced into the battle. Like the reason why I think, um, the reason why- I need to get higher. I don't care. I'm leaving the shrine. I don't care. Fuck the, fuck the loot. For, uh, any kind of like Iranian we'll Come back and get another time. Any, any of the axis of resistance against Israel and America My in the God. region, okay. uh, the the fact that they did not move in a way, uh, in an expected way, Ludwig was because the, uh, the Lebanese. Oh no! You get the loot any other time, so okay, yeah. How the fuck did I miss this? That was fucking stupid. Sorry. It didn't even look like um, a fucking candle. <clears throat> The reasons as to, um, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Wait, what? Oh, it just happened actually. Hold up. Yeah, I, it was, I was at miscreatine pill delivery. I did what not. I didn't. Oh, I holy moly. I just got my creatine pills. Let's fucking go. I got my creatine pills. Let's go. Um, what I was saying was, what the fuck was I talking about? There's lots of things. Um, I don't really want to be here. Oh, the reason as to why uh, Let's go back to uh, Tarrytown. Hezbollah did not move. Oh, I died uh, here. Yeah. Towards Israel beyond like bombing uh, northern Israel. He is such a himbo. Was because, you know, Lebanese economy is not doing great. It's not doing great at all. They don't have like they they can't withstand like uh dramatic bombing campaigns uh like uh previous israeli incursions into lebanon you know 
villages uh, along the border in southern Lebanon have been reduced to ruins. About 150,000 Lebanese uh, are also displaced from their homes. It is an extremely volatile border and a very, ex or rather, extremely volatile situation. And very quickly, if Israel were to engage into an overt war with Hezbollah, it would be very different from what we see in Gaza. Hezbollah has an arms arsenal that is far greater than Hamas could ever dream of. Uh, and Hezbollah, which is a hardened fighting force after years of fighting in Syria. So this is very alarming if it does happen. Guys. And MTAs, I want to ask you about a domestic topic. I know that Israeli police have been deployed ahead of today's Jerusalem Day flag march. Speak to us about some of the preparations um, amid what's growing tensions. Oh, yeah. I, uh, it is fucking, of course, it's Jerusalem Day, which means, uh, you know, <laughs> which means the Israeli clan, the inbred hicks of Israel, are going to get extra fucking rowdy today. A herd of settlers assaulted the Palestinian journalist Saif al Khawazmi in occupied Jerusalem. Um, absolute fucking There's so freak. many um, flag in Israel, here. baby. Just doing some doing some regular old Nazi shit, dude. Let's go. You can't directly compare the Lebanese economy with Hezbollah. They're not the state military. And since 2006, their numbers and arms have grown significantly. They've been taken down. Wait, it doesn't matter. They still have... Hezbollah also has uh, civil governance in mind as well, though. Like, they can't just... They can't just fucking uh, move like a simple standing military. They have state considerations in mind. Bro, this guy... Like they have to. They okay, have to we'll fix like you. We'll fix it. We'll fix this for you. Of, uh, like this one not, we can fix. They can't just behave like a rogue military. Uh, they can't behave like a rogue military. I think if we stick two of these together. So that is the reason why they are also tied to Lebanese interests across the Let's board. Let's see if that slots in. No, it's too thick. He's too thick. We don't. Okay. Oh, we'll talk about Jerusalem Day in a second. Flag Day in a second. There. Yeah, very tense. Uh, in fact, we were in Jerusalem, uh, in the old city, uh, as that uh, march started. Um, and I have to be honest with you, it was extremely hostile. Although there's around 3,000 uh, Israeli border police and police, uh, you know, uh, who have been deployed to uh, keep the peace there, that's certainly not what we experienced. Our team was shoved and kicked as we were trying to film uh, outside the Damascus Gate in Jerusalem. So as you can imagine, it's a very tense seen there we also have <laughs> they thought they knew we were christians they started spitting on us it's really fucked up but also israel is still the most moral nation on the planet so we said please sir thank you thank you for spitting on me i said to the 14 year old inbred psychopath spitting directly in my vicinity as he called me a christian dog it was okay. <laughs> heard reports of other journalists being very severely beaten. Uh, that should by actually these, just be fine. Uh, young men predominantly who take part in this march, a march which has over the years become a day or a rally. It was cool. It was cool. It was like I I liked it. Let's go, dude. He's standing. Let's it. go. I thought it was valid. I deserve it. Point for far right extremists in Israel to bang a solution. Fucking soul, dude. I love Addison puzzles Jerusalem. so much. They are cool. Palestinians live chanting phrases like death to Arabs and we will burn your village. Uh, so as you can Just imagine, finished editing my first word for a streamer. That's sick, Nate King. I didn't know you were an editor. It? Bro, it's a Nazi march, man. What the fuck are we doing here? There is no world in which. A Nazi march like this gets this kind of coverage where they're doing Nazi shit specifically specifically fucking trying to do pogroms to Palestinian shopkeepers and you're like well it was really tense no it's a Nazi march and they're doing Nazi shit <coughs> oh my god oh my fucking god it's time and for oh. our team it was uh, a bit of a rough time as well guys pretty yeah. eye-opening experience uh, mts tie-up thank you very much oh it's your eye-opening experience it's, it's so shocking
On yeah, Brad's channel, that's sick. Arabs being chanted at the at the perfectly normal, uh, <laughs> mm. definitely not Nazi march. <laughs> It's only eye-opening if you actually do open your eyes to the fucking reality and turn around and realize that this is, this is, uh, and, and the cup, this is Israel, okay? This is Israel. The, the, the protection that these guys get is, and the fact that they do this every fucking year is not simply a No worries. I'll be playing moment, Zelda for quite a while. Okay? <laughs> to this be honest with you. Functionally government sanctioned. And as a matter of fact, it's so government sanctioned that the people that are participating in this are in the fucking government, okay? We're talking about there the are so many minister. shrines here. We're talking about the minister in charge of the police and demolitions, okay? Benkvir and Smotrich, both settlers, both exactly like these fucking demons. The idea that this is like the idea that this is like unique or fringe. Oh, I can't believe it is ridiculous. These motherfuckers do like it's like having the patriot front you know, those, like, federal agent-looking uh, Nazis that fucking go around and protest? It's as if they were doing Shouldn't it attempt playing Breath of the Wild because of you, Breath of the Wild is so good. specifically so good. beating up black people... It's so and, good. And destroying Elysium. black businesses. And you had, like... You had, I don't know, like, Mike Johnson go and march with them and speak about how cool it is that we're beating on black people. Like, there is... America is a white supremacist nation. I bring this up all the fucking time. But, like, the overt fascism You'll get that used you can to it, don't see on You'll any given day controls. inside of Israel, both Israel proper and in including the occupied I'm territories, I'm not training, but I get to keep everything. Okay. Okay? They're doing fucking, yeah, they're doing Charlottesville Unite the Right rallies on a regular basis every year. Oh, what do I and need it's to like do? People don't look at this as, uh, you know, history repeating itself. <laughs> Look at that. Look, 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 look. Oh, it's so fringe. It's so crazy. Okay, that's Thank you fine. For shattering the status quo. Jerusalem is ours. Damascus Gate is ours. The Temple Mount is ours. Today, in accordance with my policy, Jews prayed freely on the Temple Mount. We say in the simplest way, it is ours. Now, if you don't know uh, what that's about, here is Barack Ravid's reporting on it. Israeli Minister of National Security, Itamar ben Gvir who is in charge of the Israeli police, says his policy is that Jews can pray freely at the Temple Mount slash Haram al-Sharif compound, a violation of the status quo in a sensitive and holy site. The reason why he wants to do that is so that they can fully take it over. The reason why he could do that is so that... Um, it, it, it's so that there are clashes there and that they can just bring in the fucking police again and, and brutalize the Palestinians. Yeah, he's like, uh, I want to convey a message to Hamas and every home in Gaza. Oh, fuck. Okay. These sorts of ones, dude. Okay, okay, okay. As a result of your own experience. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Like, you guys know, understand, this is a fu hey, 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 get out of there. Go. Place. Like, the last intifada. The last of the photo occurred as a oh, consequence fuck. of fucking around in this exact same way, okay? And this is worse than that. 
I just got to be a bit better. Which led to, you know, bombs and fucking bus stops and shit. I think I just need to not crouch, actually. Would you say this is the worst event since 1948? What do you mean? Yes, the last eight months have been objectively worse than 1948. <laughs> Did that work? I mean, more death and more destruction. We'll see what happens at the end of the eight month campaign. How many, I mean, millions of Palestinians displaced currently. Yeah. The second intifada occurred after Ariel Sharon walked onto Al-Aqsa with Israeli police and settlers. Okay. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They're trying to fucking egg on the Palestinian population further okay. after doing a fucking ethnic cleansing so they can pack up the West Bank too. Further pack Thank up the West you. Bank. Thank you. Dude. Prime Minister's office denies the claim. Israel Prime Minister's office pushes back on Bank of Earth's statement. It says the status quo at the Temple Mount hasn't changed. It will not change. Fuck off. Yeah, it's the classical provoking revenge strategy which Moshe Dayan masterminded. Why is Israel even going so hard? They aren't allowed to take any territory by our American government, right? Come on, dude. They are the American government. What the fuck are you talking about? I like that Duck Slapper changed their name to Duck Slapper. I think Duck Slapper is so much funnier. <laughs> it's really funny, Duck Slapper. Yeah, um, another not so fun fact is that Israel has killed 500 plus Palestinians in the West Bank since you meet October Stryker? 7th. No, but it's West Duck Bank. Slapper now. Not Hamas, in the West Bank. Okay? Not Gaza, in the West Bank. In occupied Palestinian land. It was land Meat Stroker, now it's Dick Slapper, occupied. and now it's Duck Slapper. And it's awesome. We've already talked one? about, uh, yes, we've already talked about the the supposed architectural reason or uh, archaeological reasons as to why um you know israel is digging deep under the al-aqsa mosque and most likely undermining the foundations of the al-aqsa mosque for years and years at this point they're trying to destroy it The Israeli ICC judge just resigned. Oh my God. Israel's appointed judge of the International Court of Justice resigned, citing personal reasons. Retired Supreme Court President Aharon Barak has resigned from his position as judge. At the hearing concerning South Africa's petition accusing. No, this is not ICC. This is ICJ. In Gaza, citing personal reasons. Oh shit. Likely having attacks on their family, let's be real. Like they were probably getting death threats. Anyway, um, things are not looking great, is my point, okay? They're not looking good at all. Uh, well, not the ICJ thing. This. Sorry. If you don't do that, they attack you. You have to kill one of them. p like think about it this way pre-october 7 discourse among um the progressive pro-palestinian camp 
was that it's a faux pas to make comparisons to Nazis in Israel. It's no longer a faux pas. Pure fascism. Here is Omdim Beyachad on so-called Jerusalem Day. Droves of young West Bank settlers come to Jerusalem to attack Palestinians in the Old City. My dog so was watching. There and they try to provide protective presence, de-escalate, and force the police to stop right-wing violence. Hope, sorry for radicalizing your dog. But of course, fail ultimately because these fucking douchebags are the ones that the police are there to protect, really. I haven't found as many truffles, which sucks. Truffles <laughs> have been nerfed a lot. Um, I think that maybe you can only find them in caves now or something. Only, yeah, you can suck my dick, dude. Put me in fucking jail. Okay. Um, yeah. This is the death that this is the death the Arabs chant that they were doing. No troubles and hearty uh, urines, but Hassan they also they here. also removed the hearty the radishes. Also strong this year. Oh, this is. I don't know what kind of fucking new and unique e evil dumb fuck shit this is, but or maybe it's old. I'm not familiar with it. Oh yay! Okay, we found another one of these. Okay, let's go. When I see yellow, so rare. I, you uh, thought about domesticating some pigs? I mean, if I see yellow with Arabic lettering, not I yet. Hezbollah. When I see yellow with Hebrew or the Star of David on it, I I think Kahanis. I don't know if it's uh, Kahanis or not, but. Hey, partner, I think we should solve all of the, the mysteries Usually, of the stables like the now. Kahanis flag is yellow. I don't know Hello. if this is the Kahanis flag. Hello, everyone. I don't know what's going on there. Let's go to the shrine. But... <sighs> Who are the purple vests? Yes. Uh, the purple vests are Omdim uh which is uh, Hebrew for standing together. They are a, uh Israeli organization... Uh, comprised of both Israeli Jews and also Palestinian citizens of Israel. Uh, they are, I would say, probably the most popular um, progressive movement in Israel. Like, they're nowhere near as popular as, like, uh, the, the genuine anti-Zionist leftists in Israel. But they are, you know, they do a lot of, uh, they do a lot of good work, for sure. They didn't remove them, just harder to find, really? Fascist. Oh my god, you can find hearty uh, radishes Israeli in this game, still I haven't found Israeli one. The government is, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty good. Where did all these kids come from? Did they travel just to do Nazi shit? Uh, yes. Uh, they came from uh, the West Bank, probably Hebron. I don't know. Medication I mean, that's where like, a lot of the most rabid, uh, the most rabid ultra Zionist settlers are. But yes, they come from the West Bank to Jerusalem yeah. to beat the shit out of uh, Palestinians. No, they're not from Brooklyn, okay? No, not all of those guys are from Brooklyn. Many of them are just like fucking straight up from there. From They were born in a fucking illegal settlement. They're making a critical alert. Sick. Thought I remember to take my antibiotics. There's a I love that Apple had that. We'll That's talk about, amazing. Uh, Matt Miller getting cooked again. I never. They knew. are there to normalize apartheid. BDS has even called them out specifically, and BDS isn't even that radical. <sighs> Easy to find Sky Island. So many of them are from New okay, York. Okay, well then I'm we're gonna joking. go find I them. There today. No, I listen. I know there are more than seventy-five thousand American Ooh, okay. citizens with dual nationality with Israel that live in the West Bank alone. Okay, in occupied illegal settlements. These people are technically doing what is known as settler terrorism. Okay, as in their presence in this. Oh, it's Jenga. Uh, their presence in this land that does oh my god, not belong it's fucking to them Jenga. is actually an act of terror. Oh my god, I'm playing Beyond Jenga. That, they also engage in like oh my god. regular acts of terror that you are seeing unfolding in front of your eyes. 
Okay. Okay, well, I have you. How is so. mainstream media literally not covering this Nazi shit? It's insane. Goes to show that America is squarely a fascist state. They're not covering this in the same re for the same exact reasons as to why they didn't offer a lot of coverage to the Mossad activity uh, with the ICC prosecutor Ben Suda. That was the Guardian's own reporting, and yet I love this. I'm literally reason, playing Jenga. A lot of fucking play in American this news. Is the best. The reason why it doesn't get a lot of play in American news. Is I love that they Israel included look Jenga really in the game. Bad. Okay, that's it. What an it incredible shine, really dude. You can't really spin this. It, Another point on straightness. It it, and it's also really giant Jenga too, dude. Holy moly. Understand as well, because this type of shit, Americans can contextualize as well. They don't just see the star of David and go, oh, these guys must be the good guys. They look at those guys. They hear what they're saying. They hear, they see their actions and they go, oh, I know what this is like. This is exactly like the fucking clan. This is exactly like the Hitler youth. This is exactly like the insane right wing militias uh, doing mob violence and, and looking to lynch people. So that's what it is so you're not going to see a lot of this just like you don't see a lot of coverage from the west bank in general because the violence in the west bank the violence in the west bank is something that americans and the western world can conceptualize can contextualize much better than the the rubble the cities reduce the rubble that you see in gaza when you see the cities reduce the rubble in Gaza. You think, oh, this is just like Syria. Oh, this is just like Iraq. This is just like Afghanistan. It's okay, I understand. Muslims that are, you know, getting punished for being radical or scary or, or, or violent and barbaric. Americans are trained to see city blocks being reduced to rubble in Muslim areas. They, they know that that is like some... They, they think that that is somehow permissible. They've been taught that that is actually valid due to all of the propaganda surrounding the war on terror. The failed war on terror. But when you see West Bank violence against Palestinians, indigenous to the land, Palestinians being brutalized by fucking random inbred religious fundamentalist hicks, Okay, like this, and they're fucking spawn of Satan children, okay? These fucking demon dipshits. Assaulting fucking... Uh, uh, assaulting Damn, that's the tricky. Press, okay? When you see shit like that, when you see this, all of a sudden, you go, whoa, 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 I know what that is. This is ridiculous. This is unacceptable. Okay, okay if we hold it right there, we'll get it. Oh, one. Okay, let's put this ball in first and then we'll see. Like, I think, I think Jacob, y'all remember Jacob? Oh, if I don't steal this, someone else will. Jacob from fucking Long Island. I think he was either from Brooklyn or Long Island. Like, that was literally like a, a like a genuine moment where a lot of people that were first being introduced to this concept okay immediately understood what the fuck was going on okay you see that guy you see you see jacob go oh if i don't steal your home someone else will all of a sudden with a fucking brooklyn accent you're like oh i know what's going on here this is fucking ridiculous yeah you are stealing my house and if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No. Yeah, like, I'm not even exaggerating, by the way. This is just straight up. Like, that is exactly what he said. No, no one, no one uh, uh, is allowed to steal This is in Sheikh Jarrah, which is occupied East Jerusalem. Uh, this is, there is uh, obviously a, a, a policy of, like, home stealing in Sheikh Jarrah. Uh, occupied East Jerusalem directly has a demographic number, a demographic percentage that the Israeli government officially has for east jerusalem like they want to make east jerusalem uh a, a specific percentage okay, jewish I, well okay? fine it is territory it better be that good, is supposed though. to be contested this was absolutely a radicalizing moment for many people who had never actually understood what the fuck was going on maybe didn't pay attention okay why one last because one to take everybody off. knows when you got a motherfucker from brooklyn 
going in to uh, and and uh, you know another person's home being like this is mine now i stole it you go what the fuck what is happening here <laughs> Jacob, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. I didn't do this. But well, you, it's you, easy to yell at me, but I didn't do this. Yeah, you are watching. stealing my house. Okay, dude. Can I climb up this? I can't. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone Was it worth it? No. Anyway. This is the type of shit when you see in the Western world, even if you're like completely uninitiated oh, you can, with what the fuck okay. goes on in Israel. I didn't realize. I actually can, never read what these were about. Western terms. Okay, there's a clear good guy, bad guy situation. There isn't enough like justifications that stick. This is a reality that many liberal Zionists, even in Israel, understand. That's part of the reason why they're so fucking mad at like um, the, the West Bank settlers in many different instances obviously for a multitude of different reasons but this is one of them many liberal zionists personally understand that if you want to maintain the zionist project if you want to maintain the apartheid if you want to fucking keep israel the way it is demographically pure okay with a jewish majority a jewish ethno state for jews um you can't have this kind of shit happening on a regular basis because the western world sees that and goes oh what the fuck this is insane Yeah, li many liberal Zionists hate settlers because they're giving the game up. They're fucking up the bag. They're fucking up the apartheid bag. Oh, I've got four again. Great. Stamina time. Yo, Hassan, I tried showing this to a conservative co-worker of mine to try and humanize Palestinians, and he uno reverse card to me and said that that sucks, but it happens here too and pointed the squatters. How would you handle that? That's a great fucking example. How does he want to handle a squatter that comes into someone's family home? It's not like that's empty fucking real estate. There's a family directly living there and he's just taking their fucking house. That's very different than squatting, which is an empty fucking building. But even then, okay, I'll ask back in a your second. fucking right wing coworker how they would handle what an some insane random like, oh, the rain here is so loud. Chad, breaking I love it. into their home and being like, this is mine now. Okay. What would your right wing coworker do in that situation? They would fucking bust out the blicky and pop him in the fucking head. Okay, that's exactly, that's exactly what they would do. That's crazy. The mob moved on. This happened during a march. The flag march. Saif is okay-ish. This is all like a final. I had an update of his on his condition. What is this? Seen the fucking state of this? NHS staff will be banned from showing Palestinian flags at work. The health secretary says, yeah, fuck them. Why'd you make it look so bad? It's not that bad. Yes, I know. It's not as bad as the top of the hour ad break, which you are trying to fucking debate me into serving. And that bait is actually worse than anything I could have shown you. If you think that that is like good bait, you're wrong. Okay. Okay. At the top of the hour, there is a three-minute ad break. You no longer want to see those ads. All you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, okay?
Can you describe what makes Israel fascist, specifically in how they operate domestically? This isn't a gotcha. I mean, what do you think this is? Like, what do you think we're looking at right now? Zionism is a fascist ideology. Okay? That's all it is. It is about one group of people with certain characteristics, inalienable, unchangeable, genetic characteristics. Ju Judaism is an ethno-religion. Dominating anyone who is not a part of that in-group. Dominating them through violent means. It is an ideology built around the justification of settler colonial violence. The th difference is settler colonial violence, settler colonial violence in general, predates the fascism of, uh, of, of, you know, contemporary history. So we just didn't dictate it or we didn't acknowledge it as fascism. The only difference is Israel gets, Israel's doing the same settler colonial violence that many of the Western world was built on, including the United States of America, in 2024, in fucking broad daylight. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. Israeli politics explain, what is this? I'm not gonna watch this right now. Um, Yeah, fascism is easily identified as blood and soil. Zionism is about blood and soil, 100%. Nazi Germany also had a cellular colonial project. Ooh. Exactly. Rain Lebens is Rome. like super, super loud. So, you know, literally the same shit. Has that be taken over by the ego or something? I'm not stopping to talk to you. What if, what if you try and kill me? Coalition. Also a reminder that... 500. Come on, Bobby, let's go party. Okay. It has been, hasn't it? Oh, fuck. How fucked history is where Jewish people went through genocide and now they're doing one to people they consider the enemy. I mean, I think the most fucked up part is that they're okay. all... They're, the Israeli government is claiming that they're doing this for Judaism. Okay. Okay, fuck all of you, motherfuckers. This is not being Bitch done ass. for Judaism. There is no, there is no Judaism here. Okay, this is. I'm just going to the Sky Island to nonsense. to farm some food. Okay? okay. Fuck this shit. This Earthling shit. It was worth it. I'll come back there and reclaim it another time. I just put some You're toast in. You're not getting an invite to the Zionist cookout? Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> trust Sorry, me. I'm leaving I'm, again I'm to get my toast. Interested in eating shittier, watered-down versions of the food of of uh, the the areas that I grew up in. Okay, I'm good. I'm good on that. I'm missing out on fucking absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm missing out on the worst dog shit techno music.
being played by dudes wearing capri pants, tight ass capri pants, uh, serving me the absolute fucking worst food. In many instances, this is food of my people as well. I'm good. I'm good on that completely. You know, miss me with that entirely, I think. There's the. So why is Spectator saying Tel Aviv is the best, bet world best cities for food 2023? Wait, what? I fucking, who cares, dude? They're British. What do they know about food? Tonight, President Biden is walking a fine line with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, offering some of his harshest criticism yet. In a new interview with Time magazine, the president was asked whether he thought Netanyahu is prolonging the war for his own political self-preservation. He said, I'm not going to comment on that. There is every reason for people to draw that conclusion. That response is drawing backlash from Israel. It is outside the diplomatic norms of every right-thinking country to comment on the leaders, uh, whether they should be a prime minister or not be a prime minister. Today, I asked the president to clarify, and he walked the comments back. Is Prime Minister Netanyahu playing politics with the war? I don't think so. He's trying to work out a serious problem again. Asked by time whether Israeli forces have committed war crimes in Gaza, statue. President Biden answered that it's uncertain and has been investigated by the Israelis themselves. Though. The president also saying he did not think Israel was starving civilians intentionally, but I think they've engaged in activity that is inappropriate. Still, even after this warning to Israel last month, they go into Rafah. I'm not supplying the weapons. The U.S. is still backing its ally. Now, with ceasefire negotiations stalled, today the White House National Security Advisor met with families of the hostages. Sky Island, that's great. mother. Once again, we're in this cycle where everyone is waiting on an answer, right? We're really, really hoping that the deal goes through. The president also says his biggest disagreement with the prime minister is about what should happen after the war and whether there's a two-state solution. Lester? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories. It's pretty in cool. With... It, it's pretty cool that they're not in even... This, uh, in this area here? They're not even, you know... The north one? Israel's not even lying about it anymore. <laughs> Israel's just straight up like, nah, dog, no two states. Fuck you. Suck my dick. Cool. That's great. I'm sure we will, any moment now, we'll start punishing them for uh, this this very obvious. Well, I'm uh, still going to explore. Contradictory so narrative that they are designing. With Time Magazine, President Joe Biden was asked whether Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is prolonging the siege of Gaza for his own political gain. Biden responded, "There is every reason for people to draw that conclusion." This is a story. This comes after the Times of Israel recently. Yeah, um, we'll get to this in a second. We, I, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about this yet. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Are these plays oh, the on YouTube? Yep. Groups, man, they're so fucking fire. Um, I, really I think if you that a get X Mage Monk bots, you can you find all of the. Has literally been taken over by hogs. But and yeah, We're not you'll just have to. Our way out of this wild pigs if you want to find the days Florida I've played it, just go into Twitch track and it'll tell you the days I've played it, and then Great. you can like double check um, with the vods. Tifu will deal Twitch with tracker will tell you like the details of when I played, and then you can just have a look at the vods. Yeah. <laughs> and the ball coincidentally just Tifu's timed one. Got him. No, it didn't. Um, story about oh, how yeah, Israel true, above, uses yeah. trees to ethnically cleanse Palestine. It's a story that involves... Oh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is like weird uh, eco-terrorism, uh, I guess. I mean, this is this has been happening since 1948. Mm -hmm. Very odd. And it actually, unironically... So, around here? Uh, hurts the... the um, what do you mean, like... For Israel, too? It's not like... What do you mean, like here? It's very, it's a very odd thing that they're oh, doing. Okay. Involves European pine trees. Where though? This is so cold. celebrities, and if you've ever donated yeah. to this little blue box, it involves you too. The story begins in 1948 when Zionists. There were literal chatters in here, 
who talked about their own personal experiences with What's birthright that? because this is like baked into uh, Zionist propaganda in the Western world where people who thought that they were just like planting trees in the most innocent way possible, not recognizing that they were participating in this action that was actually destroying oh, really? the indigenous, the indigenous uh, ecosystem. That's that's cool. I, was it was it Sam Cedar who talked about it originally? Oh, I'm cold. Nist militias forced over seventy five percent of the Palestinian population Uncle out of Sam their homes about it too, and yeah. off their land, emptying and destroying over five hundred Palestinian villages. So I want to go there. Palestinians called this event the Nakba, which is Arabic for catastrophe. Oh, it was Hamid. The Israelis yeah. mark yeah. this event as their Independence Day. Okay. Shortly after the state of Israel was created, the state seized and illegally annexed over 240,000 acres of land. Land and property that was classified as abandoned after its Palestinian owners were forced out and barred from returning. This stolen Palestinian land was transferred to an organization by the name of the Jewish National Fund, or the JNF, an international organization with charitable status in countries like the US, Canada, and the UK. But the JNF isn't your average charity. Established in 1901, the JNF has played a key role in the colonization of Palestine. Mm. In its early days, collecting That's money way too the early. Movement to buy up Palestinian Joshua, something land way too early. European Jewish colonists with a mandate to redeem land in Palestine for the purpose of settling Jews. Part of the way the JNF raised money to buy land in Palestine was through these blue tin boxes. By World War II, over one million JNF collection well, I'm just boxes my had been distributed to Jewish communities all around the world. With each coin dropped into these blue tin boxes, going towards land purchases and tree planting in Palestine. But before the Nakba, the JNF wasn't really that successful. As of May 1948, the JNF had only managed to purchase around 3.56% of the land of historic Palestine. But after the Nakba, through the forcible seizure of Palestinian land, that number rose to 13%, over 600,000 acres of land. And with all this new land at its disposal, the JNF embarked on a massive tree planting drive across occupied Palestine. Claiming it was planting forests on barren, desolate land, presenting yeah. its project to the world as environmental. Yeah, making the desert bloom is how uh, this is presented to the Western world. Mentalism, building family friendly green lungs across the country. Except these green lungs were conveniently built where Palestinian villages and towns once stood. It's some real nefarious shit, dude. Like, real nefarious shit. Oh, we're, we're, you know, there's nothing here. These are abandoned lands. Nobody wanted them. It's like, yeah, nobody wanted them. You had to literally kill and forcibly remove the people off that land, destroy the villages, and then build on top of it. Greenwashing, Israel's wholesale destruction of... Power. This is why I say Zionism is fascism, okay? This is why. This is why Zionism is fascism. Palestinian communities. With the intent of not only concealing their remains, but also using forests to confiscate more stolen Palestinian land. And the JNF's tree of choice? This European, the European pine, pine tree. tree. Instead of planting indigenous trees like the olive tree, which had been on the land... They did this for everything, by the way. They destroyed Arab villages and tried to Hebrewize the Arab villages by giving them new Hebrew names. They destroyed Arab villages and planted pine trees. They killed the indigenous olive trees that take hundreds of years in certain instances to grow and literally built fucking pine tree, uh, uh, planted pine trees on top of it to Europeanize the area. Oh, that's so gross, dude. Land for centuries, the JNF instead opted for trees indigenous to Europe. Trees that would later prove to be flammable under West Asian heat and extremely detrimental to the land. Why this tree? Well, because settlers didn't just want the land. 
they also wanted it to look like Europe, transforming the Levantine landscape into something European Jewish settlers would feel at home in. So one by one, Palestinian villages were emptied and destroyed, and man-made forests... Bro, these freeways smack dab in the middle of Chicago are uh, just to get people into our diversity where they need to go, come on. <laughs> ...nature and recreational parks filled yeah. with highly flammable European pine trees... You're right, we've done it too. Exactly. Uh, more modern, more modern examples of... More modern examples of, like, personally fucking paving on top of i mean central park central park is a good example too central park is a direct example of this what is life like on bitch island i don't know ask your mom yeah racist infrastructure is like white supremacist infrastructure is a you know foundational principle for white supremacist countries another settler colonial state the united states of america trees oh i still have like no place. health a Lejun became Megiddo Forest, Beit Jiz turned into Rabin Park, and American Independence Park was built on the ruins of seven Palestinian villages. Through the JNF's Holy environmental fuck, dude. work, over 250 million trees were planted throughout historic Palestine, covering up the remains of over 500 Palestinian destroyed villages all thanks to tax-free donations from Jews and non-Jews around the world. With the blue collection box... Because yeah, that's actually a really interesting uh, question. Um, can oh anyone my gosh. remember wow. another I did not, fascist, I never knew that possibly, happened. nation that took a lot of uh, influence from American settler colonialism and its white supremacist uh, modus operandi, whether it be Manifest Destiny... Or uh, whether it be, uh, you know, racial segregation and, and eugenics. Who was... Oh, that's right. It's the Nazis. That's right. Adolf fucking Hitler. He did that shit Those too. Those are new rating feature? That's crazy. Huh. It almost feels like fascism as a, as a ideology is just constantly ripping other prior fascist formations. Hmm. Becoming a sentimental icon that represented a connection to the National Zionist Project with so many people either donating or planting trees. We have a look. From politicians of today like Kamala Harris. I fondly remember those Jewish national fund boxes that we would use to collect donations to plant trees for Israel. To iconic celebrities Hi. like Frank Sinatra and Elizabeth Taylor, all complicit in greenwashing. But behind the photo oh, ops and little browser. boxes is the truth of what lay beneath these forests. Today, more than two thirds of all JNF parks are built on oh, destroyed okay. Palestinian villages. That's 46 out of 68 national oh, that's parks. That's cool. The JNF. I feel like such a fucking idiot. I grew up hearing about how Jews care so much about planting trees in the environment. I mean, listen, you're not. It's it's fine. It's like, how are you supposed to fucking know? Okay. It's about. It's about learning. You know, it, it, this you entire process since 1901 is specifically no, designed fine. to dupe <laughs> you and others. Like, there is no, there is no reason to keep feeling bad. Happy birthday! For for being duped about this in the past. Like, just when, but, move Hassan's on. Birthday, isn't, it isn't is it, a very, is it on the 24th? very. Uh, it's a very special. It is oh, a very yeah, yeah, yeah. nefarious yeah, I've and seen very this. successful yeah. marketing campaign. I I find oh, yeah, that to yeah, be a yeah, waste of time this. to be like uh, genuinely upset about. Yeah, yeah. There's a vote uh, for it still. About who you were in the past and what you believed in the I'll past. I'll find it for you at some point. As long as you have recognized that it's wrong and you know the truth, then you know you just move on and you spread that truth to others around you to do your very best. F continues to operate in countries around the world using tax-free donations to not only cover up the crimes of the I past, guess I'm taking this shield. But to steal more and more Palestinian Well, I've got this. Today, in places like the Nakab Desert, where the JNF is working now with the state of Israel to use forestation or the process of planting trees to evict Palestinian Bedouins from their lands and replace- You weren't completely thrown when you learned about the Armenian genocide when you were young? Not necessarily. It always smelled fishy. And also, um, 
The Armenian genocide is recognized. This is way more nefarious than that. The Armenian genocide is not recognized as a genocide, but still like death and destruction upon the Armenian population is recognized. It's just the in the Turkish propaganda side of it, they say it was a necessary Turn, slap, violence because the shield. Armenians were collaborating in the villages with the with the Russians during World War One and like killing uh you know killing children and yada yada yada. So for that reason uh for that reason it was just like if you literally look at it you're, Bro, if you look i guess at i have to use it skepticism with a healthy oh well, no i can just do this you can uh kind of parse through that propaganda same with uh same with pogroms against kurdish uh people yeah the the turks say the same about us as being massacred and that's him yeah you're like, okay, so there were killings, but you're saying it was justified? That feels a little weird. What's that about? You know? What, what's That seems odd. Um, so, it, it's not like this shit. This is like, you know, this is, is so much more uh, holistic and so much more nefarious. Uh, it smelled fishy to you, but that's not fishy to 99.9% .9 of Turks. I only know two people in 2K that recognize it, and one of them was my history teacher, and the other is an Armenian guy. Even left this on recognize it. No, I know. I'm saying that. No, no, no. Okay, it's Plenty rocket people time. Don't recognize it because they've been lied to their whole lives. But my point is, um, my point is, there's still death that they openly admit, right? They still say, well, it was a forced relocation of an uh, entire population of people right it's just about why that happened well can you make a rocket uh, shield we'll say that is a lie like that's insane if you can make because, a rocket shield uh you know the yo lily the thank you for the five two and gifties holy moly thank you um there the justification for it or the number of deaths is, is holy moly in turkey but then also the justification for it is like uh seen as valid right uh like, oh, these are the these are the reasons why it was a necessity. That's just the way it's taught. Um, but it's still recognized that that Armenians. Were oh my killed, god, that's so cool! Right? So I think that also that opens up the door for you to at least Thank be a you, little Lee. bit more curious about it. I appreciate it. it. Um, and this is not even um this is not even saying like oh Turkish propaganda is is like more moral than Israeli propaganda or something like that. This actually oh, yeah, means that, like, there should be more Turks that recognize it. <laughs> you know what I mean? To to be honest, like I think that actually my my own this personal Hany development get a high ground during a boss fight. on this I can part imagine. of history is part of the reason why I uh, I respect anti-Zionist Israeli Jews so much. Because I kind of get it in a way that Americans cannot. Americans will never be able to understand, like, being uh, anti-imperialist in America. Because, like, American imperialism is uh, imperialism overseas. is like, coming to the recognition of indigenous genocide after the entire population has been genocide is a little bit different. If that makes sense. Whereas, like... Um, the propaganda is not so uh, utterly baked in. People kind of recognize it in America, but Fuck they're it, like, dude. Yeah, Let's it see. in the past. It sucks. This sucks. That sort of shit. Whereas, like, um, whereas, like, being anti-Zionist, being an anti-Zionist Jew in Israel, now we've got right an ancient blade, is akin to, uh, in many different ways, like openly recognizing the Armenian genocide, um, and and many other pogroms against like other uh, ethnic minorities in Turkey. Uh, in a sea of ultra nationalism, I wouldn't fuse it. Oh, well, I fuse it. I'll find more. So I get it. I know how. I know. Um, I know what you are, you know, going through in that regard. Six hundred thousand dead is a lot to say. Not as bad over. Wait, what? I don't think you understood the point I was making. <gasps> it's a fairy. them with Jewish settlers, all under gone? the guise of making the desert bloom. 
This story, and so many others like it, is a reminder of how even the most innocent things, like trees or charities that plant trees, when used by colonial entities like Israel, are often just a cover-up for something much more sinister. This one just happens to be a cover-up that's been 76 years in the making. Hassan, learn about North American Native Indigenous History Challenge? No, this is like identical. What are you talking about? I just straight up said this is settler colonialism <gasps> through and through. No! It is okay. almost identical to what Americans did. The early pilgrims. What the fuck? You know what? I forgot I I'm wasn't sneaky. I'm mobile. The fuck do you mean you're behind on mobile? No, you're not behind by an hour. I literally said this like 30 minutes ago. The fuck? Making. Anyway. Okay, I'm making all of the fairies fly away. I'm on mobile too, and we're still watching yesterday's broadcast. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just settler colonial genocidal operations. Um, you know, typical shit. Gross. Um, it is very nefarious that it is very nefarious to just like mask uh <laughs> another form of like ecological terrorism that will bite you in the ass inevitably mind you as in the non-indigenous trees that you're planting are non-indigenous for a fucking reason it means that they're not supposed to grow there it means that they will I again, jump. cause uh massive fires for example massive wildfires it will destroy the land So it ends up like when you when you destroy the indigenous olive trees and and uh do this thing you salt, you're basically salting the earth, okay? You're causing the soil to change. That is something that ends up cooking you in the long run anyway. I had a couple of trees planted in my name as a bar mitzvah present. Do you think it's worth reaching out to the org to ask them to chop them down? <laughs> no, I think it's it's done. Yeah, they only planted the one type of tree as well, destroying all biodiversity and meaning more wildfires. Yep. Just so it could look more European, that's insane. Oh. Wait, I can do that? That's exactly how Lahaina burnt down non-native grasses that couldn't handle Hawaiian heat and global warming what? making heat worse. The drying of native Hawaiian land. I yes. had no idea. That's what made it so much so worse. I could do that. <sighs> now, having said all of this, as you know, uh, you know about the Zionist project, you know about the fascism, you know about what the fuck's going on, you know about the fact that the International Criminal Court is, is looking to uh, set up an arrest warrant for Benjamin Netanyahu. What is the American government doing? Oh, that's right. The American House of Representatives today, or yesterday rather, uh, put forward a sanctions package for the new prosecutor, Kareem Khan. Uh, we had a sanctions package for the previous prosecutor Ben Suda, if you recall, for the same exact reason, mind you, daring to criticize Israel, daring to prosecute Israel for its many war crimes, unacceptable, of course, just to just to understand what side of history we're on. We're on the wrong side. We're on the bad side. Okay. Um, we're on the bad side of history. Now, when people say history won't look fond, uh, it won't look kindly upon the American population. That only means if Israel uh, and the American government falls at the end of the day. Is this literally only it, what you're talking about? correctly and accurately describe the historical events that are unfolding in front of your eyes. Yo, because Devin, thank you for the raid. Sorry, I had no like idea. I did not go off. Hold on, let me give you a shout-out. Thank you for the raid. The indigenous genocide, both in Hope you had a great stream. Australia, Canada, 
and the United States of America, three settler colonies. And the way that we talk about that indigenous genocide will be how the way uh, people talk about the Israeli genocide of the native population. Let's see what the fuck this is then. Hopefully that is not I what I don't think we happen. went up here, did we? You know, that's why I try to use no. my time and, and, I don't uh, think and, and I all of my know. efforts in the best ways possible okay. to educate people and try to change the trajectory. Okay. Now, having said that, as I mentioned, we have decided to invite Benjamin Netanyahu, the war criminal, to the United States of America in an effort, uh, in a in a moment of bipartisanship. Oh, hearty bait, ba bass. Moment of bipartisanship. No. How beautiful. God, I love America so much. Am I a pineapple? I said hot radish. Okay, I'll get the hearty bass then. I said hot radish. Kim Jeffries has invited Bibi Netanyahu to speak to the American Congress. Yeah, it, in they were they Time were in magazine, Breath Joe of Biden the Wild. That's Prime what I've been looking Benjamin for. Is I apologize, it's okay. For his own political no game. worries. <laughs> Biden responded, there is every reason for people to draw that conclusion. This comes <laughs> the times we're still doing some exploring. That an aide for Netanyahu told families of the hostages. I don't know if I can Gaza. jump into that water though. It's Netanyahu really cold up here. Will not agree to end its war in Gaza in exchange for. But I will get that hearty bass. You are right. I should cook should it. Say that was a week ago. Two far right parties that are part of Netanyahu's governing coalition are. Can I get in the water though? Quit the government if the deal is accepted, which would then collapse the Netanyahu government entirely. All of which makes it. Odd that Netanyahu okay. has been extended the extremely rare privilege okay. of addressing United States Congress as soon as next week by all four bipartisan leaders of Congress. Still useful. Particularly given the fact that one of them, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, has already called for Netanyahu to Come resign. Up to the surface. The fact that Netanyahu has spent his entire Fish. career actively working to get Republicans elected over Democrats here in the U.S. to say nothing of the moral catastrophe that his war in Gaza has wrought on Palestinians where the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court is seeking an arrest warrant for Netanyahu on allegations of war crimes. The, Lana, the Hearty Ranch of the Lana Sky Islands. Okay, let's go there. talking to me because uh, the, the blip is, Lana. Not, the is not coming from my oh, house. Oh, yeah, okay. Coming from Committee. the video. He like, recently yeah. announced he will not be attending Netanyahu's speech before Congress. Senator, oh, so they still exist. Given, was the Democratic caucus in the Senate given input into this decision to invite him okay, you can or use time bombs up. or electricity of course that's a good question and to the best of my knowledge there has been very very little debate on this decision and i think i speak not just for myself but for a number of other senators who think that that decision is a very very bad one uh you do not honor a foreign leader by addressing a joint session of congress who is currently engaged in creating the worst humanitarian disaster uh, in the modern history of this country. Obviously, as we all know, Israel has a right to defend itself. Oh, boo, 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 Bernie, boo. Against Hamas terrorism and the terrible You don't have attack. to say that, bro. You just don't. You don't have to say it. It's been eight months, dog. It's been eight months, big dog. Yeah, he doesn't have to say it. October 7th. But what it is doing you have a now question? Sure, is going to war against the entire Palestinian people. You can people. ask me. And what we are seeing now is starvation and famine impacting thousands and thousands of children. I want to check out this island, though. The policy is not somebody you honor by bringing to the United States Congress, in my view. I, I want to play for you something that the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, had to say about you specifically, because I want to give you an opportunity to respond. He's one of the four leaders that invited Netanyahu. Uh, and this is what Speaker Johnson had to say about your objections to Netanyahu coming. Take a listen. This is a time to choose a side. If Bernie Sanders wants to side with the terrorists, that's so be it. And if other Democrats want to do that, it's on them. But I'm telling you, I, I pray and hope and expect that most of the members of the House of both parties and We're not gonna reach it, will but join we'll us for this historic address. He's like, <laughs> we don't want no bad I'll Jews. Come, uh... Okay, we only want the good Jews, you know? The kind that Hats, need to live in the IRS desert, or as a matter of fact, when asses out there. Okay? You understand me? Hatios. The bad Jews will send I have no right idea. Now. The good Jews, they'll go to hell when the rapture happens. I'm Mike Johnson, and this is how I feel about the Jews. I have no idea Number why. Number one ally of Israel in Congress. 
What do you say to being French accused word. of siding with the terrorists if you do not adjoin? Oh, shit, I went past it. <laughs> Do there you think it is. Christian Zionists are anti-Semitic? I don't think Christian Zionists um, are anti-Semitic. I have no I idea. I know Christian Zionists are anti-Semitic. I have no it's idea. Christian Zionism is an anti-Semitic concept. Okay? It is it is built upon the idea that Jews I have no idea of why it's so away from us, okay? They use their magic money powers I don't in know the what desert, it is away even. from us of uh, us good Christians, uh, good Christians of the faith, okay? And Wouldn't you say it a second ago? To evangelical Christianity burn in hell eternally no idea. when the rapture happens. Okay, they all die at the end of Christian Zionism. They they all die. All the Jews die. Okay, the only ones that get sucked into the heavens are the ones I have that no are idea. born again Christians. There's like a whole moment. list of slurs that should, might be blocked. I have no idea. Disgusting lie. He said it yesterday. He said it again today. And I guess you know if you are part of the MAGA group. Right wing Republicans, big lies. I have no idea. You just say lies over and over. I don't even know what it means. People uh, believe them. Uh, is I have said from literally day one of this terrible war, uh, what Hamas did is atrocious. Uh, Sinwa, the leader of Hamas, is a war criminal. He should be yeah. in jail. Uh, and Israel had every right in the world to defend itself uh, against uh, Hamas. But like the reason why this argument is is inherently self-defeating is like okay so if it was only five thousand babies that israel fucking slaughtered then you'd be fine with it like what are we doing what are we fucking doing like people will say oh he has to say this bernie has to say this i think it's copium okay i think it's copium from people who want to maintain the position that like bernie sanders is is woke It's just like, like any moment that you spend right now, uh, even remotely justifying Israel's actions and not calling it what it is, genocide, is a moment that you are lending credence. Is a moment that you're lending credence to like. I want to do main stuff right now. In Gaza in general. But what, you know, what uh, Johnson is doing is what right wing people always do. If you back in the day, if you stood up for civil rights or social justice, they called you a communist. For the record, I don't think it's pragmatism. I don't think it's pragmatic. I, I, I think it's complicity. Uh, that's it. I, I, I love Bernie Sanders. I will always love Bernie Sanders. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Like, it's just. This is the one issue where I think he's at best a liberal Zionist. He is not as progressive as Israeli Jewish members of the Knesset, like Dr. Ofer Kassif, for example. It's just not a thing that he is going to be uh, woke on. And it's not even the distinction of like anti Zionism or pro Zionism or anything like that. I'm not, like, I don't care what he calls himself. I, I, he doesn't have to be like, I am an anti-Zionist or whatever, you know? He doesn't have to say any of that shit. Straight up wrong about this one? No. You can't, as a lifelong socialist who has demonstrated uh, uh, an ideological commitment to Western... Uh, uh, an ideological commitment to ending Western chauvinism... Okay, for most of your career, most of your political career, turn around and reiterate oh my God, we got other Genshin Western Shabbos principles here. in the midst of an ongoing ethnic cleansing campaign. Okay, I love Bernie. You know I love Bernie. Come on, guys, and I will always love Bernie. Okay. No, yeah, that's fine. Yubi's in here. And pre October seven, you I will go so far as say Bernie Sanders you, was Yubi is one the, of Yubi is the Gen shit nerd. The most Yo, do you remember anti Israel politician? Do you remember on the and like the the first R slash place, which was really fucking good on Twitch. The one Hassan took uh, like was going. <laughs> he did the thing with, bro. Do you literally remember how like? <laughs> You remember how they kept on changing it to Gen shit? 
Anakin shouldn't community got really upset and everybody kept on trolling and chaining it to Gench. <laughs> it was really funny. And he still does, to a certain degree, continue to say that. <sighs> Which is wild to see him uh, not Yay, okay. assume All right. the Enough same... Enough uh, uh, lameders. Bro, it's 87 my house. I don't know what that means. I'm roasting alive. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudo Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru. Yes, that's the bigoted. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. Something I'd like to show you all. Stand with me. I need all your aid. I know where that place is. <gasps> Monka, it's like a cult. Yep. <laughs> True. It is like a cult, isn't it? Okay, sick. My memories! Try it out of you. You voluntarily gave it up. You are a Nazi. Okay? Okay, I guess we're going to do some spelunking. Um, I don't think I'm the let's upset go cook one. Some stuff. I think you are the upset one. By the way, Mehdekar, thank you for the 50 gifted subs. I forgot to mention it. That happened five minutes ago. Sorry.
Okay. Anyway. <sighs> You're just wrong on all points. Brother, you just said kill them all. We stand with Israel. How do you think that is even remotely redeemable? Once you say that, everyone knows exactly what you are. Okay? <laughs> like, what, what do you mean? I think you have to understand. I think you have to understand something, okay? You might be whipped up in a frenzy, right? You might be whipped up in a frenzy. You might have an in-group of, pe of, of people that are in your immediate vicinity that share the same kind of genocidal uh, sentiment and genocidal attitude that you have. Okay, but well, when we'll you leave that going. Group, the reason why many Israelis currently feel alone in the world and think that like anti-Semitism is on the rise everywhere, which it is, by the way, anti-Semitism is on the rise, but like that, like the UN is anti-Semitic and Hamas or all of these instruments of justice, international justice are actually uh, completely controlled by Hamas. The reason why you feel that way is because you are rabidly genocidal and you cannot comprehend a world where other people look at this and maybe aren't as invested in the Zionist fascist project and and see it for what it actually is. You can't say kill them all, we stand with Israel and then maintain this posture that like this is defensive and that you're actually doing a good thing and that people should be on board with it. And a lot of this is born out of, That's I'm trying to be as charitable as possible with the hopes that maybe Okay, now you're just doing blood and soil propaganda. You already said kill them all, we stand with Israel, and now you've just relegated back to blood and soil propaganda, only it's furthering gone. the argument that this is 100% just pure fascism through and through. The land known as Israel has a long and history, uh, rich history dating back to a thousand years. It holds significant value in Jewish, Christian, and Islamic traditions. The ancient kingdoms of Israel and Judah were situated in this region. Okay. He's just copy pasting Wikipedia. I don't know why, but I think at the moment I'm gonna go for more hearts, even though like everyone's like no stamina, 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 because like I I just don't feel strong enough. I don't, and we don't have massive healing stuff, You're and I can always the swap them over if I, if it mouth. really is an issue. The fa that facts, bud, you lost. Why do you respond to obvious Hasbro people? I do it because it's pretty easy to fucking... Uh, I do it for this reason. Because obvious Hasbro people will come in here and be like, uh, you must be really upset right now. And then immediately demonstrate their fucking perspective. Like that. They fold so quick. That's the reason. And then they just go, uh, you lost, bud. Which is, again, further demonstration of the hug box that so many Zionists are in. They don't understand it. They will never understand it. They will never understand why so many people so this is around protection. the world now see the truth. Okay? Like, he's arguing against the shadows. And we can uh, get them the from shadows. the things. He's, he's so. shadow boxing in the chat and thinking that he's posting his dubs when in fact many people look at him and go dude that is gross like what the fuck are you saying do you understand okay that's it gloom resistant for 60 seconds well let's go get some more of those and cook and more. it's the same exact reason why so many so many zionists feel alone and cannot understand why the rest of the world looks at them and goes, ew, that's fucking gross. You're doing a genocide. I don't want no business with that. I'll offer puss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so the dark tunic tunic 
Is the dog tunic any good, by the way? Should I be getting Daniel it at question, some point? Do you think this also comes from fear because the Zionist project is failing? The propaganda department for once in a long time? No, the, the propaganda was always going to be a failure because the actions do not match the propaganda itself. The only difference is people are now paying attention to it, paying attention to the Already actions. it just looks sick. And okay. they're seeing that the, the forward posturing that you hear from Hosbera trolls it does not match the the actual actions that Israel is taking. That's it. And it is that arrogance and entitlement and and complacency that was born out of 76 years of uh, a, a genuine lack of interest, maybe even a calculated lack of interest and, and propaganda that caused so many Zionists now to show their fucking true opinions about the Palestinian population. They can't, they can't reason with it. They can't what understand that people us? go, dude, yeah, that's really fucked up. 36,000 people? No thanks. I don't like that. It's not even a thing. It, it, it's just, they just don't understand it, and they get more and more okay, we'll rabid find at and some more point. and more angry as time goes on. Um, we just need general healing well, stuff that, now. But since I have you here, I, I suspect you would not support that, but I want to ask <laughs> you what you think about the House passing. I mean, needless to say, I wouldn't support it, and it's a terrible idea. But the function of the ICC is, Chris, as you know, is to... Uh, implement uh, international law, Geneva Convention and other laws that were established after the horrors of World War II. Uh, last year, the ICC said that uh, Putin is a war criminal, which I believe he is, uh, kidnapping thousands of Ukrainian children and starting... Okay, do you think uh, Netanyahu is a war criminal too then? Like, I don't war, get it. Uh, ...in Europe since World War II. He is a war criminal. Uh, Recently, last month, they said that Sinwa, the leader of Hamas, is a war criminal for having started this war and the terrible atrocities against innocent Israelis. He is. But you know what? Netanyahu, who is now bringing about an unprecedented humanitarian disaster, destroying housing. That's the other part of this conversation that also uh, frustrates me to no end, saying Yahya Sinwar started this. Yeah, bro. He he started this. Like, come on, dog. You were alive when Israel wasn't a thing. The fuck do you mean? You were literally there. Crazy. I mean, you were alive when Moses was around, but that's besides the point. Okay, you were alive when Jesus was around. You saw it all. You're eight hundred thousand years old. Okay, but the notion that like, oh, Yahya Sinwa started this is fucking bullshit. Okay. It's bullshit. It's a historical nonsense. 76 years? Come on. Hamas started this. Like, there, I, I can never turn around and, and and act like this is a valid thing to say because it's not. <laughs> the infrastructure, the healthcare system, and creating conditions on which thousands of children could starve to death you know what? That is a violation of international law as well, and he should be charged with that. The uh, the president came forward and announced an endorsement of the contours of a deal that had been a deal, as far as my understanding, and there's a lot of back and forth on this, so none of this is... It, it, it's a little hard to nail down, but the contours of a deal between... So wait, wait, wait. What is he? As well, and he should be charged with that. Okay. Yahya Sinwa is a war criminal. Okay. What about uh, what about Bibi then? The uh, the president came forward and announced an endorsement of the contours of a deal that had been a deal, as far as my understanding, and there's a lot of back and forth on this. So, I know he was talking about Bibi. I am listening. Even then, he can't get himself to say Benjamin Netanyahu is a war criminal. He's just saying he should be charged with uh, the unprecedented destruction that he is. 
Oh, you guys are not understanding. Uh, okay, whatever. It's you're right. He is alluding to it. Even then, though, he can't get himself to like openly fucking say those words. None of this is. It, it, it's a little hard to nail down, but the contours of a deal between Israel and Hamas for release of hostages, exchange for a cessation of hostilities, essentially for some period of time, and then for maybe that transitions. Um, it seemed he was attempting to try to l stop the both sides from backing out of the deal publicly. What is your reaction to, to... Chatters are so good at picking up on neutral language, okay? Chatters are so fucking quick to call out the New York Times when they do passive voice when describing Israel's actions. Palestinians are never ruthlessly slaughtered. Israelis are ruthlessly slaughtered, mercilessly slaughtered in their beds. They all have lives, dreams, and aspirations cut short by the Hamas terrorists, right? Palestinians, on the other hand, well, they simply perish as a consequence of this naturally occurring phenomena, okay? You are so quick to recognize the neutral tones and passive language uh, when it comes to mainstream media. But obviously, when it's Bernie Sanders doing some of that okay while also repeating a lot of ahistorical propaganda that favors israel's actions to a certain degree while simultaneously saying it's a humanitarian crisis it's just so much easier to use a, a humanitarian crisis alone makes it's just it so much like easier it to use be a, a byproduct of an earthquake or a tsunami a volcano exploding okay for chatter i don't think israelis have a new fear for Zionism. Israelis always exist uh, within this fascist paradox of eternal paranoia regarding the existence of the state on the one hand, and look at how powerful and great we are despite being so small on the other. Both Try featuring lamps of various sizes like with this, bonus material made to help with the Arabs, Haredi, secular Jews, Jews Sick. everyone is okay. somehow an, an existential threat to the existence of Israel. Yeah. Okay, let's get all that Zionite. Speaking of Haredis, uh, they didn't. Uh, Haredi party in the Netanyahu coalition also called for a ceasefire today or yesterday. The Haredis are fucking rising up, dude. They don't want to serve in the goddamn military. Let me tell you, they're like, nope, fuck this shit. So Bernie, Bernie stands with a principal uh, stand. Uh, huh. Show the Bernie stands what a real uh, principal stance Thank looks you, like. Every single one of you being here tonight to bear witness, bear witness of the horror that is now going on in Rafa. One million people kettled into Rafa whilst the Israeli forces continue the bombardment. 34,000 already killed. 11,000 of those at least are children. I don't know and if I can show some of this. The response in Western Europe and the United States is to attack those who demonstrate in support of those who are under attack. Well, that's why we're here tonight, because we are determined to bring about a justice and to bring about an end to the occupation. And so the US and Europe might attack the International Criminal Court, that Germany might ban Yanis Varoufakis from speaking at a Palestinian event, France might ban Dr. Oh my God, he's so speaking. good, dude. But we will carry on whatever they say and whatever their answer is to that. He's amazing. He is not going to go away. That millions of people all over the world, just like us here tonight in Whitehall, are meeting, marching, and demonstrating in support of the Palestinian. Oh my people. God, he's fucking amazing. I want to say a thank you. Yeah, to I think he literally is my favorite politician of all time. So much hope during this time. Fuck, he's brilliant, Students dude. In campuses all across the USA, those in London at SOAS and UCL. Who have encampments outside. Oh my gosh, he's so they good. Are the they are the people. They are the people that are showing the way. So be prepared to be here many times more. We ain't going away. We ain't disappearing. We're standing with the Palestinian people. My fucking goat, dude. That's why he's the best boy. Okay, the absolute best. He is That's absolutely amazing. To, to him attempting to do that and are you do you have hope that this could happen well look i i disagree with 
the president's general policies toward Israel and what's happening in Gaza, but he is trying uh, on occasion to do the right thing. And I think anyone who is aware really? of Bernie, the really? level of suffering and destruction now in Gaza wants an immediate ceasefire. You need massive amounts of humanitarian aid to save, you know, thousands and thousands uh, of children. And of course, Netanyahu, as usual, undermines the president of the United States. And by the way, let's all be clear. This is not some abstract war being fought in another part of the world. We are, to a significant degree, as Americans, our tax dollars are funding this war. Shaz and UTJ, the two Haredi parties, both came in support of the Israeli proposal, but it wasn't a call for ending the war. They didn't speak on that. They just said, we support the war cabinet's Israeli proposal to return the hostages. So what Netanyahu is saying, oh, by the way, Mr. President, thanks for that $10 billion for unfettered military aid, but we're not going to listen to you. We're not going to do anything you want. You know, I think that's outrageous. And that's, you know, reason number 465, why he should not be uh, invited to speak to the uh, joint session of Congress. Senator Bernie Sanders, thank you. But now we're going to get the latest on the Israel-Gaza war. Security officials from the United States, Egypt and Qatar will meet in Doha today to try to revive... Okay, the boulder the hammer. In the state, Taman, the Supreme best Court case, in order to delay a full shutdown of the facility, the state agreed to limit the facility's inmates to 200 in the immediate term and transfer away 500 detainees to other facilities in the short term. Oh, okay. It's estimated that there's 1,000 detainees. Good. They're just... That's great. Uh, progress. Centrist progress, baby. We only get to torture... We only get to torture 200 people instead of the 1,000 that we're currently torturing. And the 500 will just ship them somewhere else where they can get less torture. Not like... We won't put an end to the torture, mind you. It's just going to be, like, less torture. On the other hand, a W for Israeli human rights orgs. Uh, on the other hand, it's the court postponing state responsibility when the prosecution has been pushing to close the whole thing down. Yeah. I love the cardigan you're wearing. Loving the grandpa era. I'm not wearing a cardigan. I'm wearing a shirt. Grandpa era. Love Chris. He's a naive baby on this issue. He's not a naive baby on this issue. He has to be. Like, what are we talking about? He ha this is job, bro. What do you what do you mean? It's you know, this is the most you're gonna get. This is the most criticism, most overt criticism you're gonna get. It's like it's like thinking I'm a naive baby at the top of the hour when I serve you a three minute ad break, you know? I'm not. My job. Don't eat my plants. He's an 80 year old neurodivergent minor. Uh, we've gone from the incredible Irish transitions to this. Okay, dude. Fucking chill. All right. Let's Negotiations continue. on a ceasefire in Gaza. Here's the three minute break and now. By the way, calm like a Tom. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. D-Boy, do five. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Allowing 25 people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. The CIA director, William Burns. The White House says it's still waiting for a response from Hamas on a plan a presented by President Biden last Friday. Hamas has insisted that any deal it subscribes to must commit to a permanent ceasefire and also an Israeli withdrawal from Gaza. On Tuesday, the Israeli army launched a new operation against Hamas in the Borge refugee camp in the center of Gaza. Israeli forces are continuing to mount an offensive in the southern city of Rafa. And the Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza City was the subject of multiple Israeli raids earlier this year. Our Middle East correspondent Yolande Nell has been speaking to rescue workers who have examined the wreckage amid calls for an international investigation into the hospital's destruction. Amid ruins that reeked of death. Palestinians poured over what was once Gaza's biggest and best-equipped hospital after Israeli forces withdrew. 
Israel's military raid in March was the second at the site, and it was dramatically destructive. Four mass graves containing, local search teams say, hundreds of bodies have now been dug up at a Shifa, prompting international calls for an investigation into possible war crimes. There are reports of suspicious finds. We've discovered bodies of women and children and people without heads, as well as torn body parts. Israel's military says it exhumed bodies which Palestinians had buried earlier as it searched for hostages seized by Hamas. Sure, dude. Some of the dead were patients. Walid believes his mother, Lena, died of malnutrition and dehydration. Her corpse was badly decomposed. I identified her from particular marks on her legs. She'd been wounded in November and had a toe amputated on each foot. Israel blames any deaths of patients on natural causes, but the World Health Organization says those trapped endured horrific conditions. During the siege, uh, 20 patients died, and, and there, were uh, there were patients from oxygen that said who couldn't get oxygen. There was not proper medication, but also the food and water. There are stories that 15 people had to share one bottle of water. Israel's army says Palestinian gunmen were based inside a Shifa. And that over two weeks it killed more than 200 Hamas and Islamic Jihad operatives. Shifa has become a main terrorist. Damn, bro, they're showing fucking Al Hamas posts? What the hell? Yo, what is going on? Some command center for Hamas. The surprise action by our forces was precise and surgical. But battles spread onto nearby streets. And here, witnesses have told us that many civilians, including entire families, were also killed by Israeli airstrikes and snipers during the Ashifa raid. A dedicated surgeon, Dr. Ahmed al makadma was one of those shot dead close to the hospital where he worked. I'm surprised at any... I spoke to a top British surgeon who'd helped train him. He was not just hungry for knowledge. He was a, a very gentle and, uh, and uh, somebody who you all of us would want to have as our sort of doctors. I thought I would be gloom Ahmed resistant. Was off shift at home near Ashifa when Israeli forces returned. After four days under siege and a harsh interrogation oh, shit. by shit. soldiers, he tried to leave Gaza City shit, on shit, foot shit, with shit, his shit. mother Yusra. <laughs> Little rock, dude. Eleven days after his disappearance, his father Saeed says, we found Ahmed's decomposed body. Israel's military says it's unaware of the deaths of the surgeon and his mother. The headshot. <laughs> Many others are still... Yeah, they're sur with surgical precision, they're removing surgeons from this planet. Still searching for loved ones missing since the Ashefa raid. With international forensic experts unable to get to the site, Gazans are mostly focusing on finding the dead and giving them proper burials. And oh, that God, adds dude. to worries that the full truth of what happened here may never be uncovered. Yolant Nell, BBC News, Jerusalem. What else can I well, use Zonide for, by the way? Like, I'm a hard like if, I, if I can only trade it for 20 things every blood moon, like, huh, shouldn't I just sell it? Let me tell you. Like, I haven't figured out what else to use it now for. From Paris, White House National Security or do, 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 Sullivan, do I just need Sullivan to be patient? Do I just need to be patient? With a, good morning. Yeah, well, let me we'll start briefly with this breaking news out of Lebanon. Yeah, other places to trade it. Embassy near Beirut. Oh my God. Be patient. I'll be no patient. I'll figure it out. But Jake Sullivan literally looks like Geo Rainbow here. But like, if he went to the beach that makes you old. I love it when Hassan does that. If you went to the beach that made you old jokes, they're pretty funny. Uh, I don't have another boulder thing, so I better make one. <laughs> Rainbow <laughs> went to the beach that makes you old. What can you share what, uh, with, with us about what you know? Well, Savannah, we've been in real-time contact with Embassy Beirut. All American personnel at the embassy are safe. No disrespect to Rainbow. I mean, he's the GOAT. He's awesome. Wait, if it's anti-gloom resistant, can I just stand in here? No, I for can't. One local Lebanese guard force member who was outside of the compound. What does the anti-gloom resistance even do then? Now. And we're working closely with local authorities to ascertain what exactly happened here. 
to ensure there's no continuing threat and we'll do all that we need to do to protect our people. It was Obviously, working right there, can I run through? The north that Israel has uh, with Hezbollah and inside Lebanon, and that's just a piece of the larger puzzle here in the Middle East. Where do things stand on this potential ceasefire deal well, that was announced by the president on Friday? It was described as an Israeli proposal. Then it seemed like Bibi Netanyahu and other advisors oh, it'll recover. from it kind of distanced oh, okay. themselves. Is it still a well, have done that then. on the table for Hamas? Oh, I see. You can just recover. You can uh, just yes, eat. It is okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. It's still an Israeli proposal. Israel's a raucous democracy, so there's a lot of talk and a lot of chatter. But the Israeli government has reconfirmed repeatedly, as recently as today, that that proposal is still on the table, and now it's up to Hamas to accept it. And the whole world should call on You'll Hamas to accept it. On its own, it, it recovers. Oh, okay, that's like put out a statement yesterday, calling on Hamas to come to the table, do the deal, get the ceasefire, get the hostages home. That's what President Biden is focused on. Well, let's talk about immigration because the president, of course, yesterday announced that there is an executive action banning most asylum applications once illegal crossings hit that threshold of 2,500 a day, went into effect at midnight. It, it gets you a big headline, a tough on the border headline, but immigration officials tell our no, reporters, I think analysts say that's fine that, that really we're no area where the statue is because, well, these things all point they towards don't have it, the don't facilities, they? The money, the manpower to hold large numbers of migrants in. In detention or fund their deportations back to their home countries. So where the statues point well, towards is where I need to go. That this okay. action the president took yesterday to bar migrants who enter unlawfully from seeking asylum will help our border patrol agents and our authorities okay. manage the border more order in a more orderly and humane way. But Savannah, you're right. At the end of the day, it is not a complete solution because the only complete solution is one that includes the Congress stepping a final solution. Oh fuck! We do a little bit of fascism here domestically as well, folks. Don't don't forget, it's not just the the fascism that we ate in a bed overseas in Israel. I should uh, be which, defeating I mean, more of these things, I guess. Domestic politics at this point, Israel is an American state, but we do a little bit of domestic uh, fascism in our own uh, border as well. I mean, come on now. So weird to hear the news champion. Uh, the capping of asylum seekers when I remember them turning into rabid dogs when Trump attempted this? Yeah, because that was Trump doing it. You don't understand. When the Democrats do it, it's good. Come on, dude. When the Democrats do it, it's like there's no other option. We had to do it to them. We had to do oh, it to them for fuck. the one time. Picking up on a bipartisan oh. basis and providing okay, the funding okay, okay, okay. that President Biden has asked for. For more okay, agents, okay, okay, more okay. facilities, more capacity. No. And Congress is not acting on that. And it's not acting on that because Republicans in Congress refuse to put that bill on the floor and vote for it. The president has asked again, including in his, in his speech yesterday, for that to happen. We'd like to see it happen. And we'd like to see it happen on a bipartisan basis as soon as possible to supplement what the president has done. Why? Fair enough. But why did the president wait so long to address immigration? I mean, these border problems are not new. Yeah, why didn't they do it earlier, huh? Why didn't the fucking president another one. start murdering oh, no. migrants earlier? What's oh, no. that about? Okay, okay. I need to What's find a rock. What's that about? Uh, like where's a rock? No where's a rock? Where's a rock? Like, where's a rock? I need to find a rock. I need to find a rock. This contradicts the fucking campaign promises that he made the first 100 year, uh, first 100 days. The media landscape turning right? No, that's that's a given. The media landscape always turns rock, rock, unimaginably rock, 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 right rock, rock, under rock, rock, democratic rock, rock, leadership. Rock, rock. That's always the case. New. This is the final. My 32 six weapon can work. Of his okay. First term. Why wait? Okay. Well, first of all, as the president said in his remarks yesterday, he's taken a series of actions at the border. And secondly, and this is critical, he put forward a comprehensive proposal to the Congress that actually the administration worked with Republicans on. That proposal was agreed to several months ago after painstaking Hello. negotiations. <laughs> and then the very proposal that Republicans had agreed to, they decided not to well, vote for uh, because the leader of their party... Yeah, that's all true, Jake, but even that was just six months ago. And said, Don't vote for it. Fair enough. That's all true, but even that was just in December. I mean, the president has been in, in, in office since 2021. This Wait, what? Breaking appeals court halts Trump's Georgia election case while appeal on Willis disqualification pending? Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, I'm so mad. Bro! This was our content. This was our fucking content. The Willis the the appeal is is said to be after the election. Okay. 
This was our motherfucking content. Oh, let's go. Dude. This was our content. Appeals court halts Trump's Georgia case during the appeal of order, allowing Willis to stay on the case. This was the one that had the this was the Rico case. This was the one that was supposed to have courtroom cameras. Yeah, I've got up to 50 now. This is also Oof. the one that I thought would actually do him in. Like in the sense that uh you know, maybe even possible jail time, which is crazy. I don't know how that would work. It would trigger a constitutional crisis in general. But this was the one that I thought would be the final blow. For Trump's campaign that would absolutely like which is I think what the Democrats were relying on too where they thought like oh yeah everyone's gonna know he's a crook and a phony and a criminal now they actually have to try hard so maybe they'll actually do some good things I don't know he fucked it up for us thirsty ass I know dude I know Imagine being so fucking thirsty that you had to, you had to, to work with, you had to work with your boyfriend and to bring him on here. And then they use that as an opening to just shit on this goddamn. Well, and by good things, you mean try out the racist, the right? What? I don't know what this magic scepter is. Um, well, Is I guess... Is this what all the weird chatters in D.C. felt when you said you weren't going? Maybe. <laughs> this is such a stupid weapon, okay. Would you like to know? This makes me I sad. I can't remember what I asked, so probably not. This immigration problem is not a new one. I literally can't remember what well, I asked. As I said, in his speech, he laid out a series of steps that he has taken at the border to increase capacity to deal with Mexico and other countries Look at all those to reduce the flow, exactly, to try dude. to get the numbers under control, to flow resources to our communities so that they can deal with the problem as well. But also, Savannah, I would just point out that one of your oh, about questions the magic scepter? was, if sure. he has to act on his own, uh, yeah, you can tell me about that. Law enforcement and his border patrol agents don't have everything they need, which is why they need more resources from Congress. That required preparation and execution. That's what the president's been focused on since that border deal didn't come through. So that when he made his announcement yesterday, he made it after a period of intense preparation so that it could be an effective policy. We well, are getting criticism from the right that you expect. You're also getting it from the left. One Democratic congressman says the president has revived Trump's asylum ban. And denying asylum applications isn't Biden doing precisely what he excoriated former President Trump for doing when he was in office. Well, first, yep. there's a major difference between what the president has done and what his predecessor did. His policy does not separate families, does not put kids in cages, does not ban people on oh, the basis of Oh, but it just doesn't give them a home? As, uh, asylum applications. President Trump did. And, and critically, huh. it does not shut down asylum. What it does is say that uh, if you hold come on. across the border okay, illegally, let me read. you are you Basically, you fuse it with gems and you make mean? an elemental weapon. How are people supposed to apply okay. for asylum, dude? What the fuck are you talking about? That is a But I can do that with other things as well. Asylum. Is it, like, different from the other ones? <laughs> Yo, um. that's what asylum is, dumbass. Uh, you don't understand, actually. Um... We've decided that, uh, you know, we're not actually shutting off a pathway to seeking asylum, except we literally are. And also, oh, shit. we're it's making more powerful? a process okay. in which you can uh, apply even shorter the window that we can apply even shorter. Nah, bro, they got an app. Yeah, an app that fucking breaks. An app that literally is designed to be faulty and not work an asylum claim there are still lawful pathways to make asylum claims in this country in an orderly and humane way and the president has gone further than any president in in generating those lawful pathways so that people looking to come here to this country with a legitimate claim to come here can do so effectively so it is night and day the difference between the policies of this administration and the last one but the president is not going to shirk from stepping up to take enforcement action that he believes is necessary to ensure order at the border. White House National Security Advisor, a lot on your plate. As always, Jake Sullivan, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here. President Biden's executive order on? back here at home giving him the authority to shut the border for asylum seekers. It took effect at midnight. Maria. Okay, before we get to the Biden asylum shit, okay. Night and day difference in so far as 11 p.m. is technically night and 1 a.m. is technically day. Yeah. Um, there's a really fun uh, report that came out. I asked the question, sad. Yeah, dude, is the solution to immigration open borders is like, yeah, of course. That's such a fucking long and convoluted answer to your question. Like, what do you want me to do? Sit here and fucking talk about that right now? Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, I moved on from your question. You're talking about immigration? No, I moved on from your fucking question because it's like too long for me to describe to describe the minutia, especially when I'm not done with the with the Israel conversation yet, okay? Christ, the customer is always right ass attitude from long term community members. Fucking chill out, please. We'll get back to it, okay? It's one that I have also literally addressed. Oh my god, you get trees too? Time's over. You are a 37 month subscriber. How have you never heard me talk about this shit? Oh. Anyway, don't yell at the virtual meal. Uh, they're a good chatter, usually. Okay. No wood. I just got mad because they were like, okay, oh, what the on. fuck? Why aren't you answering my question? You're donor walling me. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Okay. Anyway, yeah, the Haaretz New York Times okay. story is really I need funny. to I actually change the weapons. This sucks. A few months ago, and immediately saying, "Oh, this absolutely is getting fun by the government." Yeah. So, it's fucking owned. Remember how everybody oh, was wow. it complaining just about like Russian immediately. bots? Great. Okay. Paid for um, by the Russian government and FSB. Well, you know. Obviously, when Russia does it, it's bad. When Israel does it, it's just regular order of business. What I'm, of course, referencing is uh, how Israel secretly targeted U.S. lawmakers with influence campaign on the Gaza war. Compared to the current Russian, Chinese, Iranian campaigns, it is less sophisticated than the tactics currently Aww. being used. But yes, it's definitely more sophisticated than okay. in 2016, he says. The author of the article. Okay. They made the funniest, dumbest Hasbara bots that they basically fucking uh what do you mean glue resistance it's not coming back at all my hearts are not coming back at all persons claiming claiming that uh they were leftists they were you know black leftists who were pro-israel here it is Israel secretly targets U.S. lawmakers with influence campaign on Gaza war. This what article is by Shira do? Frankel and read by an automated voice. Israel organized and paid for an influence campaign mm. last year, targeting U.S. lawmakers and the American public with pro-Israel messaging, as it oh, aimed no, to foster twice support twice for its actions comes after in the war with Gaza. No, I'm talking about the gloom resistance thing that I put on. I'm not wearing gloom armor. I don't have gloom armor. The covert campaign was commissioned by Israel's Ministry of Diaspora Affairs, a government I'm body talking that about the thing I ate. around the world with the state of Israel. Four Israeli officials said the ministry allocated about two million dollars to the operation and hired Stoic, a political marketing firm in Tel Aviv, to carry it out, according to the officials. Thank God, bro. You know, tax dollars, tax dollars being used in the best way possible. At least when like China or Russia does this shit, we're not directly paying for yeah, it. I still you know don't know what, I mean? what it does yet. It literally doesn't do anything. We might be. And the documents. 
The campaign began in October and remains active on the platform X. It literally does peak, not do anything. It used hundreds of fake accounts that posed as real Americans on X, Facebook, and Instagram to post pro-Israel comments. The accounts focused on U.S. Mm. lawmakers, particularly ones who are black and Democrats, such as Representative Hakeem Jeffries, the House Minority Leader from New York, and Senator Raphael Warnock of Georgia, with posts urging them to continue funding Israel's military. ChatGPT, the artificial intelligence-powered chatbot, was used to generate many of the posts. I need to get it The rock. campaign also created three fake English-language news sites featuring pro-Israel articles. Where's the Israeli government's connection to the influence operation, which the New York Times verified with four current and former oh, members rock. of the Ministry of right? Diaspora Affairs and documents about the campaign, camera, has not previously been reported. Fake reporter and Israeli misinformation watchdog identified the effort in March. Last week, Meta, which owns Facebook and Instagram, and OpenAI, which makes ChatGPT, said they had also found and disrupted the operation. The secretive campaign signals the lengths Israel was willing to go to sway American opinion on the war in Gaza. The United States has long been one of Israel's staunchest allies, with President Biden recently signing a $15 wow. billion dollar military aid package for the country. But the conflict has been unpopular with many Americans who have called for Mr. Biden to withdraw support for Israel in the face of mounting civilian deaths really will do in Gaza. Anything, hey? The operation is the first documented case of the Israeli government's organizing a campaign to influence the U.S. government, social media experts said. While coordinated government-backed campaigns are not uncommon, they are typically difficult to prove. Iran, North Korea, China, Russia, and the United States are widely believed to back similar efforts around the world, but often mask their involvement by outsourcing the work to private companies or running them through a third country. Israel's role in this is reckless and probably ineffective, said Achia Schatz, the executive director of Fake Reporter that Israel ran an operation that interferes in U.S. politics is extremely irresponsible. Israel's Ministry of Diaspora Affairs denied involvement in the campaign and said it had no connection Completely to Completely not what a fascist Stoic nation does, by the way. Requests for comment. <laughs> the campaign didn't have a they widespread never do that. impact, Meta and OpenAI said last week. The fake accounts accumulated more than 40,000 followers across X, Facebook, and Instagram, fake reporter found, but many of those followers may have been bots and didn't generate a large audience, Meta said. The operation began just weeks into the war in October, according to Israeli officials and the documents on the effort. Dozens of Israeli tech startups received emails and WhatsApp messages that month. In One day, we will also look at what happened on Reddit. I hope that there will be more investigative reporting on on all different kinds of social media, but especially Reddit. I would love, I would love an investigation into Reddit and how unimaginably bloodthirsty it is when it comes to Israel, especially. I don't even, yeah, I don't think Reddit is a bot uh, campaign. I think it's just like straight up real human beings doing Hasbro trolling. Is that the temple? Inviting them to join urgent meetings to become digital soldiers for Israel during the war, according to messages viewed by the Times. Some of the emails and messages were sent from Israeli government officials, while others came from tech startups and incubators. The first meeting was held in Tel Aviv in mid-October. It appeared to be an informal gathering where Israelis could volunteer their technical skills to help the country's war effort. Three attendees said. Members of several government ministries also took part, they said. Participants were told that they could be warriors for Israel and that digital campaigns could be run on behalf of the country, according to recordings of the meetings. The Ministry of Diaspora Affairs commissioned a campaign aimed at the United States, the Israeli official said. A budget of about $2 million was set, according to one message viewed by the Times. 
Stoic was hired to run the campaign. On its website and on LinkedIn, Stoic says it was founded in 2017 by a team of political and business strategists and calls itself a political marketing and business intelligence firm. Other companies may have been hired to run additional campaigns, one Israeli official said. Many of the campaign's fake accounts on X, Instagram, and Facebook posed as fictional American students, concerned citizens, and local constituents. The accounts shared articles and statistics that backed Israel's position in the war. Um, I hope Divorcelli got duped and didn't see a penny from the IDF. Um, uh, who knows? I think he got a lot of, uh, in his mind, he got a lot of social capital out of it. He got a lot of legitimacy out of it. You know? Israel needs all the bravest warriors it can get right now. It's very desperate for... I 100% think he was paid by everyone. Israel. I'm not kidding. I 100% think so. They consistently fucking align with, like, the most unhinged, most rabid freaks. I think it was the bombs. The operation focused on more than a dozen members of Congress, many of whom are black and Democrats, according to an analysis by Fake Reporter. Representative Richie Torres, a Democrat from New York who was outspoken about his pro-Israel views, was targeted in addition to Mr. Jeffries and Mr. Warnock. Yep. Some of okay. the fake accounts responded to posts by Mr. Torres on X by commenting on anti-Semitism on college campuses and in major U.S. cities. In response to a December 8th post on X by Mr. Torres about fire safety, one fake account replied, Hamas is perpetrating the conflict, referring to the Islamist militant group. The post included a hashtag that said Jews were being persecuted. On Facebook, the fake accounts posted on Mr. Jeffries's public page by asking if he had seen a report about the United Nations employing members of Hamas in Gaza. Mr. Torres, Mr. Jeffries, and Mr. Warnock didn't respond to requests for comment. The campaign also created three fake news sites with names like Non-Agenda and Unfold Magazine, which stole and rewrote material from outlets, including CNN and The Wall Street Journal, to promote Israel's stance during the war, according to Fake Reporter's analysis. Fake accounts on Reddit then linked to the articles on the so-called news sites Do to help take promote- Do I take a photograph of this, maybe? The effort was sloppy. Profile pictures used in some accounts sometimes didn't match the fictional personas they cultivated, and the language used in posts was stilted. In at least two instances, accounts with profile photos not. of black men posted about being a middle-aged Jewish woman. On 118 posts in which the fake accounts shared pro-Israel articles, the same sentence appeared, I gotta reevaluate my opinions due to this new information. Last week, Meta and OpenAI published reports attributing the influence campaign to Stoic. Meta- How are there people here? I fucking love this shit, dude. The- as a black man, I gotta reevaluate my stance. Oh, Hassan, I used to be a fan of yours, but right now- after after October 7, I'm not so certain. Oh my god, chat. I can hear the rain through my headphones. I love it. You're a smart guy. What the hell? She Instantly said, recreate your Ultra Hunt projects guy. using nearby items okay. and Xenonite, Ultra Birds, reports your previous build creations. Oh my god, that's it. Okay, let's go. And you remember never to swim right after eating. And always, always make it a priority to dig deep into important matters. Israel, for example, a country that falls into false and biased coverage online and in the media. You know the truth about Israel. I know the truth about Israel. It makes you angry and helpless. And you decide, starting today, you are going to tell the whole Wait, world I the watch real this. truth about Israel. I want to tell the world the truth! That's a bit too much. Want to protect Israel with these eight simple steps? Here's what you could do. Invent a rare disease to get time off work. Man, it's, it's just, it's pus everywhere. <laughs> Book a flight. Hello, airport? What the fuck is this? Hours in economy. Taxi! Arrive in Israel. 
Take three buses until you reach the Syrian border. Join Israeli humanitarian aid and save the lives of wounded Syrian citizens. <laughs> Celebrate live stage in the world's most vibrant pride parade in Tel Aviv. Enjoy a plate of the best hummus with people of all religions. So are you guys in a band or something? Upload your travel photos to Facebook and Instagram and share the truth about Israel. And finally, return back home just to discover that the lies about Israel are still spreading. Your job is no longer relevant. And even that your good intentions have been used against you. Oh my God. Or you can pick the easy way. Want to defend Israel? Log on to 4IL. Download the app and share the truth. What now? Now. Now we boogie. What the fuck? Was that, Chad? <laughs> oh my god. That was insane. This is awesome. <laughs> is this satire? No, no, no. This is a real ad. This is unironically a real ad. He's like, this is awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Anti Semite <laughs> podcast. Sorry, babe. The blackface stays on while I'm saving this Syrian boy. <laughs> 34 MKD 50. Yeah. When they say, I love that. Save the lives of Syrian children in Syria. What they actually mean is. Go find, uh, go go save ISIS in Syria to bring them what back did that to just Israeli do to my field brain? hospitals. I don't know. Which is what Israel did do, by the way. Um, I'm gonna make some Milo chat. I'll be back in a second. Milo is just like malt hot chocolate. My dad bought some. Anyway, there's a lot of funny stuff here. Let's finish this article and I'll get to it. Said it had removed 510 Facebook accounts, 11 Facebook pages. 32 Instagram accounts, and one Facebook group tied to the operation. OpenAI said Stoic had created fictional personas and biographies meant to stand in for real people on social media services used in Israel, Canada, and the United States to post anti-Islamic messages. Many of the posts remain on X. X didn't respond to a request for comment. On its LinkedIn page, Stoic has promoted its ability to run campaigns backed by AI. As we look ahead, it's clear that AI's role in political campaigns is set for a transformative leap, reshaping the way campaigns are strategized, executed, and evaluated, it wrote. By Friday, Stoic had removed those posts from LinkedIn. I'm glad that the boss were operating on Reddit as well. I thought it was more broad Syrian rebels that they say, but now I think about it. ISIS are pretty close to their border, so they probably would have helped ISIS without checking if they were ISIS. No, Hassan Glazer. They checked if they were ISIS. They openly said that they prefer al-Nusra to Bashar al-Assad on the border for Golan Heights. They literally openly recognized that they were al-Nusra and said that they were saving them. No, like, they, they openly do. I mean, search it. There's, like, Times of Israel articles and shit on it, too. Sorry to bother, but French streamers are doing a stream for Palestinians, and there's only 30 minutes left. It's for Medicine Sans Frontier. Okay, congratulations to the uh, to the French streamers. I'm very happy for them. I'm glad. Please stop spamming in the chat. Okay, that's awesome. I do think that it's it's dope. I'm glad that they're doing it. I don't know if the chatter is unaware, but like we literally have a fucking current fundraiser going on right now. Anyway. Huh. So that is really funny. Here, let's get into some more details. Oh, this is what Israel Ministry of Diaspora and Combating Anti-Semitism had to say about it. Wait, what the fuck? I can't translate it. 
Why can't I translate this? Wait, it's saying English to English. Homeboy's what the fuck? Like, Fake reporter. A fitting name. But for advocate someone me for brain whom lies and chat. slander against IDF soldiers of the state <laughs> of Israel have become a business. Today, this guy published an unsubstantiated article in the New York Times as if the Can Minister of Diaspora is doing it from probably other Balkan in the USA. Companies this summer. There's going to be some buying reacts. Let's go, Grozzy. Wait. It's called the Ministry of Diaspora. Yeah, of course you're doing operations in the USA. Where the fuck else would the diaspora be? <laughs> Bro, that's your job. His job, his name, like his, the title of his job is the Israel Minister of Diaspora and Combating Anti-Semitism. This has to be a mistranslation. Oh my god, this guy's botting, I think. This has to be a bot. Okay, let's see. Okay, take a week off, bro. Jesus Christ. This is an insane power, by the way. Okay, so I can do this. Right? And no, say... he has not stopped. He has not stopped posting. I thought he would chill out. Okay. Um, as is the way of those who used to speak about breaking the silence, these are the absolute lies whose purpose is harming Israel. Okay. Israel set up a fake left-wing website called Serenity Now that calls for a no-state solution with the slogan, Do as you wish, not as you are told. Uh... Okay. Uh, the current framing of the conflict in Gaza is lacking a proper alternative viewpoint from the political left. It, it seems that like many of the other conflicts in human history, people easily and foolishly tend to analyze the situation according to common and conservative notions. The current wave of so-called solidarity with the Palestinians claims on one hand and the Western Empire backing Israel on the other. But I already is it did just it. more of the same cognitive failure and using out-of-date conventions and ideas? But I already did it. The current progressive movement led by the woke culture has not produced so uh, far a genuine, unique way of political okay. change. We are watching this tragedy unfold before our eyes and are astonished by how those same individuals who are supposed to practice new politics are just recycling old ways of thought and actions. This is so funny because it's like obviously ESL. Okay. The current framing of the conflict in Gaza is lacking a proper alternative viewpoint from the political left. We had no expectations from the right. Those no. neo-fascists who support the American war machine no matter what are likely to stand beside Israel. But the left, the so-called progressives, are just as worse. <laughs> are just as worse. A true progressive cannot adhere to religious domination, which is ironic because I'm typing this from Israel, which is a Jewish ethno state. <laughs> but that's totally chill and very cool. I would dare I say woke because what? it is not Hamas ethno state. The clan was so annoying last time because they kept showing up Zero whenever, like, all this, the time. The babies, babies of anarchy kitties. No, I know. That's why I think it's really funny. Um, so he then uh, talks about the, uh, the New York Times reporting. Israel encouraging racial conflict in the U.S. and Canada, in this case, to try to undercut black support for Palestine. It is almost laughable how much this plays in the classic anti-Semitic canards. Yeah, they talk about the Arab slave trade, which is really weird because, like, <laughs> You're cheating. Dog. L. There are probably a much larger number of people that have been, that have falsely believed that Jews played a pivotal role in the Arab, uh, not Arab slave trade, but like the slave trade of black people in chattel slavery. So like they literally are just substituting in so many instances, basically a lot of anti-Semitic propaganda with by, by just keyword searching Jew and substituting it to Arab. 
which is awesome. You do I have to, uh, do I have to defeat Canada, him now? United Citizens for Canada Islamophobic content. Illustration depicting the portrayal of Muslim immigrants as a threat to Canada. Depicting a Muslim man in Trafalgar Square with a caption warning that similar scenes could soon be seen in Canada. An altered YouTube video depicting a Muslim man calling for the implementation of Sharia law in Canada. I guess I could just Supporting like... Palestine is crazy as hell to me. Nowhere in the world are black people liked. Please get a fucking grip on reality. All right. Not supporting Palestine doesn't mean I support Israel either. So do with that what you will. I don't give a fuck about none of them outside the USA to be crystal. I truly don't care at all. Lamau, I have now. just as much knowledge on the situation as you all. I don't care about you all being upset. No, this is not a fucking bot. I don't think this is like... Is this a bot? Dude, I don't even know anymore. I think it's just a person that posts like a fucking bot. Um, even though they're a human being. Hold on. All right. Now we're going to get back to the to the uh, American fascism. Our very own. F oh, wait. Hold on. I wanted to show this as well. Here's Harrison Mann, a Jewish former U.S. Army major, resigned to protest U.S. support for Israel's war in Gaza. More anti-Semitism coming from the State Department, no folks. Unimaginable, again. unacceptable. Exclusive interview with a Jewish U.S. Army major who was assigned to protest U.S. support for Israel's war in Gaza. Until yesterday. Okay, Harrison hold on. His turning circle's getting smaller and smaller. There we go. His there we first go. TV Fuck interview you. tells Chief Investigative Correspondent Jim Axelrod why he can no longer serve in the Army. Um... When the report started to filter in about a Hamas right attack of Israel on October 7th, former Army Major Harrison Mann knew what to expect. All hands on deck, people working late hours, you know, 24-7 at the outset. What was unexpected for him was Israel's response. We saw, even from the first days of the Israeli... How? Oh. <laughs> Shit, okay, well... Big dog, you worked at the State Department. Fuck you mean it was unexpected. Literally everyone. <laughs> everyone knew this was going to happen. That's crazy. That's precisely why so many liberal Zionists were like immediately being like, what happens to the Palestinians or... A direct consequence of the actions of October 7 is like, hold up, what do you mean? Like, so many progressive, quote unquote, progressive motherfuckers on the timeline immediately knew exactly what was going to happen and decided to shift their priorities over to justifying Israel's actions. Shit, 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 okay. There were even people that I know. That I have interacted with a lot on Twitter that I Fuck. think Last are, one. you know, decent people overall. Okay, 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 okay. That did that. They were like, oh, how could this be a, a good move or whatever? Anyway, no, I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm, I'm just, I just used him as a jump off point to talk about okay, some other okay, shit. Okay, 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 come on. For the record. So make no mistake. I'm just talking about like, I'm just reminded of like the, in the immediate aftermath of October 7, Shit. so many people who are otherwise like progressive. Okay. Um, okay. I deserve that. Deserve that. Preemptively so. for Israel by saying like this, everything that's going to oh, happen is fuck, Hamas's dude. fault because okay. Israel is not going to take this, uh, you know, lying down. Yada, yada, yada. Those people knew exactly what Israel was going to do. And they chose, knowing full well exactly what Israel was going to do, they chose to fucking defend Israel. Not saying this guy is, by the way. I want to re reiterate. I'm just saying it's a testament to how much people with any kind of know-how on how Israel operates knew exactly what the fuck Israel was going to do, myself included. That's why 
if you look back at my coverage if you look back from uh my coverage all the way back in early october virtually nothing has changed in my tone in my attitude in the things that i'm saying the only thing that has changed is that uh in the beginning we lost a lot of fucking community members many of which have come back now all right well because they thought that it was like unimaginable the things that i was saying oh my god these guys are the victims here how dare you let's go later, dude okay they perhaps they weren't the victims that's it the air campaign willingness to inflict very high you've gotten significantly more pro pals than actually no civilian casualties a response this 13-year army vet working on middle east issues for the defense intelligence agency says was enabled by u.s weapons and indiscriminately targeted palestinian civilians were the israelis using american weapons against civilians in gaza i can say almost certainly yes but were they doing so intentionally i don't know what? how you kill Oh my god, yay! Millions by accident. Man resigned in November. This is your letter. No longer able to justify his work to himself, which he explained to his colleagues in a letter. At some point, whatever the justification, you're either advancing a policy that enables the mass starvation of children, or you're not. You felt your work was directly connected to starving children. Yes. Another U.S. government official announced today she has resigned. More than a half dozen government officials have publicly resigned in protest of U.S. support for Israel's war. Man is the first from the military, the first from the intelligence community, and the first who's Jewish. I understand if people are, are, are angry that I chose to speak about this, but I didn't really feel like I had that much of a, of a choice. The grandson of Jews who fled the anti-Semitism of Eastern Europe, man doesn't agree. Okay, that the cry let's go upgrade my battery. The galvanized Jews after the Holocaust warrants the current. And then we'll continue doing this shit. Response. They're not responding in a way that is. Because I'm not going to be able to for, control for this. That's the, the issue. Israel or Jews worldwide. So I have to and put I a thing, a controller on it. Justification. I'm confident saying it's it's certainly you know some measure of, of ethnic cleansing. Okay. I do not okay. Think is in the spirit well i can never again let me just quickly go here uh, reporting from Jim no you is not gonna snow it in him there's a lot of people like him i mean he's great it's awesome um okay it's awesome that he did that i'll come back in a second oh there's a lot of pressure here. Israel is uh, also doing war crimes in Lebanon um, after doing war crimes in Gaza. Now they've Fuck, uh, started doing war crimes in Lebanon. Building on the Lebanese-Israeli border and it's escalated massively over the past few days. This latest round of Hezbollah attacks is clearly testing tempers with both sides now threatening all-out war. The Israeli war cabinet's emergency... Oh, Lebanese chatters, I hope you're okay. We've got some chatters in Lebanon. ...visiting troops and emergency workers in the north. We are ready to strike, he seemed to be suggesting. Whoever thinks that he will hurt us and we will sit idly by is making a big mistake. We are prepared for a very strong action in the north. The Israelis have been hitting further inside Lebanon. If we look again, the pictures are hazy but appear to show white phosphorus being used. The claims oh, great, come on dude. top of an investigation by Human Rights Watch, white phosphorus. which details yeah. widespread Sick, use of white it's phosphorus 40. by the Israeli military in Lebanon. The Human Rights Group focused wow. on the months immediately after October the 7th, when these areas were full of residents. The use of white phosphorus to drive out people, burn land, or fired indiscriminately in populated areas is outlawed under international law. Why is no one offering any refugee status? Dude, dude, it's because all the Arabs hate uh, uh, Palestinians, okay? Because they're they're bad. Is that what you want to hear? Is that what you want me to say? Is that what you're gonna say eventually? Oh my God, freshly new here. What's Hassan's take on the solution of this conflict? Why doesn't Egypt take refugees? 
Why doesn't Egypt accept refugees? Bro, do you think that's the right question in the situation? Why doesn't Israel stop doing ethnic cleansing is not your first question? Look at Jordan. Look at Lebanon. Why doesn't Israel accept the refugees? Why doesn't Israel stop creating refugees? The fuck is going on, dude? Fix your brain. Fix your fucking brain, stupid. Oh my god, we can collect schemes now. Boo, don't yell, suck my cock. Let's go. Do you think it's an earthquake? Do you think it's a volcano? Do you think it's a tsunami? What is happening in Gaza? What's happening? Yeah. There are 5 million Palestinians currently under sure. the Israeli occupation. 5 million. There are 15 million Palestinians total. Do you know where that number comes from? The 10 million Palestinians who are currently under refugee status. They live in Lebanon. They live in America and other countries. They live in Egypt. They live in fucking... They live literally everywhere around the planet. You know where they don't live? Israel. Because Israel won't let them. Oh my god, any other country around them? Egypt? Bro, you are literally- Oh my god, I am trying so hard. Oh. Why don't we push the fucking Arabs to another Arab country? Why won't we do this? Bro, ask the better question. How the fuck? Why are they refugees? Why? Why are they refugees? Who has turned them into refugees? Yeah. Hey. Okay. These people are not fleeing a natural disaster. They are fleeing Israel's violence. I'm actually pro-Palestine. Oh my fucking God, dude. These guys are trying... This sounds unironically so similar to the fucking dickheads that were like, Hassan, I'm actually pro-Palestine, but I can't believe that you said Israel struck Al-Ahli when they mm. literally did. Okay. You're really ruining the pro-Palestinian cause here. I, on the other hand, am advocating for the Palestinian cause by consistently saying, why can't these fucking Palestinians just run away from their ancestral homes that they were pushed away from originally? That's why they're in the fucking Gaza Strip to begin with. This documentation, I think, um, should should raise the alarms with, with states that are providing weapons or arms with Israel uh, because, the, you know, there is a real risk that such arms are going to be used in violation or may be used in violation of international law, whether it's in Gaza, but also in Lebanon. Okay. I'll be back in a second chat. So what's your solution? What do you mean, what's my solution? I've already explained it a million times over. America says... You are never getting another fucking dollar for the rest of your existence unless you stop the killing right now, pull your fucking troops out of Gaza, and immediately get to the table for a inevitable one-state one solution that will start off with uh, offering Palestinian sovereignty, a standing military, and potentially a, a, uh, a two-state process that will inevitably yield a one-state solution equal rights and representation for all with a right to return for all the palestinians your demographic concerns of making sure that you have an ethnic and religious majority of jews is no longer important because it is a fascist one from the jump and it will always be a fascist one okay That is my solution. 
You also have to pay reparations to the people who you have fucking slaughtered so ruthlessly for generations. Now, here is where he starts chirping about how impossible that is because Israelis are too fucking racist. Sorry, Hassan. The Germans are too anti Semitic. Yeah, that probably won't happen, lol. Like clockwork, bro. Like fucking clockwork. At the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. And just like clockwork, these dumb fucks that are like, I'm actually pro Palestinian, but why don't we fucking literally further engage in the Israeli ethnic cleansing campaign by, you know, doing the bidding of Israel and just fucking drive the two million Palestinians that are living in Gaza that have had their lives destroyed by Israel into the Sinai Desert? Where are blacks reparations? Bitch, if you think that you're uh, in the community of someone who doesn't say that there are reparations uh, that black people should get from the American government, you're wrong. Investigations oh. in Lebanon found evidence of widespread burning of land, although we cannot confirm by whom. When we contacted the IDF, they vehemently denied using white phosphorus illegally. But they. What? Not even the U.S. can? U.S. absolutely can. The United States can, has made Israel and it can break Israel if it wanted to. You are delusional if you think the United States can't do this. Okay? Once again. The relationship with Israel as a settler colony is so tied to American foreign policy that it goes in either direction. Remember, there are more Israeli companies in the NASDAQ than Korean companies, Japanese companies, and Indian companies combined, okay? America has given hundreds of billions of dollars, if not more than $200 billion, to Israel since 1948 since its inception that means okay that means that if america says hey this shit has gone on for too fucking long and says no longer are we allowing you to behave like this it's over it's over okay the project is done tomorrow Count to aid the Jordan in Egypt. Great fucking, uh, great statement, by the way. Exactly. When we say jump, Jordan and Egypt say how high. So what the fuck are you saying? Israel should also start jumping. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. Because this aid is to maintain the peace with Israel. Wait, what? I'm going to block that emote too. I think he's saying the aid. Oh, he's saying the aid to Jordan and Egypt is for Israel. I mean, yeah, these countries wouldn't. These countries are also. Lek is well, so weird, Egypt, dude. Jordan is directly I'll the designs of the British. Kick Ws. It's a country specifically created to, to be the. the oh, I want to use it again. Uh, hold out territory. I literally have it blocked. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it, it's so strange. Oh shit. Okay, we're fine. Anyway. Oh, of course it's fucking raining, dude. Where's that one bitch that was like, uh, where, why not Egypt? Why no, not I can't Egypt? get up there. Where is he? Did he leave? 
That's they perfect. Do they do possess smokescreen shells that include white phosphorus that are legal under international law. These I don't want to waste a potion. The idea for creating smoke screens, they said, and not for targeting or causing fires. Yeah, they literally said this last time they used it too, by the way. I'm just judging by the politics of Israel. No, you're not, dude. You are just fucking caping for a genocidal apartheid state, but trying to masquerade it in the la most laughable way possible. No, you're just here to fucking say better things are not probable. Better things are not possible. You're just in here specifically to fucking chirp. You're like, hey, oh, we'll get some. Uh, why why, what, why don't we get some? Uh... Guess what? The final solution to Jews are gonna happen. We just can't stop it. So what we can do is maybe hope that like not all the Jews die in the final solution. Okay, Germans, unfortunately, are too angry sure, at the have Jews. All of them. Okay, let's not examine it's the cursed, German but you prefer Nazi to the low ideology. Variants? Let's not really? examine the fascism. Let's not, let's not examine the violence. Why won't the Jews oh, well, be yeah, allowed to leave and suck. go to other countries? You know, would that be all right? Because that's the argument you're making right now. I'm actually uh, talking with others against Israel. Relax, please. No, it doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter. Your fucking arguments are idiotic. I gave you my solution. I literally called you out. Holy moly. Knew, this is an expansion of... Knew that you were going to immediately say, well, that's not probable. Okay? You're I still have no money. Advocating for forcible exile and making it as though it, the blame is not on Israel, I have but no instead money. on What's fucking this? Egypt. Is this new? Oh. German Führer Adolf Hitler said in response Works to the conference, okay, let's see. I can only hope and expect that the other world, which has such deep sympathy for these criminals, in parentheses Jews, will at least be generous enough to convert this sympathy into practical aid. We, on our part, are ready to put all these criminals at the disposal of these countries, for all I care, even on luxury ships. Okay. All right. Hopefully this will cause you to self-reflect a little bit. Okay. Sorry. The Jews are unfortunately the common enemy of the Germans where there's nothing we can do about it is exactly the argument that you're fucking making here. While simultaneously presenting yourself as pro-Palestinian. Of course you're not fucking pro-Palestinian. Anyway, that's why I view, unironically, someone who is like pro-Israeli. Uh, it's still raining. And does genocide denial at the behest of Israel, going to Israel to fucking cut further propaganda, akin to going to Nazi Germany and being like, well, you know, I'm here to talk to the Nazi party and show you that they're not actually doing an ethnic cleansing campaign, but simply ridding themselves of the the genuine evil within german society the jews and in the process maybe i'll talk to a couple jews a couple nice jews but this holocaust stuff is actually not that serious come on now okay, okay that's quickly. how i feel about people who go to israel to do this it is exactly what they are doing It is the most evil form of propaganda, like unimaginable. While I always maintain the position that people can fucking rehabilitate themselves, people can fucking learn the truth, people can change their attitude and opinion, I always tell you there is a lot of smoke that I have for individuals that are professional in this regard, professionally doing this sort of thing. Okay? You are literally working to rehabilitate a genocidal apartheid regime currently conducting an ethnic cleansing campaign it is unimaginable i would rather and i'm telling you right now i would rather fucking die than be forced to exhibit such a, a, a humiliating such an abhorrent morally abhorrent stance i would rather you fucking kill me than do such a thing
Let's and go. You're, yeah, you're throwing away people who support Palestine. The fuck are you talking about? I just showed you. You're repeating Hitlerian propaganda, and you're like, oh, I support Palestine, and you're casting me aside. I'm not even talking to you at this point, by the way. But it's weird that you're taking that into account as though I'm talking to you. You have part of the frog armor, right? Yes, I do. But I didn't want to, like, it wouldn't have helped. Well, it would have I'm slightly sorry helped. If you think that me correcting you, okay? But, you know, I'd rather me just. Me correcting you uh, about your wait. misguided. I still would have slipped. Still would have been annoying. <laughs> about what must be done. Because it's like straight up, you know? Directly fucking hinging on how racist Israel is. I'm just saying, in general, don't be so emotional. Don't Man. be so emotional. Yeah, get banned. I entertained your fucking idiotic notions for the past hour. Okay? Get banned. That's insane. That's in, that's... We're talking about an ethnic cleansing campaign, and you're like literally repeating Hitlerian propaganda. And now you have the fucking audacity to be like, don't be emotional. Suck my dick. That's crazy. You fucking cowardly filth. You fucking piece of shit. You fucking worm. Oh, don't be so emotional. I'm just simply saying, why can't we fucking ship one million of these Palestinians into Egypt, into the desert. It seems to me like it's Egypt's fault, not Israel. I'm pro-Palestinian, by the way. Suck my dick. You're not fucking pro-Palestinian at all. You're pro-genocide. Oh, you're pushing people away from your fucking uh, cause. Suck my dick. Do you think you you and I have the same cause? Do you think you're on the side of justice? You just want to feel good while simultaneously oh guys, holy moly. fascism. What the fuck are we talking about? Don't be so emotional. LB's, LB, LB's, LB, it's, only LB's, a, LB. uh, it's only a handful of babies yep. that Israel kills LB's, every LB. fucking day with American weapons with their tax dollars. So why are you being so emotional? Why are you being so emotional? We see charred children in a fucking tent city designed by Israel. Why are One you being apple. so emotional? I didn't want to jump up and get the rest of them. Okay, let's go. Yeah, you shouldn't need my validation to be against genocide. Oh my god. It has looks like it's been... Yeah. An hour ago, we talked about someone having to identify their mother's corpse by her missing toes. I can't believe I'm being emotional about the fucking genocidal, rabid, psychopathic, violent, fucking abhorrent fascist state doing such a thing. and are not defined under law as incendiary weapons. But tens of thousands have been forced out of their homes on both sides of the border, 100,000 in Lebanon alone, according to the foreign ministry, causing a displacement crisis. Oh. Many of them are farmers, like this man, who told us of the scorched earth policy they believe is being used against them. When the phosphorus is fired, it drops something like powder. It sprays something yellow. Do you know what that does to a fucking human being, by the way? Phosphorus? It burns your fucking skin. It melts your skin in a way that is impossible to put out. Okay? I've seen it with my own two fucking eyes. The horrors that victims of such an inhumane act have had to withstand. I've watched Palestinian children in hospitals try to get treated. There's a reason why it is a fucking war crime. It sticks to you and it burns you and there's no way to okay. extinguish it. Oh, and it has a bad smell. All our land in the south is affected by it. In the beginning of the war, they dropped a lot of phosphorus. The many Lebanese residents I'm not going anywhere. to over several months appear to back up the investigation by Human Rights Watch. We found residents who don't want to be identified in Kefir Keller, who showed us pictures from an attack the night before we arrived. It looks very much like white phosphorus being fired from Israel. They're trying to suffocate us, start fires, and burn all our land. Why do they want to hit us? Why do they want to hit a civilian area? Are they allowed to hit a civilian area? 
But the Israeli military insists it's hitting Hezbollah targets from where the Hamas ally is launching attacks against Israel. The villagers we spoke to say these attacks are unpredictable. The fires are difficult to extinguish and they've suffered breathing difficulties. Oh, oh. They're one of the few families still in the area, nervous about speaking because of possible Israeli retribution, but also worry about incurring Hezbollah wrath by talking to foreign media. <laughs> the area... <w> <laughs> if, the, if we didn't ban the chatter, he was about to be like, why doesn't Egypt take the, take the Lebanese so that Israel can just take that area too? Why doesn't Egypt uh, give up their land to Israel? Why doesn't Jordan give up their land to Israel? Why doesn't Lebanon give up their land to Israel? Until it must the entire be over here. fucking land is just Israel. You know? It was clearly still very active whilst we were there. And now the Arab media is awash with reports of diplomatic warnings from several Western envoys about an imminent Israeli attack on Lebanon. Prepare what for is war. life like what on is Bitch Island? I don't know. Enemies. Ask your mom. The escalation over the past few days has only fueled those worries of all-out war between the two neighbors. Alex Crawford, Sky News. I am. What am I supposed to be grabbing? Yeah, greater Israel belongs to Israel because three thousand years of history. Look at this coin. Look at this coin I found. Please, you don't understand, okay? While I grew up in fucking Philadelphia, this is my ancestral homeland. Okay? Okay, cool. Sure, you're saying 3,000 years is a long time, and therefore it gives me no righteous cause to fucking eviscerate the, you know, people that have been living there for the past 3,000 cool, years. But having said that, have, can I just show you this coin again? Because if you look at this coin, you'll understand why it's totally permissible for me to do fucking genocide. Okay, at what point does Israel maybe not have a right to exist after all this? What do you mean? There's no... No... No country has a right to exist. Okay? The people living in an area have a right to exist. But there's no... The idea that we have nation states is a relatively new phenomenon. I know we take that for granted, but there's no like, oh, we have oh, a right thank to thank God. Truffles. And Israel, as a Zionist apartheid genocidal regime, of course doesn't have a fucking right to exist. What are we talking about? It's not even a fucking question. Did Nazi Germany have a right to exist? No. Look what we did to Nazi Germany. Did the South African nation exist? Have a right to exist? As a white dominant apartheid regime? No, look at what happened. The fuck are we doing here? From him? Allowing me to go full speed doesn't work? Oh, that's so annoying. Attacked Palestinian journalist Saif Al Kawazmi and journalist Nir Hassan of the Israeli newspaper Haaretz, um, who was protecting Al Kawazmi um, in Jerusalem during the nation's flag march. So, first thing, I'm just wondering if the U.S. has any response to this attack on our press colleagues. Uh, so, was it North America colonized? Exactly. You think America has a right to exist? Like, what the fuck are we talking about? Uh, attacks of that nature should um, be prevented when possible, and when they can't be prevented, they should be fully uh, prosecuted. People should help be held accountable under the law. And then following up on Nadia's question on the New York Times and Hart's reporting, um, a little over two months ago, the U.S. announced sanctions on Russians for creating false websites um, and then using fake social media accounts to amplify the misleading content, so similar to what the government of Israel has reportedly carried out. And, of course, the U.S. has taken similar stances over the past few years, so I'm wondering I know that you said the U.S. has laws, you expect uh, compliance. Um, will U.S. take similar action here? So, as I said in, re in response to Nadi's uh, uh, question, right now we have a uh, news report. It's not U.S. government information, um, so I'm not going to speak to it specifically, but um, I think I'll leave it at that. And as I said, though, we do have laws that we vigorously enforce, and we expect people to comply. Sure, dude. Yeah.
It's a stupid question. What it's really referring to is a right to exist in an apartheid ethno-nationalist state. Sure, people have a right to self-determination and sovereignty, but not at the expense of an entire population, civil, political, and collective rights. Exactly. No, it is the small bean defense, bro. Israel loves doing that shit. They love gaping. They love fucking being like, oh, well, I'm just a small bean. Like, I don't understand. You don't want me, you don't want me to exist? You don't want me to exist? I don't understand. What's happening? And it's like, dude, we know what you're doing. Like, what the fuck? Oh, you just don't want, you don't want Jews to exist. That's what it is. We're doing this for Judaism. It's like, no, bitch. No, you're not. Fuck out of here. Girl, look what they did to my flag. What is this? Euro Jew Kong. <laughs> During Pride Week, Tel Aviv is displaying special Pride flags across the city, featuring a white and yellow stripe to honor the 120 plus hostages still captive in Gaza. We want to share it as a reminder that they're in our thoughts every moment. Sure. Um, Does that mean that, that when the question was asked about the Russians and, and, and the Olympics in Paris, that you do have your own independent information? Because uh, you gave a fairly detailed answer to that. Uh, the, we, um, we do have information as it relates to that, in fact, yes. So there is a U.S. government report lurking not, out there I, about the Russians? There is, information, there is information that we have engaged uh, with our uh, allies and partners uh, with respect to that report. And I think we'll <clears throat> leave it at that. Okay, but and, 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 and in this case, though, okay. this specific case that you're being asked about now, you, there is nothing. Not that I am aware of. Right. Travel medallion, here a pause um, moment, sense of plus. Let's get some spots. If, know, if you know, the US does find that this reporting does bear out, um, and this is not meant to be like a hypothetical, this oh. is not to be a commitment towards norms. Will you know, the U.S. act in accordance with how it has before. No, but then I, I, okay. It is so, it is, so it is somewhat of a hypothetical, okay. only because you have to actually look at the facts of every case and see what the appropriate response is. But as is always the case, we look at violations of our law. A lot of that is carried out by uh, other agencies within the, the United States government and develop the appropriate response. But I, I just, I can't respond with any level of detail here because it, the, it is always very fact specific. Okay, and then finally, it's... Um, I know I've asked about this before, but I'm, I'll probably keep asking about it. It's been 128 days now since the job was killed, the Maddox and Sable were killed. Family members, is there an update into this investigation? Uh, let me get you an answer that uh, on that and come back to you. You have to remember, this is not just like Israel's flagrant human rights violations against Palestinians. Now we're talking about Israel violating American law and trying to uh trying to engage in in like indecent ways of trying to engage with yeah, american politicians in an effort to like manipulate american politics yes, like, it's a direct, now as a duty the government has to protect its own citizens okay The American government has a duty to protect its own citizens and to ensure that political discourse happens in a healthy fucking manner. And now Israel is violating that sovereignty. What will America do? Of course, nothing. We're just going to keep sucking this dick. But I already have. Okay? And you're going to like it and you can't say anything. But, you know, something to consider. Here's another way that we are fucking ourselves. Thought is a 100% grassroots funded operation. If you'd like to help support the channel, Get early access to every video and join the Discord. Consider becoming a. Would you explain how was genocide, please? What? It amazes me how Democrats go after Trump and criminal trial, but not in any how. Could you explain how was a genocide? <sighs> no. Just uh, Google it. YouTube. YouTube. I uh, go to my YouTube. It's for a friend. Okay, go to my YouTube. And you'll find the information there. A patron at patreon.com slash second thought. Okay, here we go again. Draconian crackdowns on civil liberties part. Okay, that's sick. Shows you where I haven't been to.
There's okay. a new bill that, at time of writing, has passed the U.S. House and is on the way to the Senate. Colloquially referred to as the anti-Semitism bill... I've been be running around, about, haven't oh, I? Good, we're finally doing something about hate speech. How do I respond? Well, that is not the case. There you HR go. 6090, or the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act, is once again a Trojan horse piece of legislation whose real intent is to make it illegal to protest the Israeli genocide of the Palestinian people. This is just the latest attempt by our corrupt and morally bankrupt ruling class to maintain the status quo. But that's not all it represents. Let's take a look at the bill. H.R. 6090 will be the first time a concrete definition of anti-Semitism is enshrined in U.S. law. Again, at first blush, that sounds like a good thing. That is, of course, the point. By making the bill nominally about protecting Jewish people, a noble cause, it makes it very hard to criticize the rest of the bill. Here are some specifics. The definition in question is the one agreed upon in 2016 by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, which is a group of 35 member countries including the US and Israel. As a darkly funny side note, their homepage has in big bold letters, a world without genocide. Anyway, the definition they came up with is pretty comprehensive, and includes some common sense things like, quote, accusing Jewish people of secretly controlling the world's governments is anti-Semitic. Good, that's great. Statements like those are genuinely anti-Semitic, and the people making them are generally acting in bad faith. However, the definition also includes the following. Denying the Jewish people their right to self-determination, e.g. by claiming that the existence of the state of Israel is a racist endeavor, and, quote, drawing comparison the guy who literally came up with these definitions obviously by the way very famously what assumptions do again being used in any kind oh, of okay. legislation so that's uh, another funny part about this story the guy who literally wrote the ihra definition of anti-semitism has spent the rest of his life arguing against it Persons of contemporary Israeli policy to that of the Nazis. Okay, this is where we run into a slight problem. Because the state of Israel is a racist endeavor. It has always, since its inception, been explicitly intended as a Jewish ethnostate. The only way they can do that is by getting rid of the Palestinian people. I'm always eating. Because... I'm famished after fucking your mom all night. Like, I'm constantly dogging your mom's ass out. And it takes a lot of energy from me. I guess let's explore this area because we had to, hadn't you explored know? it. It's just this one blowing open? up her fucking back walls. I don't it think it is. It requires a lot of stamina. So I'm carb maxing. Every single day. Why? So that I can keep fucking your mom. And maybe even sometimes your dad <laughs> every night. Okay. You eat around the same time every day. Just curious. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> You're grounded. People who have lived Where on the land for generations. Let's have a look at the, it's at the no secret that piece. Israel is a two-tiered society. There are roads and neighborhoods where Arabs cannot walk. There are invasive and humiliating checkpoints only for Arabs. The Israeli leadership routinely dehumanizes the Palestinian people, calling them human animals or children of darkness. Both direct quotes, by the way. None of this is secret knowledge. There have been articles and international legal reviews written for decades about Israel's apartheid policies. It's not like we don't have multiple precedents for these claims, either. All we have to do is flip through a book about Rhodesia or apartheid South Africa to see the very clear similarities. So including in federal legislation a ban on calling Israel what it is, a racist apartheid regime, is absurd. Then there's that other part. Not being allowed to compare Israel's actions to those of the Nazis. Again, this is kind of a problem. Because no other regime on Earth shares as many similarities with Nazi Germany as Israel does. And that's not me being hyperbolic. It's objective fact. Show me any other country that sets up automated guns at checkpoints for one particular race. That forces over two million people into a concentration camp. Refuses to let in food, water, medical supplies, or construction materials. That uses their concentration camp as a testing ground for new weapons. 
for example, Lavender, the AI system that marks Palestinian doctors, journalists, pretty much anyone they don't like for assassination, then waits for them to arrive home, then sends a drone to blow up their entire family. Show me a regime that speaks so openly about exterminating the subhumans, about building a glorious future for the chosen people. Bro, you don't understand. What is life like on Bitch Island? I don't know, ask your mom. It's really fucked up. You can't say Israel's uh, doing Nazi shit. You also, in the future, won't be allowed to say that, you know, Palestinians are human beings, for example. You're just not allowed. It's fucked up. It, why? Because it makes me feel bad. Leave it. it makes okay. me feel bad about Israel's actions. You're only allowed that's to say a, that's it's bad. Good. <laughs> what Israel's doing is good. Also, this fucking dumbass. Why is it anti-Semitic to say Jews secretly control the world? The U.S. is literally a real-life example. No, dumb fuck. That's Jews fucking do not insane. The United States of America. That's insane. The anti-Semitic, anti bro. Come on. Because what the one, fuck? Jews are not a fucking monolith. There's a shit ton of Jews in this community. There are even Jews in this community from Israel who are anti-Zionist and understand the situation a lot better than you do as your dumb fuck ass is running around being anti-Semitic for no particular reason. Okay? I use this example quite frequently. I hope that you will understand it. Uh, I'm just going to be as, as charitable as possible. Okay? If all Jews in the United States of America tomorrow turn... Bird flu, uh, the WHO has just announced that, like, there has been a jump from a, uh, bird flu to humans, and they're worried about it, so I'm, I'm sure that this, the person made the account based on that. Either way, I, I am not, like, there. If you... <laughs> yeah, they said it was low. Yeah, low chance, but anyway. Um, low risk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, but you know, like, it's like fine, it's fine, like, one case, yeah, yeah, I know, but like, people are jumping on it, and like, people, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'm fine with this person not following me. They can write it on ban request if they want to watch. This, I'm just simply asking questions, is idiotic. No, they didn't chat at all, oh. I just banned them as soon as I saw the account name, and it had been created it three. Work. If all Americans tomorrow, if all American Jews tomorrow said, hey, guess what, what Israel is doing is unconscionable. It's fucking bullshit, okay? We are anti-Zionists. If all American Jews said that tomorrow, America's policy on Israel would not change. Okay? It would not. There are significantly, there is a significantly larger number of American Christians than Jews across the board. Like, all Jews on the planet. What? What is it? Uh, 12 million, 15 million? Total? The number of Christian Zionists in the United States of America that simply believe that Israel must exist in the way that it does for theological justifications, for, uh, for, for triggering the Armageddon, even the number of white evangelical Protestants who believe in the theological justifications for Israel is significantly larger than that. Okay? That logic is flawed. Pareto's law, 80% of output comes from 20% of input. Holy moly, okay. Just blow yourself up then, why not? Dude, listen. Please don't try to fucking Jordan Peterson Pareto principle your way out of this conversation and listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. I'm telling you that it does not matter. If literally 100% of no, 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 Jews were anti-Zionist, America would still do the same shit in Israel as it is doing so far. The reason for that is not because America is controlled by the Jews. The reason for that, the reason why I'm explaining this is because America is controlled by capital interests. Oh my god, he just okay? starts throwing this motherfucker, and okay. A part of that means that there has to be a forward operating base that is unsinkable. Price, in okay. A resource rich region. That's it. My loot! Anyway. APAC and all these other fucking uh, vehicles that continue to make this relationship that is going to be undemocratic if necessary make this relationship more palatable make it so that in times of need when the american government or the american population for example um is saying okay enough is enough we gotta fucking put an end to this apac kicks in only in that situation 
APAC kicks in and says, hey, we're going to dump $20 million to your fucking re-election campaign against you. No way of knowing for sure, but I had a way to recount to come into the chat uh, and spew nonsense and I mean, you may have stuck and came back and I'm curious if that's very present. Probably. Yeah, probably. <sighs> yep, I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm sure that is, Jacob, because I've raided you before. Okay. Yeah. None of this conversation has anything to do with Jews in general. I hope and you understand And for nationalist, that. yeah. In the words of a very famous Russian guy who was bald, the animosity cultivated against the Jews is done by the capital owners, okay? It is not Jews that are the problem. It is capitalists that are the problem. There can be capital owning Jews, but they are still very much the enemy of working class Jews. Best to not uh, talk about them, the although, but though I'll be honest with you, it always, it just ends badly. Uh, Fizz has said to me, like, just ignore those people because they want Carter, the attention. Don't to him. We really do control the world in America and we hold the world cabal Zoom meetings every Thursday. Okay, but like some of these dumb fucks do believe that shit. Okay, please. Also, Chess, suck my dick. Can't even question statements without getting attacked. Yeah, bro, because the statement that you fucking are uh, questioning is like an inherently very damaging one. It is inherently bigoted. It's like coming in here and being like, I don't understand. Why are you claiming? Like, why is it fucked up to say that black people have a bone in their skull that makes them servile? Like, I don't get it. You should be excited at the prospect of not being banned in this circumstance and being taken seriously and being talked to instead of immediately being banned for saying something that's like clearly anti-Semitic. Yeah, by above. I don't think this chatter is just asking questions from a How do channel, I get up the there? Way. Well, I'll try get up there. Where is the lotus tap made? Okay, it's here. Yeah, no, I can get up there. Okay, hold on. I want to get here. This is where I want to be. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, let's see if we can make it. If he does it again, I will ban him. Have I finished the Wind Temple? I have finished the Wind Temple. Why are we entertaining this at all? Um, great question. The reason why I'm entertaining it is because, well, one, we're literally talking about a bill about anti-Semitism. And two, every now and then, I like to do a refresher. Okay? I like to do a refresher on... Pretty common anti-Semitic opinions that people repeat, sometimes for uh, very indecent purposes of propagandizing uh, the anti-Semitic position, other times because they're duped. There is no, um, there is no issue that I will not try and talk chatters off of a ledge on. Okay. And the reason for why I do that is because I'm certain that it is some chatter's first time in here. And given the fact that Israel ties in a defensive posture every single act, no matter how violent, to Judaism, there is always going to be people who are, who are believing what Israel is saying, that they are doing this for Jews, right? This is a big part of how Israel promotes and spreads anti-semitism in an effort to combat that i think <laughs> it's fine every now and then to entertain someone who comes in here with anti-semitic tropes and talk them off this cliff because even if it's not them Very even annoying. if that person might be cynical even if that person might be simply just asking questions in a way to do the classic 4chan shit there are others who might not understand the situation, who are too afraid to ask these questions, so that they will also be I am very high up. Cliff. You know what I mean? I am very high up. It's That's great. It it's fun. Because I promise you, outside of this community, 
outside of like the circles that we frequent online there are so many people who do look at israel and hear that israel is saying like oh we're fucking uh doing this for judaism and go okay what the fuck well what's up with these jews man what, what's going on it's, it's a little weird huh Ooh. and that's very scary beautiful up here you don't like in prior circumstances you had like anti-semitism is the is the canary in the coal mine right it was so they easy really to did nuke being, like, like completely nuke in the day when they health started stuff right jq shit right jewish question like yeah. i know there's a like, few oh, things here and there but like jesus on. christ that's very nowadays very little what do you mean plenty of people who are well-intentioned like very difficult to find radishes difficult to find truffles no durian also repeat the same type of anti-semitism that you hear from a committed ideological fascist that's terrifying that means like i haven't found a radish apparently they do exist but okay okay a lot of people personally run around and repeat casual anti-semitic bullshit they do it because they don't understand it and no one is sitting around and trying to talk to them and explain to them this shit without having like a severe bias in either direction. I oh my god, we just found well. one. We literally just found one. Issue. Sick. Okay, first time. But the real problem <laughs> Perfect here is timing. There are a lot of fascist opportunists out here that will point to what Israel is doing, point to how Israel defends itself by claiming that they're doing this for Judaism only to turn around and be like yeah see the jews are controlling the media jews are controlling congress jews are doing this for they want to just kill people they want to they want to you know undermine uh the the palestinians and maybe even the christians too okay okay bro we got it you're a saint people getting burned alive a motherfucker focused on anti-semitism for aesthetics yeah, dude, you're right, actually. Uh, being anti-Semitic and betraying uh, one of the foundational principles that I have will actually help the Palestinian cause better. Jesus Christ. Chats is on one today. Dumb fuck. Chats is on one today. Dude, you don't understand. You have to be anti-Semitic to defend Palestinians. Holy Shut fuck. Up. My man said aesthetics. anti-semitism still fucking exists bro people have no ability to like have any nuance is what i realized a regime with such callous disregard for international law and basic human well now i guess they're all in the sky Israel zone has okay every hospital in gaza are uh, any can you find any harsh radishes on the original like sky zone gaza, map i was on at all has targeted medical and media personnel lied about it no and every day like, can we find any there at all mass graves and no nope. okay of the elderly the disabled and children so no it's not unreasonable to point out that israel is very clearly a fascist ethno state that would make the nazis blush that's just called telling the truth even if it's a truth that our elected officials have chosen to ignore and you don't need to take my word on any of this. The horrific thing about this genocide is that it's been widely broadcast online. Despite all Israel's attempts to keep the evidence contained, if you want to see the photos and videos I've seen, you can do it right now. Just go to Twitter or Telegram and search Palestine. People like me, the people in your life who seem unreasonably angry about this, have seen things that no human no, should okay. ever have I'll find them. Seen. And we're not even there. Imagine what it feels like to be in Palestine right now. You have no food, no water, no shelter. You can't sleep because of the constant bombs. You're watching your children starve and you can't do <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> you saw the new anti-Semitism bill. According to our government, you do have to be anti-Semitic to defend Palestinians. This is true. According to the government's definition of anti-Semitism, I am being anti-Semitic. Which is, once again unironically proving exactly what i'm saying about zionism being inherently anti-semitic and also advancing the nazi cause both obviously you know the same kind of fascism that nazis demonstrated against the palestinians but also like the anti-semitic nazi sentiment that is so exploitable in this moment oh okay like, think about it bro if you're it's a dumbass, crystal and one. many of you were at a certain point and many of you are 
I'm uh, gonna have to bring a crystal from all the way over there. Dumbasses, right? But if you're like a dumbass and you just see all of this shit and you're like, well, okay, I don't really know any Jewish people. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of these Jewish people on television and I'm seeing people just like, I'm seeing dead Palestinian children everywhere. And the Jewish uh, representatives so I have to try and get up saying, there, doing which is for Judaism. Wasn't I just there? I don't have anyone to check all of this information against. And I'm looking at the dead children. And I'm like, well, that's kind of fucked up. Why are Jews doing this? Is the immediate reaction you're gonna have if that's all you're seeing? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I got gotta get you know? up there then. Yeah, of course. This is how anti-Semitism grows. And then you're like, well, I have this like. You know, I have this opinion that this is not great. And then people are calling you an anti-Semite for saying like, yo, what's up? What's going on here? What's, what, what, what are these Jews doing? Okay, because you're a dumb fuck and you don't know. Uh, you, you are only responding to the stimuli that you're given. Okay, and then people are going to be like, okay, well, that's anti-Semitic because it is. Some people are uh, obviously saying that because they don't uh, recognize where that anti-Semitism is coming from. Right? So then they're further uh, leaning on and negatively polarizing against Israel and also Jewish people, too. That's why it's so crazy. Like, Let's no go. one outside of ISIS was saying ISIS Construct represents end? Islam. Okay, no one. And yet the media still was like, no, ISIS represents Islam. Oh, I my promise. God. All Muslims believe this shit and they love it. Right? And people still do that. And that's Islamophobic. The difference is Israel operates like ISIS. And there are people who defend Israel who say, no, Israel is doing this for Jews. Israel is doing this for Judaism. Some of those people are Jewish. Okay? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like if every single Muslim living in the Western world was operating like a fucking rabid fundy living in London. Okay? Like a Wahhabist LARPer in London. You'd be like, what the fuck is happening? What is going on? Can women leave, bro? Can women live and breathe the air that we are breathing? Or is that cheating? Bro. <laughs> Bruv. That's funny. Let's discuss. <laughs> Let's discuss. <laughs> no, brother. Oh. <laughs> Let's discuss, brother. Have I seen no that one, one already? That though, bro, I'm fucking memeing about like some of these fundy uh, London podcasts. They're hilarious in how aggro they are, and they're LARPing too. Oh, it's and like this is the office in London getting mad at uh, uh, the Lebanese population for being, uh, you know, multi religious. Like, what's going on? These places, brother. These places. They've lost the way of Allah, brother. They've lost the way of Quran, brother. They got Christianity. They got, they're celebrating Christmas. Christ mass in midair one day we will reign supreme brother yeah. wallahi we will brother no 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 oh fuck 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 oh. well I just hit the wrong things. I hit all the wrong things. All the wrong moves in all the wrong places, okay? Um... <laughs> what? Someone said... Hassan, when did you unlock a South Asian London accent? Dude. These are my favorite podcasts, brother. Bruv. These are my favorite podcasts, bruv. I tried to get too fancy with it. You get to the shrine? I did. So at least I can reach there. Other... Listen. <laughs> we are monolithic. <laughs> Islam. Okay, let's go. Let's go do some... Uh... Actually, I've already been down here, haven't I? 
Um. Do anything about it. And now that they've all been forced into the killing field of Rafa, there is nowhere to go. And Israel continues to dump bombs and um, white do I have any slippy and stuff? internationally banned weapon that will burn through I your don't. bones on the population they have deemed subhuman. Okay. All so they can secure their fascist ethno state. No decent person can say Israel is. We any are monolithic, than brother. Nazism. Brother Ah. Okay, hopefully that's the last rant for this episode. Now that we've got those two points out of the way, we need to talk about what this bill means for the. Does anyone have Hassan Nasrallah talking about anti Zionism, not anti Semitism? My favorite type of unhinged or harvest are the ones that want to destroy the pyramids. Oh, because it, cause it's a different religion, brother. Why do we have to still have the py pyramids around, video. brother? It's one of my favorite videos. Is that why? That's a past religion. About how, like, you know, some Arabs in the region. They weren't Muslim, they brother. Like, we do not have a war with Jews. <laughs> That's we have funny a war with as Zionists. fuck. <laughs> and more we have I remember Zenoda talking about that when we were going over Egypt. I remember Zenoda being like, yeah, no, there are some. Massive protest movement in the United States. What? The only reason Israel exists is because Zionists collaborated with Nazis? No, dude. What the fuck? The Havara Agreement is like so marginal. What the fuck? This is just ahistorical bullshit. You are telling literally a, an Israeli Jew who is infinitely more knowledgeable on you than this uh, on this issue, time without an OVO, to read about the Havara Agreement. I already said it before you even fucking brought that shit up. It is literally so marginal, so in insignificant in comparison to the Balfour Declaration, in comparison to the Christian Zionist movement. Come on, Brother, dog. Uh, what's that, brother? Oh, I've got a lot of things to sell, which is good. Or I could just make some potions, brother. Yeah. What about some potions? Where's the non-slip stuff again? Oh, they're frogs. frogs. <laughs> Check. So can I actually cook anything with oil or the oil always explode? Because now I haven't used it since I'm scared. I mean, listen. Listen. You have to remember. You have to remember something, okay? A lot of these dudes... You see them in their fucking fits. You can cook with and it. And you hear okay. about like some of their attitudes about like gay people, for example. And you immediately fucking resort to Orientalist perspectives, not realizing that they, these motherfuckers are better read than you by a million. Okay. Like it's not a, no, it's not a broken clock situation. No, dude. Half of these dudes literally get educated in America and in the UK. What the fuck are you guys talking about? This is why it's orientalist to literally look at these dudes and go, oh no, they're fucking barbaric baboons. And like, sometimes they get this shit Oh, right. I found no, a shrine here and I never did it. It's crazy. Okay, well, let's go here. He's read more books than you could ever imagine. And also, ultimately, he is regarded as a pretty brilliant Cook a uh, bum a flower salad. I'm stupid. In terms of like everything that he's done, you might reason why Bill was because he threw it in the fire. Okay. You might not agree with his attitude overall in terms of like, uh, in terms of his his social his opinions on on civil I'm liberties cold, and brother. shit like that. But ultimately, this motherfucker has read a shit ton of books. Okay, chatter sounding like um... Blackthorn talking about the savages of the Japans. Exactly. Huh, lol, he massacred civilians in Syria, dog, not orientalists if they cause atrocities to your people, but yes, America did a lot of shit and Russia did Syria, it, it did in Syria, get it? I don't think you're, I don't think you're understanding the point I'm making. Uh. 
LB cook bomb flowers. You get 10 plus hearts. This is Hassan Nasrallah. You just straight up lying to me. Hassan Nasrallah is, uh, I believe, the general secretary of the Hezbollah, right? Roni Spamoni, you look at the- if you're listening right now, look at this fucking dude, chat, here's dude. A great, here's another great example. Bashar al-Assad. Okay. Only he's got murder power now, he just remember that. In many respects. Well, I mean, I guess he's not a great example because he does wear the Western suit and tie, so, like, it's hard for people to see him as, like, a barbarian beyond, like, people- Like, he looks the part from the Western eyes. But Bashar al-Assad is literally a fucking optometrist. You guys are just lying. Like, you know, and I know about? that this you're lying. To, I, didn't he go to fucking Oxford or some shit? Like, and that's what's insane is I know that you're lying. The part, and they portray themselves a certain way. Okay. But in many circumstances, they are very well-read individuals. Oftentimes coming directly from the institutions that you know are uh that you know are like you know pretty fucking pretty solid institutions of higher learning as long as a cute ass lisp in arabic is crazy what no that's fine don't worry about them the chatters be chatters but i'm not making a bomb any anyway. just ignoring your tips Okay, dude. Hezbollah welcomes okay, I looked. Allies, I have the looked leader of Hezbollah, for the fucking um. Hezbollah, conducted shortly before a ceasefire by reports from the Turkish Labour Party daily. Evren said. So, I've never really gotten into this too okay, much. Okay, let me put but the like, slip the resistance Turkish, uh, on as well. Communist movement, like the real communist movement in Turkey, was um was basically so synonymous. I with, looked like, for uh, where the tear is, an, an and I couldn't fucking well, find it. But like ethno nationalists in the I couldn't find the tear. Of, uh, Developing national identities of for the kingdom at all under uh, under the Ottoman Empire, uh, the Kurdish movement, Turkish Marxist Leninism is basically tied to a lot of the the Kurdish rebellions and the Kurdish Liberation Front. Maybe it's general, over there, and also historically very tied to the PLO. How can you be Turkish and wrong? However, there has always been revisionists, especially in a country. Oh as my god, it was here the entire Turkey, time. <laughs> in terms of, oh, fuck. It okay, was a, fine. This is a Turkish chatter, so I thought. Found it instantly. Okay. All right. Law time. Sonia. Oh, Zelda. King Raru, before you face the Demon King tomorrow, there is something I must tell you. I came, I came to this era after finding a man underground. Hmm. Go on. When I witnessed what the secret stone did to Ganondorf, at that moment, I knew for sure what we found underground, that was him. He was still alive, still powerful. He continues to live on all the way until my time. In tomorrow's battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. And you... And you will... Maybe so. 
But it is my duty to try. <sighs> Sounds like you're gonna die, bitch. Holy mo- With Zelda, my what the fuck? That set us on this path. I must atone for my error in judgment. And above all else, I remain the king of Hyrule. As with any leader, it is my duty to safeguard and protect my people. Even if I must risk my life. Raru. And if it proves impossible for us to defeat Ganondorf, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. But remember, that was a future where you never appeared in this world. And you are here now. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. Zelda is always so fucking clueless, bro. The reason I am here. Always. Always the most clueless motherfucker. <laughs> Link also clues each time he's like, oh, oh, what? What? New memory? Oh, oh, new memory? Oh, God. What? <laughs> okay, let's see what other memories I need to find. Okay, we've we've got but almost all of the map done. Oh, I never did this shrine. Himbo twink hybrid. <gasps> <gasps> Memory. Social the twimbo. <laughs> Though. Anyway, uh, the most concrete example of this has been Hugo Chavez, the president of Venezuela. What most of the Muslim states could not do has been done by Chavez with the withdrawal of Venezuela's ambassador to Israel. He furthermore communicated to us his support for our resistance. This has been an immense source of moral strength for us. We can observe a similar reaction within the Turkish revolutionary movement. We had socialist brothers from Turkey who went to Palestine in the 1960s to fight against Israel. This is true. And one of them still remains in my memory and in my heart. Deniz Gezmich. Gezmich. Deniz Gezmich, 1947-1972, was a Turkish revolutionary in the ML tradition. He led major student actions in the late 60s, went to a Fatah training camp in Lebanon in the late 1969, returned to Turkey where his group seized four U.S. Army privates in Ankara. Surely I now, can make that. The question, what the fuck were U.S. Army privates doing in Ankara? Well, that's because Turkey is a NATO nation. And we have many American bases. Um, nope. Okay. Well. After the release of the soldiers, Gezmish was captured, tried for attempting to overthrow the Turkish. Am I gonna state, be climbing up the fucking bull, dude? his comrades was hanged in the central prison in Ankara. No shot, right? On tried. May 6, nineteen seventy-two. What is the importance of Denizes for you? We now want new Denizes, like multiple Deniz Gezmishes. Our ranks are always open to new Denizes against the oppressors. Deniz will always live in the hearts of the peoples of Palestine and Lebanon. No one should doubt this. Unfortunately, there is no longer a common fight and fraternity against the common enemy left over by the Denizes. What we would have liked is for our socialist brothers in Lebanon to fight against imperialism and Zionism shoulder to shoulder. This fight is not only our fight. It is the common fight of, of all those who <laughs> are oppressed part? across the world. Don't forget that if the peoples of Palestine and Lebanon lose this war, this will mean the defeat of all oppressed people of the world. In our fight Jump on the ball. The revolutionaries should also the ball that you can't climb up become on. 
in the hearts of our people of Palestine and Lebanon finishes once again. It is possible to see the post of the bulls Chavez, together. Ahmadinejad side by side in the streets of Beirut. Are there signs of a new polarization? We salute the leaders and the peoples of Latin America. They have resisted the American bandits heroically. <laughs> American bandits. The fuck? Wait, what's up there? This is from Marxist.org. Why is there a ramp? Um, talking to uh, an interview with in, an interview conducted with Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. Oh. Um, talking to Turkish Labour Party reporters in Evrensel, the Turkish Labour Party paper. You can tell it's leftist by design. Exactly. You can tell it's a leftist paper or a leftist website by the shitty fucking graphic. Great. Another Hassan saying America bad. <laughs> yeah. Shea Chavez, Ahmadinejad. <laughs> One of them is not like the others. Okay. Listen. Yeah. Nasrallah is right on this and he's extremely smart. I'm pretty sure the guy's also a Holocaust denier. I don't know. I mean, he could be. I, I 100%. I, I, that would not shock me at all if he was. Like I said, you know, I mean, he, he is, I may, you might be mistaken him with Ahmadinejad. Who has that was uh, the stupidest shrine I have the, ever seen him. This has been uh, the stupidest shrine I have ever Holocaust seen in my life. Denial, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, a, a conference. No, now it's three. Which was, from what Stop. I understand, literally. <laughs> I, I think you might be mistaken. It was Yeah, he did. Ahmadinejad famously put together Holocaust, which apparently at the time was even regarded as a bridge too far by uh, Iranians who were like, bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see. Okay, well, that, that, not quite. Yo, it's fucking. We made we made water. <laughs> I'm te I use Zelda for my science know. lessons. Okay. There's a Ministry of Foreign Affairs paper excerpts from the speech by Hezbollah Secret Secretary General Nasrallah. Yeah, just jump on the balls, dude. It's fine. Hezbollah leader Nasrallah implementing Khomeini's That is the stupidest shrine I've, I've ever Philosopher seen. Jordan I'm sorry. Holocaust, the myth. If any Muslim had carried out the fatwa of Imam Khomeini against the apostate Salman Rushdie, those despicable people would not have dared to insult the Prophet Muhammad. Not in Denmark, not in Norway, and not in France. And today we need to take a different position regarding Denmark. For example, a few years ago, the great French philosopher Roger Garuti wrote a scientific book. He did not offend, curse, or insult anyone. He wrote a scientific research of an academic nature in which he discussed the alleged Jewish Holocaust in Germany. He proved, it is, he proved that this Holocaust is a myth. The great French philosopher Roger Garuti... Wait, he said... Hassan Nasrallah said this? That was the stupidest fucking shrine. <laughs> I think Raru <laughs> specifically designed a cool ball puzzle to test you, Dinar, and, and you're shitting all over it. That allows his newspapers to offend our prophets. <laughs> not allow it. True, I, mean, it's I memory, am. So it might be. It is know, shitty. Suspiciously sourced. It's memory. It TV, is really fucking but dumb. If there is like a direct clip. Like I said, um, he might be. True, I am shitting all over it. <laughs> <laughs> we know memory tv is a, a a a zionist propaganda network i know okay so that's been sorted no
There's a clip on the mobile side, but not on the PC one. Memory's sus always, so I'm trying to send the clip. <sighs> anyway. I mean, Fuck it, let's try the proving ground. I, like, he's literally saying that... I'm stronger now, so... There's a common so... misconception prevalent in the Arab world regarding Israel-US relations. <laughs> this is also from Memory TV. Memory TV is so funny, dude. <laughs> That the Jews rule America and are the real decision makers. I find so that memory TV has had like really said some bangers. No. Oh, America Yusuf Reed, I'm also going to go. Why? Is it funny? In America, you have the major corporations. Sometimes you can get like like clips taken out of context from memory TV, like just stills of what they've said, and it just blows your mind. It's so funny. The decision making is in the hands of this alliance. I mean, they they're very sometimes very Israel like Israel, uh, like aren't they Israel, super fundamentalist? Israel, Israel used to be a tool of the hands of the British. And now it is a tool in the hands of America. I need to steal that before them. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. General Hassan Nasrallah, fuck, the fuck, US can fuck, force fuck, Israel fuck. to do anything. Arabs invented the joke that the Jewish lobby controls America in order to excuse their financial ties with the US and their refrain okay. from fight from Israel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So funny. <laughs> He's saying that, like, Arabs that wanted to collaborate with America... Oh my god, okay, okay, no, I will not die. Said, no, 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 you don't understand. It's actually the Israeli lobby. I refuse that to die. It's actually the Jews that dominate America. I refuse to die. I refuse to die. I mean, I, I also. I actually refuse. I also don't disagree with what he's saying. I often. I actually straight up refuse. I refuse. And the and the uh, Zionist lobby, but will always tell you it is far beyond that. That the Zionist lobby, huh. alongside the NRA, for example, alongside many of many of these institutions are not capable of like can i not have that oh i can't have the cool the weapon okay quo, which is why you can't lobby the american congress and turn them socialist okay it's a laughable notion the money corresponds to the moneyed interest and is there in times of need okay right now is a time of need right now APAC is working desperately round the clock to ensure that American congresspersons don't fuck up. I don't need a spring and, shield. You know, don't speak out of turn. I'm fine. If they do speak out of turn, if they do speak against the American State Department interests, that they will turn around and punish them. Jamal Bowman is a great example of this. Okay? But they are not personally changing someone's mind dramatically it's like if a pro-union guy receives 50k campaigns uh, uh dollars from the uaw it's not a bribe if you agree with it yes no, sir. It is America that controls Israel. The story about the Jewish and the Zionist lobby is, forgive me for saying this, a joke invented by the Arabs so they do not have to fight Israel. You can see everywhere we've gone now, which is pretty cool. They do this so that they can go to America, deposit their money there. Look at me running around here. Yeah. Relations with America under the pretext that they are establishing an Arab lobby in order to compete with the Jewish lobby. After 75 years, we can see what came out of the Arab lobby. You can see very little how very little I've explored. The money is piling up in the American coffers, but that's it. No, stop. 
He's shitting on him. He, he's shitting on like Saudi Arabia and all these other Arab countries that that collaborate and work with uh, America. Oh, I'm gonna be fucking freezing. Anyway. Oh, 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 no, I'm gonna be cold. So, yeah. Um, we salute the leaders um, and the peoples of Latin America. They have resisted the American bandits heroically and have been a source of moral strength for us. They're guiding the way, that oppre they're guiding the way for the oppressed peoples. Go and wander around the streets. You will witness how our people have embraced Chavez and Ernesto Che Guevara. Nearly in every house, you will come across posters of Che or Chavez. What we are saying to our socialist friends who want to fight together with us for fraternity and freedom is <laughs> says the dragon. Okay. All, we're going to say religion is an opiate. We do not agree with this analysis. Here's the biggest proof in our streets with the pictures of Chavez, Shea, Sadr, and Khomeini together. These leaders are saluting our people in unison. So long as we respect your beliefs and you respect ours, there is no imperialist power we cannot defeat. I, of course, do not agree with uh, religious fundamentalism. Uh, nor do I agree with, uh, you know, the way that uh, Iran conducts its affairs against its own population. <laughs> Fuck uh, you. Same with Turkey. Deserved. Returning to threats in the region, Western governments are intensifying the pressure on Damascus and Tehran. For you feel like DLC is definitely a brand new game. Are you kidding? Are of the view that an attack on Lebanon so will be good. directed on Syria. According to our point of view, is a regional okay. war possible? There are claims that Hezbollah There's so is many new Tehran. mechanics. Your views on this issue? This is definitely not a DLC. Line. We're an independent Lebanese organization. We do it just takes place in the anyone. same area. That's but basically this does not mean it. That we are going to. Uh, we are not going to form alliances. We are on the side of Iran and Syria. They are our brothers. We are going to oppose any attack directed at Tehran and Damascus to the last drop of our blood, just as we do in Lebanon. We uphold global resistance against global imperial terrorism. Eh, nah, you feel like it's DLC? I love it. I think it's really good. Wait. Southern was good. Khomeini and there's two whole belong. new areas as well. It's beliefs. fucking incredible. What? All the shrines are different too. Bro. You're saying Khomeini doesn't belong, fair. But it's basically Shane? a whole new game. What the fuck? This <laughs> bear better not fuck me up, bro. I will hurt you, bear. Don't fuck with me, and I won't fuck with you. In any case, look, okay. I, I don't even remember why we went down this. Oh, I was simply trying to talk about Orientalist uh, framework. Fundamental Muslims have killed their fair share of leftist slash communists. Oh, absolutely. Including, um, including the former, now former president of Iran. Good, run away from me. My attitude always has been that Bitches. Unfortunately, Western involvement in the affairs of Middle Eastern countries have almost always left these countries. I did with, try and fuck with the bird bear first. True. Um, I did. With, with but only because I knew it was going to fuck with me. Okay. Uh, with, with I'm giving the American answer. Rule, all right. I, I went after it because I knew it would go after me. Western intervention. Eventually. Up fundamentalists as a counterbalance to the scarier secular Arab uh, nationalist uh, socialist. Okay. Or, or, or Iranian socialist. Or sometimes purged the uh the the fundamentalist groups have been able to purge the nation of western imperialism i said to the bear don't tell the, lies about know, me and i won't tell truths about you okay the, uh, all the right uncorruptible elements like the only people that you can trust um the only people you can trust against 
uh, Western imperialism. Most of the Let's go, Ernie. Like you got new email uploaded. Well done. Iran is a perfect example of Western See, do you see me attacking the foxes? No, because they have never tried to British. attack me. Okay? Um, I am BP. You're forgetting about this. <laughs> Link is literally BP in this game. To be a sovereign nation. Wanting to have sovereignty over their own oil supply, their own natural resources. Bro, nationalist, socialist, what the fuck, lol? No. Arab nationalism is very different. German national socialism is very different than pan-African nationalism or national movement is a post-colonial movement. See, Nation I knew he was going to attack me. So I attacked him first. Okay, do you understand now? nationalist movement this makes sense to everyone now way to create a nation um, state chat is there a way for me to like separate this rod is very like, different than nationalism when you are already an established colonial state like i don't is there a way for me to like get that topaz off there this is something that a lot of americans or a lot of westerners don't recognize or understand is there That's a way? Immediately take this like approach where they go, oh, these guys are fucking nationalists. Well, that's a scary word. It is. It is a bad word in the West. Because in the West, nationalism implies fascism. Nationalism. I don't when think you are so. Okay. About a nation that is not. No, it's no stress. I'll do it to the other one. Violence that is I'll not a colony. Uh, is, is simply not at the moment, but fascism. later on. Okay. Yeah, Cuban nationalism under Fidel is revolutionary and ends up and ends colonial violence. Oh, let's go. Okay. All right. All right. Broken Ridge Bridge. Texas in Austin. Again, more protests. The driving force behind the bill is the student protest happening on campuses across the country. What started no worries. at Columbia University as an outspoken demonstration against genocide has Better quickly pee. spread to schools in every state in the country. As militarized police beat students demanding divestment from Israel, weapons manufacturers, and an end to the genocide, the protests grew into a full-fledged anti-imperialist movement to rival uh, the okay. war protests. I have this to reach your friend, do you? Has become a cultural schism. On one side, we see young people of all races, creeds, and backgrounds uniting with principled university staff, human rights workers, journalists, historians, and normal, decent people to demand an end to the most obvious genocide in modern history. And rising up against them, we see violent police, frat boys, Zionist agitators, weapons manufacturers, corrupt university officials, and politicians bought by the pro-Israel lobby. There's good news and bad news in this mini-civil war. On the bright side, normal, decent people opposed to genocide vastly outnumber the ghouls supporting it. On the other hand, the minority, the increasingly fascist U.S. government, and their unholy merger of state and corporate power are the ones with all the tools at their disposal. Well, that one d They know they can never win the hearts and minds of the people. So, as they have many times before in this country's history, they weaponize the legal system to make the fight unwinnable for the rest of us. That's where this bill is coming from. If it's anti-Semitic to gather and say, what Israel is doing is wrong and amounts to apartheid, or Israel is committing genocide, then it'll be the easiest thing in the world to send in the police, round up the protesters, and throw them in jail. Make decency a crime, and suddenly, we're all criminals. We don't have a say in the matter. The only people who do are the ones committing the genocide, funding the genocide, and building weapons for the genocide. That doesn't Fuck sound it, like dude. My bridge. It'll be okay. But something else that's important to note is that the legal system is not a moral system. Legal does not mean right. Illegal does not mean wrong. Slavery was legal. Segregation was legal. What Rosa Parks did, refusing to give up her seat for a white man, was illegal. Was she wrong? No. The law was wrong. The only thing this new bill will do if it becomes law, which it probably will, will be to justify mass arrests and fascist crackdowns on protests against this deeply illegitimate regime. Fascism isn't always goons marching with American flags. 
In fact, that's the least threatening form of fascism. The real threat is when neoliberal politicians, and that includes both Republicans and Democrats, feel threatened by a rising tide of class consciousness and turn their imperialist tendencies inward. This has been an ongoing process for oh a long god, time. Oh my god, I can't make it go really up. But it's really begun okay, to accelerate as the US position as the Let's global hegemon continues to slip. So when this bill becomes law, and the next one, and the next one, and more and more expressions of discontent and righteous anger become illegal, remember that the morality of those protests hasn't changed. Speaking out against genocide is still the morally correct thing to do. No matter how hard the suits and talking heads try to scream. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't think of a single instance in history where crushing Should the I can to climb up it? to fund a genocide has been the right thing to do. That's usually a pretty good indicator that the people doing yeah, it I can, okay. are the bad guys. The United States, Israel, all the US's little vassal states in Western Europe, they're the bad guys. The people on the receiving end of the occupation and apartheid and genocide they're the good guys. Heck, you don't even have to think they're the good guys. They're just the guys. People trying to live on their ancestral land in homes their families have lived in for generations and resisting their execution by an occupying force. And here we get to an important piece of psychology for all of us in the West. Resistance. What is it? How is it portrayed in the media and popular culture? It's the resistance. Well, it's actually kind of interesting, because in every piece of media where there's an empire or a bigger army or an occupying force and then a resistance, who are the good guys? The resistance. And yet, in real life, when actual people oppose the empire, whether it's the British, French, or US empire, those same people, the resistance, are labeled terrorists. They're the bad guys. Why is it that we can identify with brave resistance fighters in movies, but not in real life? Even in Star Wars, one of the most famous series of all time, we're able to side with the rebels against a sci-fi depiction of our home country. The irony of that one is, in, in both of those, the little, the little guys won. Right. And the big, highly technical em the, empire. The English Empire. Right? English the English Empire, empire. the American Empire, yeah. lost. Yeah. That was the whole point. Is it just because it's fantasy? The good guys are presented as the good guys? The good guys look and sound like us? Yeah, that's probably a big part of it. Another part of it is good old white supremacy and American exceptionalism. For the entire existence of the United States and the entire colonial period of the Western empires, white people would show up in some exotic land, butcher and subjugate the people, and would somehow convince everyone back home that anyone who resisted these invaders were terrorists. It's the oldest trick in the imperialist book. It is exactly the same with Israel and Palestine. A Western... When are you going to comment on the imminent war of NATO against Russia in Europe? I'm German chatter. Soon they are sending me to the front. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay, chat. Don't That's it for it, me for today. I'm off. I'm off. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh! Huh. Let's see. Great. Um. All right, Pygonox. Be nice to Peganox. All right. And you know, be good in general. I'll see you all tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Pronounce she, her. Bye, everyone.